Well, oh, yeah. Got to wish everyone a very happy Rocktober. Hmm. Wait a minute, isn't it Rocktober already? It's Rocktober first, everyone. Wow. What happened to September? Jesus, September just, just blew by. September never, uh, you know, took off. No. But Rocktober is a staple. Rocktober. What stations are doing Rocktober? I worked at four different radio stations that did Rocktober. Oh. <laughs> Rocktober and the DJs. It's Rocktober first, everyone. Now make sure we push this hey, uh, Rocktober thing, let's guys. Keep, let's keep track of all the radio stations that are doing Rocktober from your fine city. Rocktober. Which uh, which uh, station in New York does Rocktober? I would guess the Q. You would have to guess uh, Q104. I would think the classic uh, rock station. Yeah, it's the only one that would do Rocktober in keeping with the classic thing. And then they have all sorts of specials for Rocktober. Yeah, of course. What, what what's a Rocktober special? I don't remember anymore. Because it's it's exactly like what you it's heard just, at the end of September. Yeah, I think instead of uh, two for Tuesday, they they do three for Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Like it it doesn't have a theme like uh, September. You'd play a lot of Zeppelin. They just try to give you a little extra rock. Oh, a little more rock. In general, they just give you a little more rock. In hey, October. that one's great for Rocktober. Oh, is it? A little more rock. Yeah, a little fog hat. <laughs> a little extra fog hat. By the way, I don't know what's going on with my brother. His football picks this year suck. Mm. Uh, he's doing my picks this uh, year thanks to Dish Network, and I'm uh, yeah, I'm in uh, almost last place. Oh, boy. Travis is uh, leading with 17 total wins this year. I uh, have 11. The only one that I'm beating is Sam, who has eight wins. Sam. What? He got zero for the week. Oh, Sam went 0 for 7? Wow, that's hard to do. Sam that went is really 0 for hard 7? to do. That is hard to do. How do you go 0 for 7? And we're not even doing like a point spread. Sam, how do you go 0 for 7 in the football pick? What are you on the Mets? <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried using my instincts this time. Ah, they, they worked well for you. <laughs> yeah, uh. I thought that I'd won at least a few. So you went Jets, you went Eagles. I don't even have any recollection. Of Do you even football. know? I don't really have any recollection. <laughs> no, I don't Do you remember. you know anything about football? No. Obviously. No. I had no idea. Did, so was... just pick home teams. I just looked. I didn't even know where the uh, games were taking place. It's usually the second team in the listing of the two teams playing. See, that's something <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, Look for capital that. letters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My God! Just Look for the name after at. Yeah, just root for you know. <laughs> I'm making fun of him. He's barely. I'm barely beating him. My brother sucks this year. He was yeah. the big star of the football picks last year. He sucks this I year. I have. I have a guy who may. Uh, who may be very good for you. Yeah, who? He's a buddy of mine. He's a comedian, and he's the statistician for the New York Giants, and he hmm. knows a lot about football. Why wouldn't you suggest uh, that to somebody else? Perhaps one of the uh, the uh, staff. Because when it's the Sam and Anthony show, <laughs> or the Travis and Anthony show, I'll be happy to. But as of right now, my friend Ope happens to be at the helm, so I suggest the knowledgeable fo football guy to my friend Ope. Okay. And uh, there you, so you did. Sam can plummet to his death, bro. I can't. <laughs> I'm going to disrespect Sam. I'm going to give, my, taken. I'm gonna give my brother one more chance. And then... Before I switch him you're, out. You're fired. And he was doing MP3 files and stuff, too. So maybe he'll do a whole audio presentation this week. On his firing? <laughs> on, on on why he's picking the games he he is. Yeah, I, he really I, needs to I want to make sure he's. I, I want to make sure he's taking it very seriously. So he'll do some audio files, and then we'll make a decision. But, uh, man, so who was the big winner this week? Travis again? Sex Bagel. Sex Bagel? Eric? <laughs> Thanks, baby. Yeah. E Rock went five for seven this week, but you're in the middle of the pack. But you win what? A couple hundred dollars? Uh, two fifty, I think. Two fifty, very good. The football pick mm. sponsored by Dish Network. It's time to get more TV from your TV. Sign up for Dish Network today. All right, hey. E Rock uh, tries to eat out of them. You know, the dish. <laughs> that deserves a couple. I'm a, I'm a cowboy fan. I'm a bad cowboy fan. I haven't been watching. Really? Congratulations to the boys having a great start. <laughs> Good for the Cowboys. Good for the Cowboys. America's team. <laughs> America's team. Leon I like when a team tries to pull that gag to get people from uh, out of town to watch and be interested. Yeah. Like uh, the Braves pulled that with um, the Superstation, their TBS. 
They tried to pull that America's team because you can watch them everywhere. No one cared. No, <laughs> no, no. one, no one it's gave so a crap. Stupid. By the way, Tomahawk chop. <laughs> By the way, Chris from Buffalo, ninety-seven rock, Rocktober first for ninety-seven rock. Yeah. <laughs> There it is. Oh, look at it. And it's sponsored by, guess what? Uh, roll. Well, <laughs> screw them. A beer. A beer. A beer. Rolling, which is what you do with your car after you drink a few. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. They're coming in now. Thank you. Uh, Gutshot Drew from Howell. Uh, 106.3 G-Rock in New Jersey. The morning show signed on at 5.30 this morning with a hearty... Happy Rocktober 1st, everybody. Oh, they probably had meetings and memos about this. Now, remember, we, we pushed this Rocktober thing all through October. <laughs> Keep reminding people. Uh, Bob, oh. and, Bob and Tom in Syracuse yeah, are doing Proctober, so... Uh... Proctober? <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit older. Ow. Uh, JRR in Orlando said Rocktober four times in 20 minutes. There you go. The Rocktober stations. Mm -hmm. Very excited that October is here. Why would they say Rocktober? We know what month it is. We know what music you play. It's, it's silly. Just, it's it's a month where you can celebrate the fact that you rock. You rock, <laughs> and it's October. It sounds like October, except uh, with rock. <laughs> Why not just say a uh, uh, Rockuary? February. Yes. Why not just do it with all the months then? It doesn't rhyme as well. Rock lie. Rock ock. And <laughs> uh, some stations did try to get September together. Oh. It's just. Uh, Failed miserably. <laughs> yeah. September. Uh, Stephen S. writes, Radio Berlin is celebrating Reichtober. Reichtober. <laughs> Reichtober. Reichtober. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did we do this already? We did that. Okay, good. All right. Phone number 877-212-ONA. It's Opie and Anthony. It's Opie. It's Anthony. It's Jim Norton. The Opie and Anthony Show. Instant feedback is uh, hot and heavy today, that's for sure. Stephen S. is just writing like crazy today. Stephen S. from Bayshore, he writes, Steve C. will be celebrating Twink Toberfest <laughs> by hiring a new batch of boyish interns. Yes. Indeed. Scroll, scroll, scroll. It is October so 1st. On his Blackberry or whatever it is. It's October 1st. A lot of radio stations kicking into Rocktober. Yeah. I'm in uh, Alimony Tober, I call it. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I love the first of October. It's a wonderful time for me. You really feel good about payment that out? Uh, I didn't say that. Oh, I love it. Cool. It's so, so much fun. He loves the fact that they're uh, getting less and less. Yeah, that's all I could really... Like, th that's the only consolation I have is each one I write is one less. How many to go? Um, Are you allowed to say? I, mean, I, 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 I don't know. Let me think. Mm, 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 mm. Aren't you less than a year at this point? I'm probably about that. About a year to yeah, go? I'm, I'm not sure. We are going to throw the biggest party for Anthony. That's going to be a biggie. Anthony's going to get a huge raise next year. That's going <laughs> to be a gonna, biggie. You're, you're not going to know what to do with yourself. Oh, is that... Oh. Have you calculated the... Nope, I haven't even. You are going to get a I huge, haven't even huge calculated. raise. It'll Maybe be over. Maybe we should all like have a party and send a big card. We could all sign it. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Got to get a car that's as big as a house. Yeah, one of those giant cars you get that's somebody. Huge. Yeah, when they're uh, sick or out of work or something like that. All right, hey Scott M from Hawpog, Opie and Anthony present E Rocktober. Oh, E Rocktober. Let's just go home. Oh, we might have to start E Rocktober. <laughs> just do nothing. And then he continues. <laughs> Poor E Rock. According to Scott from Hawpog, E Rocktober, uh, featuring more E Rock hoopla than any other station in America. I started. I kicked off E Rocktober today. You did? I was 20 minutes late to work. There you go. All right. I started E Rocktober. We got the uh, How Late Was E Rock Sweeper today? Oh. Eric forgot to put that one out, I guess. Oh, well, he he, he didn't get here on time and, and didn't put it in. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was too late to put in the e late paper. <laughs> well, according to Scott from Hot Pog, <laughs> you got e Rocktober featuring more e Rock hoopla than any other station in America. 
Are you a fan of Mayo being picked on by coworkers and sleeping in late? Then you'll love E Rocktober. <laughs> e Rocktober. <laughs> we have to have an E Rocktober sweeper now. Uh, other people uh, here saying during E Rocktober you're all allowed to gain 30 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Opie and Anthony E Rock Clock Watch. Is E Rock late again? Maybe his battery died. <laughs> I hear traffic was awful. <laughs> what time did E-Rock get in today? Ah, not too bad today. 14 minutes late. 14 minutes. That's not too bad. That's all right. I love that. Maybe his alarm clock didn't go off. Didn't go off. <laughs> that voice is hilarious. He was 14 minutes late today? Yeah. That's about average. Yes. What? <laughs> it gets worse than that. Where, where, what, what, what? Where are you living these days? Are you living in Cleveland? Are you? Are where you are like you? commuting from Cleveland? Like you don't have to say exactly. Just like where is it? Manhattan or Queens or Jersey? Or, or well, I use this. The C came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I did the the F word. Yeah. And I always say once you hit the C. Uh, there's really no no returns, so they might have dumped out of that. Oh, all right. Well, um, we, you missed the fact that he said he lives in Jersey. Oh, you live in Jersey. Yeah. Is it um, like far for you to get from where you live in Jersey to the the tunnel or the bridge or whatever you take? Not too far, no. No. So it's pretty much an easy drive in. <laughs> okay. Just checking. Why won't you come in on time, Iraq? I don't know. How late were you today? I. You know that any other job would have fired you for being late as as much as you've been late? And I've actually talked to you about it, and now you just make me look silly. I don't care personally because I used to be late to my regular job when I worked for a living uh, every day, and I couldn't understand why my boss would get mad at me because I would go, hey, as long as the job gets done, go work- screw. This isn't working for a living. I know. You should want to be here, like, early. Ah. You know how many people listening right now would love to be in our position? I woke up late and I looked down at my speedometer as I was driving at one point. I was doing 94 miles an hour in an Escalade, <laughs> which is just a rolling boulder. It's like a, the Indiana Jones boulder. <laughs> Why did you not go that fast? <laughs> because I had to come in. See, I wanted. I noticed I was late and I, I wanted to get in. Why don't you just be late and, as opposed to doing 94 miles an hour? And why, why did you not do that? See, I, I'm looking I at it differently. Right. You, you hit 94, why? You got to tap out at 100. You're that close. I looked down and saw 94. There were some times I believe I was going <laughs> faster. Right, That's the only thing I looked at. All right, I'm proud of you. You can make up a lot of room by uh, by Shea Stadium, by that turn over there, by hitting the right lane, by the way, if you're listening. Yeah. Right lane, not the left. Everyone clears out of that right lane. Well, there won't be any game traffic. <laughs> well, not to worry about that. <laughs> Everybody, I <laughs> get it, Mitch <laughs> Sock. <laughs> Crying kids. Uh, Playing golf, I know golf jokes all day for me. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Andrea. She's been waiting a long time to kind of say this. Andrea, what's up? Uh, well, my brother is a rugby player. He's got his friends are all football players. He was he says he's straight. Um, he went to school, plays rugby. His best friend of since high school made him a hemp ankle bracelet with a bead, a wooden bead around it, and he wears it proudly to school through everything. He he goes out to shows like Avenue Q with him. He streaks mm-hmm. with the whole rugby team. I mean. <laughs> It's not normal. Wait, he he wears an ankle bracelet that he got from another guy? His best friend. He's like, oh, my friend made it for me. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. I got an ankle bracelet from my friend. <laughs> you sure that's not like a certain type of ring with like a man of leather with a, with a, bu- a button on the end of it that he got in, a, in an adult bookstore to help a gentleman <laughs> help a gentleman along? Wow. Well. Hmm. Yeah, I think he might uh, have a, a a man crush. A man crush. Andrea loves it, though. (laughs) 
Uh, all right, Andrea, thank you. Thank you. There you go. Let's say hi to Max in Dallas, a faithful listener of the Opie and Anthony yes. Show. Yes. What's up, Max? Good morning, fellas. Hey. I'm going to say leave off the last D for diet for Erock. <laughs> <laughs> it's Erocktober, so it's uh, open season. I know. With diet, that'd be leave off the last D for don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There's a. Uh, <laughs> I love that Jimmy like. It's like sorry. Doesn't feel good about it. I'm sorry, Aaron. Uh, yeah. I'm just. I'm just. No it, offense. I'm just being part of Erocktober. I'm just being nutty. I mean, Eric's a very sensitive guy. Yeah. He's not a. He's not a punching bag. I see him, fetal position, weeping by the end of Rocktober. Oh no, Erocktober. <laughs> hey, uh, 1943 <laughs> guide to hiring women. Final. Yes. This is an actual uh, excerpt from the July 1943 issue. Of Transportation Magazine. I've been watching um, the uh, PBS special series by Ken Burns, uh, The War. Yeah. It's about World War II. And uh, part of that is uh, the, the women going to work. Because the guys are all shipping off to kill the Nazis and the Japs. And uh, the women had to be on the home front, and they took over the factory jobs. So, um... When that happened, it was kind of the first time the women really entered the workplace on this kind of a level. And I guess the guys figured it's time to put together uh, uh, some rules and some uh, ideas to better have uh, 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 women around and, and just better utilize them, better keep them happy, yeah. things like that. Because they're not like men, the women. They need special care. <laughs> Basically, they're, they're saying in this guy that the this guy uh, that they were forced to hire women. They because, were forced because the men are at war. They're at war, so you gotta hire a few skirts. When the men are fighting the Nazi menace, who's on the home front? Building the machines of war. It's the women. Rosie the Riveter here putting the last finishing touches on a B-17. Uh-oh. She's on her... I don't know if I could say that. Seems she's dropped a... in the... fuel tank. No one understood what I was saying. I thought I, I thought I had to beep out the word tampon. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, of course I don't. This is great. 11 tips on getting... Uh, First, it has to be invented. Yeah. <laughs> what a douche. Uh... <laughs> Women, they're not just for procreating anymore. They're in the workplace. Uh, here are 11 helpful tips this is on what, the subject of um, yeah, hiring women and having women on the job. Well, this was in a magazine. I love this line. There's no longer any question whether transit companies should hire women for jobs formerly held by men, the draft and manpower shortage have settled that point. Yes. The important things now are to select the most efficient women available and how to use them to the best advantage. Yeah, some women better than others. Starts with this. Uh, pick young married women. They usually have more of a sense of responsibility than their unmarried sisters. Unmarried sisters. <laughs> They're less likely to be flirtatious. They need the work or they wouldn't be doing it. They still have the pep and interest to work hard and to deal with the public efficiently. <laughs> the pep and interest, why the single ones are out just tying one on at night? Yeah, just whoring around on like jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like some customer service. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of our boys. We're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to go A D D here. Uh Doug in Jersey, go ahead. Yo, what's up, guys? Hey. Yo, um, well, here's something else. It's called uh, a bromance. It's when, because I got this one friend that's... A bromance? Yeah, bromance is... Bromance? Yeah, that's another term that's being uh, thrown around these days in the homo culture that we're talking about today. The bromance. Why don't you explain the bromance there, Doug? All right, well, you have a group of friends. You know, you hang out with your guy friends. <laughs> Then there's, a, there's always, like, that one friend that can't go anywhere else without that other guy around. Like, you get so uncomfortable without him. Romantic. Him. Yeah, it's called That's romance. very bromantic. <laughs> See? So if you guys work together, is that like a bro job? <laughs> yeah, exactly. E-Rock, what's the definition of a bromance? You're over there. You got it on the Urban Dictionary. It says it uh, describes the complicated love and affection shared by two straight males. Can you not straight. read it in radio voice? 
Yeah. Describe to <laughs> the, 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 the two straight male. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's Iraqtober. <laughs> I'm going to describe to you a bromance. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Normally two straight men. <laughs> What's the definition? Describes the... Describes the... <laughs> he's barely doing it, though. Give the guy a break. I don't care. I'll make it sound like he's doing it to the hilt. Go ahead, you rock. Describes the complicated... Describes the complicated... Affection shared by two straight males. shared by two straight males. <laughs> Iraqtober. On Iraqtober Radio. Iraqtober. When are we going to get our sweepers for Iraqtober? <sighs> <laughs> All you right. know, I want to be a DJ. Do you, Iraq? No. Not anymore. No. <laughs> he did have dreams, but did not anymore. Did you want to be a disc jockey at one point? I was at one point. Ooh, way to straighten me out. Yeah, bring in your, uh, your air checks for Iraqtober. It's We're all gonna... Iraq all the time. Iraq around the clock. Can you bring in an air check yeah. tomorrow for Iraqtober? All right. Uh, oh, that guy's gone. But, yeah, the bromance is another one of these, uh, these uh, words that are being used. And really fast, let's go to Sean the Trucker. Sean, what's up? Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Hey, the uh, rugby player with the ankle bracelet. Yeah. It starts with an ankle bracelet. Five will get you 20, and it ends in a pearl necklace. <laughs> <laughs> hey. There you go. There you go. Uh, Did you write something or no? Huh? Did you write something? Yeah, I want to start a new segment uh, called What the F. I think it's kind of cool. What the F? Yeah, what the F. And what'll that entail? Just, you know, things that make you go, what the F? What the F? Yeah. All right. What the F is with orange artificial flavoring? Huh. It never tastes bad. It always tastes like orange, no matter what product or company uses it. <laughs> orange tastes like orange. What the F? It's true. Yeah. Huh. What the F is with other artificial flavors? Oh. Grape tastes like it. Grape tastes like ass. Hmm. Unless it's in a nice pop where it tastes extremely sweet and sugary. Oof. Lime burns when you drink it. Cherry tastes like bad cough syrup. All the rest of artificial flavors naturally blow. What the F? What the F? What? What is this? This is kind of like Carlin, but without any good writing or comedic <laughs> timing. No. Why are you making fun of my writing? No, no disrespect. What the official flavors? What the f? Why do commercials on the radio or TV about people being illiterate always say the phone number and then spell it out? What the f? Hello, these people you want to call? Hello. Can hello? read? Hello. Is it a what you're saying? Hello. Much less spell it. What the F? Wait, wait. Hello is not actually written out. It, no. Don't tell me that there's a, like, hello. What the F? Why do commercials on the radio or TV about people being illiterate always say the phone number and then spell it out? Hello? These people you want to call can't read what you're saying, much less spell it. Is this? What the F? Is this called what the F or hello? It's called what the F. Is there an Earth to whoever? Like, do they do that? <laughs> Earth to Bob. Or how about Newsflash Dash? Like, Newsflash with a hyphen F. Yeah, yeah. Newsflash. Someone wants to guess the sound already. Uh, Brooklyn Ace, what's up? What's up, guys? Is hey. that you rock eating breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> it is he rocked over. Oh, no? Oh, sorry. By the way, by the way, um... Did this turn into Pot Talk Monday all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah, I know. We're all over the place. But, uh, what the F? We're very excited because we just uh, discovered something that's going to really help e October. I don't. I. I. Uh, I'm going to say right now on October second that e Rock doesn't survive e October. <laughs> yeah, it's so early, and there's been so much abuse hurled his way for e October. We will throw a party for you, uh, E-Rock, if you survive e October. I think he'll have a mental breakdown <laughs> yes. uh, and end up running out of the studio at some point in tears. I, I sincerely think that's going to happen. That's not uncommon, though. Eric's a sensitive boy. I'm he is sensitive. Eric cries relatively easily. He's, he's a sweet, 
sensitive, emotional kid. Hey, Rock, are you enjoying the uh, what the F bit? Oh, thoroughly, yeah. <laughs> and by the way, 80s legend from Maine, he goes, what the F is up with this dumbass segment? Wake me up when it's over. Z did he put the Z's? I love the Z's. Oh, did he put the big yawn? Sometimes with this show, you got to wait for it. Wait yep. for it. Wait for it. If you listen to this program and you hear us doing a segment that you really think is completely out of character and lame and stupid, perhaps there's a reason for it. Right. you got to, like, hang out for the, the payoff. You can't just take everything from this show at face value. Do you honestly think we would be doing this what the F bit? So just just relax. I mean, aside from the obvious funny like observational <laughs> Oh well that's what I meant, you know, it's hysterical. It's what you're I'm poking your head up over. What there. the F is with spaghettios? What's the deal? <laughs> What's the deal with the sauce? Three versions of SpaghettiOs? Plain hot dogs and meatballs? All three have different sauce. You Pla might know. Plain's a bit on the bland side and thin in texture. Hot dogs is very, very in capital letters, thin, but mildly <laughs> spicy. Meatballs is this thick, rich sauce which fills you up before you even finish the can. Make a note of it. What the F? What the F? I hate things that... Uh, are all about the subject of food. Yeah. What the fat? This should be what? called. <laughs> what the fat? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, what, what, what? Oh, okay. Oh, they've all been about some type of. Food. Oh, that's why I don't have that one. It's amazing. What the f? Is a Pokemon. <laughs> Want to catch my pocket monster? Maybe it will Pikachu. Oh, what the? Oh, hell? oh, hold on! No, 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 no! I, I got, I got, I got to put my coat on. <laughs> that it will Pikachu. Pikachu. Well, the pocket. Oh, pocket monster and Pikachu are both characters. See, you see, a Pokemon mm -hmm. is a pocket monster. Yeah. And Pikachu is a Pokemon. So, Pocket Monster will Pikachu. It's a play on words is what it is. Cool. What the F? What the F is with the video for the Christina Aguilera song, What a Girl Wants? Notice the set? It was taken from the 80s video for the Paul Abdul song, Cold Hearted Snake. What the F? What fat girl wrote this? <laughs> Holy <laughs> No, Jesus. I don't know. Did you? Who noticed that? <laughs> what type of... Pudgy homo would notice that. Well, here's the big reveal. In honor of e October. e October, everybody. The boys found one of e old websites. Yes. Good old pseudo radio, right, e -Rock? Yep. <laughs> oh, man, is he not in a good place. Wait, when did you realize that it was something you had written? When it was what the F or what? <sighs> yeah, exactly when did it hit you like, oh, my God, they found this. Uh, when I went into the office to try to get water and they were all covering up really fast whatever it is they had. <laughs> we, had a, we had a pop up. Hold on. We had a pop up just a, a like a blank Google screen. And just going, we're just looking at the internet. Yeah. Uh, you know, the internet. And also, let's not forget, it is also e October with our own e -Rock. All month long. All month long we're celebrating e -Rock with e October. <laughs> e October 3rd. Uh, Eric, we're only up to the third. <laughs> He's never going to make it. Man. This could be a very long month for Iraq. And people are already sending in their what the Fs. What the F? Uh, Scott M. from Hop Hog, he actually writes, uh, glad to see October is taking off. Uh, it's not taking off until we, we get the promos and the sweepers going, yeah. but uh, it's getting there. Uh, Scott continues, yesterday I celebrated October by showing up 15 minutes late and not brushing my teeth. Today I'm going to let my subordinates at work walk all over me, and tomorrow I think I'll smother everything in mayo. Uh, That's how Scott from Hop Hog is celebrating e October. Happy e October. <laughs> Sounds like a great way to celebrate. 20 days left in e October, according to... 28. What did I say? 20. Oh, 28 yeah, days. 28. 28 don't... days left in e October, we'll according to e yeah, e Short change us on e October. 
And you want a couple what the Fs? They're coming in like crazy. Uh, this is based on an old website that we found of Erox where he did a, a, a section called What the F. Our, like our staff are like detectives. And uh, they went uh, on the Internet and found um, old web pages from some of Erox's older websites and uh, things that he had up, blogs and yeah. little things. And uh, he would just post uh, certain little... Uh, uh, segments and one of them was, what the f? Yeah, well, Kevin from Connecticut, he's got a couple. Hey guys, here's an Iraq what the f. I hope and I hope you could use. And he writes, uh, where does the color white go when the snow melts? What the f? <laughs> 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 and then Kevin, another one, another what the f in honor of Iraqtober. Why won't Robin Givens marry Tony Banks? Is it because she doesn't want to be Robin Banks? What the F? What the F? <laughs> what the F? <laughs> and then Chris from West Virginia, faithful listener of the show, he's got a what the F in honor of uh, Erocktober. Why can't I go to my local shopping center and buy a decent pair of jeans that fit? They're either too long in the leg or the waist is too small. Earth to Major Tom. Maybe make a few more sizes to accommodate the husky male. What the F? What the F? What the F? Right, E Rock? Sure. <laughs> sure. You got us just beaten. It's the third. E Rock, you hanging in there for E Rocktober? Mm -hmm. You want to do a what the F for everybody from your old website? Awesome. People are suggesting that you should read the what the F's. Not I agree. Me. I agree. I don't. Well, you have to put the mic so people can hear Yeah, E Rock. We're celebrating you all month, at least talking to a microphone. All right, so celebrate me. You guys read it then. I think the boss said you should read it. How about, uh, who wants to read the What the F's today? Jimmy, you want to read the What the F? What the F's. I'd love to. All right, this is from uh, e -Rock's old website. It is e -Rocktober, And he did a little segment called What the F on his website. Pseudo Radio, right? Yeah. Right, e -Rock? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny. What the F is with Billy Crystal's voice. He sounds damn close to Bert from Sesame Street. And here's the key. And this you can't. And this is why no one laughed, because you can't enjoy it the way I can reading it, because there's a, a single quote around Sesame Street, like not quotes, but the one quote, right? As opposed to just writing Sesame Street. Yeah, why wouldn't you just? You gotta end the what the f's with, with a what the f. What the f? What the f. You have to like you know, punctuate it. What the f? What the f is with the double standards and age restriction? Why can you be 18 and strip in a bar that only allows you in if you're over 21? 23 or 25 in some places! Exclamation point. <laughs> it's the same theory as being 18 and allowed to 10 bar, yet you have to be 21 to purchase it. It. <laughs> uh, also, why can you be 18 to die for your country? Uh, oh, no, not no, this not one. That, are you? Not also, this gag. Why can you be 18 to die for your country in military service? Period. No question. Mark. Also, why? Can, oh, yeah. You can go to war and kill someone, but God damn it, don't let them see you drinking a bud. And bud is not capitalized. So that would imply that a bud is your friend. So you were apparently drinking your friend on the side and didn't want anyone to see it. Well, yeah. What the F? <laughs> Erox oh. writing, these weren't for comedy. We know that. They certainly... What? These were for some thoughts you had in your head, right, Erox? This was part of something I did for college. Okay, good. Here's something you do for radio. Read what? It. All right, yeah, read one. Read it. Something on, you Eric. did for college. Iraq, read a, a what the F. That's good in college, though. When you ask a question, don't put a question mark. That must have helped. Yeah. And start with what the F and end uh, with what the F. Yeah. It is Iraqtober. What the F is with the English language? Why do we separate sentences with a punctuation mark with a name that means half-assed? Maybe that's because most of us write... We do. Oh, this really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't say that. Because there was a time you thought this was brilliant. No, I wouldn't say that. But maybe that's because when most of us write, we do it that way. What the F? I don't know what you mean by that. What does that mean? Why do we use punctuation marks? Yeah, half assed, semicolon. Because, so it's a semicolon. Yeah. 
I do hate the semicolon, by the way, so I, you I might have a point. Uh, there's very few things in life I enjoy as much as the semicolon. <laughs> the semicolon is a great thing. The semicolon separates sentences, but it's better than a comma. Yeah. I would never even know where to use a semicolon. I think I overuse it, actually. Do you? Yes. Hmm. All right. How about another one? Um, what the F? What the F is with these macho jock a-holes who call me chief or boss as a way of getting my attention. Since when am I appointed a head of a department or promoted to management? No one fulfilled... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dan, he just blurted it out, never. Never. <laughs> <In the> background. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. All right, go back. He's Dad. never going to make it to the end of the I'll be fine. Never. Go, ahead, go back. Uh, go back there. In uh, October. Go ahead, guy. Go back. From the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please. Thank you, Sam. What the F is with these macho jock a-holes who call me chief or boss as a way of getting my attention. Since when was I appointed head of a department or promoted to management? No one filled me in on that one, and Lord knows my paycheck sure doesn't show it. Lord Just say excuse me there, sport. What the F? Lord knows? Lord knows. Are you a 50-year-old black woman? Lord knows. Lord have mercy. We went through some hard times. Lord knows. Ah... Uh... By wow. the way, I don't think macho jocks were calling you chief or boss. No. Was, hey, stupid, and hey, fatso. Yeah. No, actually, they weren't even noticing him. Just passing by in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Poor little E-Rock, hoping that they'd even notice. We noticed to him. This is a wee crap, yeah. chief. Yeah, I'm, you noticed him, boss. I'm proud of the E-Rock hire. Yeah? Yes. He's giving us great radio. Right. Well, I won't doubt that. But... That said, <laughs> you're not athletic. You got one more there, Iraq. Uh, what the F is with public restrooms? You're in the stall, and you notice that there is a, a foot sliding under. <laughs> <laughs> tap, tap, tapping. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, what the F is with public restrooms? You're in the stall and you notice that there is a one foot gap from the floor to the door. Not to mention the two inch gap from the door's edges to the walls. Why not just remove it all together and let everyone see what I'm doing? Like I'm in effing prison. It will also save prison. me time. Ugh, like I'm in effing prison. I'm in prison. What's the ask? It will also save me the time kicking the three-year-old in the head who keeps peeking under the door to see what's going on while he's in the same booth with his dad who's taking a leak. All right, wait a minute. Three -year it's not a three-year-old. Are in the booth and who was, who was actually peeking at Iraq? You you were the little kid exactly. in the booth, weren't you? No, sure. I was not. What the f? There was actually a three-year-old peeking from underneath. Yeah, he probably wanted to know why there were four feet in your stall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that doesn't look right. Is there an octopus using that bathroom? <laughs> he's got two feet facing one way, two feet facing the other way, and he's making moaning noises. <laughs> Making this sound. <laughs> I finish. Continue. So you got the three-year-old peeking in. That was it. What the f? What the f? Did that really happen to you? Yeah. Can we have one more, please. I, I, Real life I'm, story. I'm hungry for this. I know. I can't get enough. What the f? Well, you, you've already you, you, highlighted. So. Well, oh, good. Go to the ones that aren't highlighted. They're probably equally awful. Someone is suggesting. Stephen S from Bayshore. Mm. Hey, hope you guys are beating up B Rock so badly. I think you're going to have to bring in some Spuds Buckley audio to bounce things out. Mm. I will. I will. Uh, I will do this for you, E Rock. If you make it to the end of E Rocktober, I will bring in some really, really, really bad, embarrassing. Stuff from my career. I got a CQ-102 air check. But, but you're my hero. I don't want that to happen. And I think everyone else should bring in something embarrassing if E-Rock makes it to the end of e -Rocktober. That's how we'll celebrate the last day of e -Rocktober. Go ahead, sweetie. One what more. do you think? I agree. Sure. All right. Go ahead. One more what the F. Uh, what the F is with collect calling. Do rock stars usually... No, sorry. Do rock stars really use 1-800-COLLECT uh, when calling home. According to the commercials, they do. You would think they would have enough money for a pay phone or a cell phone, wouldn't you? Or 
Oh, wait, I lost it. You would think they would have enough money for a payphone, wouldn't you? Or at least a cell phone. <laughs> Hell, those have... <laughs> Thanks. Hell, those have free long distance what are you thinking? weekends. Yourself? What the F? Wait, hell, those have what? Hell. Hell. He's, oh, trying, to, he's trying to be like a regular yeah, you're guy really... on paper. You're not, you're yeah. not a regular guy. You get to read that end part again. Yeah. I don't want to rob you of, Take of, it from the, hell. of the good point that it deserved. Hell. <laughs> hell, those have free long distance... <sighs> you don't know how to speak. It, it, you, hell, hell, those don't have... Wait, no, hell. Those have... I, I don't get the sentence. Here's what he tries to tell. Those have free long distance in Rajiz. <laughs> 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 Give me the line, Ira. Hell, those have free long distance nights and weekends. What the F? Oh, okay. Uh, we got a, uh, a what the F coming in from Eric N. What the F? How come I get winded when I bend over to tie my shoes? What the F? <laughs> I, I can't get enough, by the way, of what the F. <laughs> I love what the F. It's, are there more of those anywhere? Are there, oh, there's, there's well, pages of them. We, we pages. Yeah, we'll have more as the month goes on here. John in <laughs> Pennsylvania, what's up? Uh, Iraq Bass. What Bass makes Iraq think of all of us that Andy Rooney's been trying it for years, and I never left him, so why does Iraq think he could do it? What the ass? That's a good point. Iraq, this guy is saying you're uh, ripping off Andy Rooney. Ooh. Well, probably. It was for an assignment, so... What was the assignment? It was, Be as uh, abysmal on paper as possible. <laughs> Congratulations, valedictorian. <laughs> <laughs> it was for a writing class where you just had to write uh, random observations through your day. Really? Yeah. And you decided to call it what the f? Because you want to have like a little edge to you. Yeah. You want to stand out like, well, this kid's got on fire. How'd you do on it, by the way? And by the way, it's not what the f. We just have to say it that way. And the, you know, well, it's was, actually he was whole... really edgy because he would say what the but and the whole... would say the f word. You college kids. But the whole word's not written out though. The whole word is like get an asterisk in the middle of it, so he didn't write the entire word out. So in a way, it is what the f. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, he meant it to be like that, but he didn't write the entire word out just in case. How did How did you do? Uh, I passed the class. They really didn't judge on content, obviously. That didn't have... get graded or anything. I think it was just if you did the assignment. It was one of those 7 a.m. classes. You went to retard school? You got a special see. class? No. Did you get a little gold star? A unicorn. Gold star. A unicorn what with you, sparkles. Was, wait, was the assignment to put it on the web? No. Oh. So you were proud of them? <laughs> I just had a folder of stuff that I threw up there. Yeah. That's it. You threw up there, exactly. You threw it up there. You got if oh. you threw it up there, you can't throw up anything. You can't just throw anything up on a website. It takes a, a lot of time to actually get stuff up. And this on is a back in the like it was an old website, so you could tell yeah. it was obviously written HTML, like basic HTML. Yeah. So you had to sit there and type out seven pages worth of that. Not That's thrown it up there. I actually had somebody else do it. <laughs> so you you yeah hired somebody yeah, intern to get your your writings up on the web where more people could see it. Yeah, I had a friend and go. To do it. Wow, this what the f thing is really cool. Eric had a staff. He thought he had a, he had an assignment for what the f. Yeah. And 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 he thought like my God, this is a book waiting to happen. You thought you'd be like the what the f guy and have all these crazy like like you thought it was gonna be like the like the the, the, the Gary Larson Far Side phenomenon. <laughs> like I got the what the f calendar. Look, September eighth. What the f? What the f? Yeah, one for every day. Of the year. You thought you'd be like a big hit in Spencer's. A big book with him in the back smoking a pipe. Exactly. On the back uh, cover of the book. But it's not like a smoking pipe. It was a, it was a crack pipe. And he was <laughs> kneeling by a gentleman to get more money for more drugs. <laughs> Can we please... Look, I know we keep saying one more. All right, one more, Iraq. One hunger, more what the One F. more what the My F. hunger. It is Iraqtober. We're uh, showcasing Iraq the yes. whole month of October. Yeah. For Iraqtober. Yeah, I think Fan is helping him, which is good. Fan would. I liked the uh, idea too about uh, Iraqtober Fest. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I I read that and thought, the longer we can make this name, <laughs> and the more we can do during it, the better. All right. Uh, oh, what the f? <laughs> what the f is with customers? Why do they have to open the package to see what's inside? It's the same thing that's on the damn label. Why must they fill up a shopping cart and just leave it down on the Nile? All right. Uh, oh, wow. Listen to his. <laughs> oh, he's all. 
Why must they fill up the shopping cart and just leave it down an aisle? Put the crap back if you decided you didn't want it before I drag your ass back there and make you do it. What the F? Do you, first of all... Okay, this is an edgy tough guy here. Do you honestly first of all, here's think here's here's you... Water. If you filled up a shopping cart and for some reason had to leave... I, I think there are many reasons. Maybe you get an emergency phone call. Maybe you realize, oh, crap, I left my wallet at home. Whatever the case is, this isn't something running rampant where you're dodging full shopping carts in a supermarket. But it does occasionally happen. Would you empty the shopping cart? You would go back all around all those aisles, find out where everything is, and put it back. Or would you just leave the cart there and let the guy that, you know, it's his job... To, to put the stuff back, let him do it. Well, perhaps you were the guy whose job it was to put the, the stuff back on the, uh, in the aisles ah. from the shopping Well, what the F's with the guy that uh, is supposed to put the stuff back and all peed off that uh, that I left the cart there? It's yeah. it's his job. What the F? All right, good. I was hoping you were going to end with... Of course. you got to end with what the F. Yeah, but you're, what a tough guy. I mean, he's, he is drag tough. Ass back there. I'll drag your ass I'll drag your ass back. Why? <laughs> you... <laughs> Sergeant G from Iraq. Uh, what the F? How come Dr. Ian Smith calls me 46 times a day demanding his $600? <laughs> what the F? What were you going to say, Iraq? At the time um, when I was working at this place, there was a certain type of uh, clientele that was uh, known for doing this because they okay. didn't have enough money. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. More well, what I'll the wait. F's on the way oh, as God. we celebrate Iraq Tober. I want this on my outgoing message. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing that makes me happier than what the F. What the F. Uh, also, we'll tell you what the the sound is after the breath. By the way, we did the show over there yesterday, and now we're doing it over here today. See what we get to do? Well, we're here now. Because uh, today, yeah, you know, a little more uh, stuff we need to take care of. Over Yesterday, it was the casual show. I like that this this new studio has a bunch of new looks. We were on the couches yesterday. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, today, That'll be good until they're all jizz-stained. I was thinking about that. we got to well, figure out how happen. to keep all this stuff clean and nice for a while. Oh, leather? A fucking load gets wiped right off of that. You yeah. windex it. Yeah, but who's who's going to do that? Fucking wh one of the Whoever fucking... Whoever better do it? Yeah. yeah. One, someone who doesn't want to get fired. Rumor has it, uh, Ken Stevens is finally going to get us back. He's standing by with a couple outside the studio today. Oh, is that it? Linger longer. Yeah, linger forever on that one. Wow. Remember that one? Yes. I, I, I've heard tell of people who have had uh, sexual intercourse on certain pieces of furniture in this very... Uh, place like, like the on office, the new stuff. The office, no, no, not on the new stuff yet. Could the, could the but that's what I'm talking about. Leave the new stuff alone for a while. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention any names, but let's just say. Remember, well, go ahead. A month might be named after him. <laughs> Danny? <laughs> no, there's no month after Danny. I know. That was, well, this is, oh, well, this I was, was just doing a little bit. I had dumb am I? I was trying to show no. people I'm but really how, stupid. But how dumb am I that I actually said, no, 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 Danny's not a month. Unless it was fucking rock a liver. month of Danny. No. Sam Tember? No. That's not quite it. Than? No. Than Vember? That doesn't work. Than January. Than, how's oh. mother? Oh, look at him. He's all mad at me. I didn't say anything. I just said oh, after a month. Why are you sitting down all pissed off? No, because I know where this is leading. <laughs> where is it leading? I didn't say your name. Wow, why are you? You could have no, like, just because I protested too much. No, I've been approached about this before. Oh, you have? have? Bullshit. Ooh. Okay, let yeah. me hear. I it. Had nothing to do with anything here. I'm I'm completely out of this Grab one. Grab that. <laughs> <laughs> There's another sound bite. I have nothing to do with anything here. I'm completely out of this one. What's happening? What's happening, Eric? I just hear rumors. What do you know? I don't know any of this. I hear like that perhaps there was some kind of uh, thing that happened in the office on the couch. No, never, ever. Okay. I. That, no, I take a lot of you... shit here, but that's. Wrong. You didn't had actually nothing to do fuck it. on the couch, did you? Nothing of the sort. You didn't here. get your cock sucked and balls licked on the no. couch, did you? Nothing. Didn't you get happen. your ass eaten on that couch? No. Didn't happen. No. It never happened. Nor would it happen. It was on a rug. It's no. Yeah. Nothing here. <laughs> so where did oh, that, I know what he did. Where did he got that fucked in the from? ass with a strap on with his face in Ope's chair. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to smell the boss's bottom. I, where did uh, that one come I from? I completely believe E Rock. <laughs> Oh, the, the the rumor starter? Yeah. Started it? That's who... 
You rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> you rock. At this point, does anyone believe a rumor he starts? Well, apparently. So, I wasn't. I, I don't think. I, said, I, don't, I, I think didn't Anthony, say I don't, this is what happened. I said I heard tell. What did you hear? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I want to make it perfectly clear because we do fuck around with E Rock a lot. I could tell by looking at his face this isn't real. He's definitely caught. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I heard. Uh, that uh, you had had some type of uh, sexual uh, contact yeah. uh, with some guy on um, the couch, uh, with a girl, on on the couch in the office. Never. What did you hear that he did? I didn't. I didn't get into details. I just heard that Iraq was fucking in the office. I would absolutely. I would fuck. I would bend somebody over this console oh, and yeah. stick my dick in them in a second. In him. <laughs> I was, oh um. Yeah, dick in the <laughs> <laughs> So no one else is coming here like Travis or Than well, to back that up or just prove Dan? it or anything. I have no proof. Ah, okay. But you heard. Uh, there's I, there's I, a but, though. Okay, Dan, what? I, what, what? I did hear this rumor. Yeah. And when this rumor came out, we suddenly had to have... A meeting about coming into the facility after hours and how we were not allowed to do that. Okay. Oh. So somebody did believe this uh, to right. such an extent to make an official corporate hey, meeting. Hey, diplomat, let the mercenary take the mic. <laughs> hey, go for it. Well, no, Danny. Just, there was there was a meeting regarding uh, being here after hours, uh, so so much to the point that we needed to clear any kind of after hours activities with Poe. Mm -hmm. Ah. Poe. Because, yeah, because I want to fuck. Because yeah. he gets first dibs. <laughs> he gets first dibs. Why? By the time the camera picked him up, he'd be finished. <laughs> oh, shit. <yeah. laughs> Can we rename the company FH instead of XM? <laughs> <laughs> Again, you know, uh, there's no probably hard proof anymore, but there, there used to be those little two security right, cameras. Right, security cameras. Now, I heard that there was some tape of security cameras wow. that 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 had on it now now uh iraq you're gonna get very angry mm -hmm. i heard you fucked right there on the console that opie works at on a daily basis and it was caught on the video camera yeah because i'm that stupid to risk my job doing that i well all I'm right so you admit it yeah. <laughs> no no you gotta you would have got a raise I just, I, I'm just saying what I heard. I'm not here. I don't know. And you telling me is just as good as other uh, rumors. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. and, and to tell you the truth, I don't even remember who told me the rumor. And it's before the engagement, so there's nothing to worry about. There is a oh, yeah, because it was a, no, it was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not I recent. heard this. I heard this so long ago that I forgot about and it. And I absolutely believe you, Rock. I don't care what those security cameras show. Who cares? The cameras lie. Yeah. Never. There, there's. What if I were to tell you mm -hmm. that there is video, mm -hmm. <laughs> not was, is video of you doing that right there? <laughs> I'd love to see it because it's Would not you? true. Okay. All right. I'm just saying. That's all. I try the same thing. <laughs> your arms and your eyes are kind of darting. No, because it's You're not sweating true a little. at all. It isn't. No. He's protesting. Could a little something too hard. have been done that might have looked? Like that on video. That might have believe, looked. No, I don't believe so. Well, did you ooh, ever have I a girl so. in the studio where you and her were on a camera at any time doing anything? It's like here's where Opie sits. Here's where the, you know, like a little tour. Possible. Yeah, it could have happened. All right. Could could she have maybe bent over to look at that and you went to show her? Uh, how to use a button. <laughs> no. Okay, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> but but she 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 might have at least sat where Ope is sitting on the uh, the old console, not this one. And just peeked around, right? Yeah, don't worry, Ope. You could eat your grapefruit right there and not worry. Well, I know it's salty yeah. taste on it. <laughs> what are you getting at? I'm not getting at anything. I'm just trying to dig deep. So you're saying that you could have had a girl in the studio who could have sat on the console or whatever, bent over, but not sexually. No, I don't think sat on the console at all. Sat in the chair, though. Okay. In uh, the boss's chair. Honestly, that could have been possible. Yeah. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Like the, And it was picked up on cameras, that's all. 
but what you were saying before is, no, absolutely, is absolutely not, not true. true. All right. I will take your word 100%. You don't need to watch that video again, right? Check I it won't. out. Don't need to watch it. Oh, my God. Um, I don't even know where it is. It's somewhere in a folder. Maury has a blind guy on who just found out his wife is having an affair with another woman. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. The guy is like, let me at her. Oh. He's, go he's walking on stage with his cane. He's blind. He can certainly find a refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah, really? Oh, fat boy. <laughs> can someone put that light down? It's light in my face. Just straight down, please. Um, he's, uh, he should eat carrots. They're good for your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, he's not. <laughs> What's up with the I don't believe so, though? That was. Wait, wait. That's the. I, wait, there's a fatty and, and the fatty blind guy. And then there's a skinny chick. Oh, look at him walk off. <laughs> oh Holy God. shit, he got so pissed he went to walk off stage and walked right into the couch. Oh, that's so great. It should be hey, Rock, I was listening to you, mm -hmm. and, and now I'm, t I'm completely convinced. There's no problem. So, like, how, how long would she have been in the studio for, do you think? I, I honestly, I have no idea. Just guess. On, on something I know nothing... No, I'm not giving that drop out. On something I don't know... Anything about? <laughs> you just say it. Don't, 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 don't. I'm not going to make a drop out is of it. Is there something no. to this, E-Rock? No, there's not. I just, I'm I know pissed this is... because this has been approached to me a long time ago. Yeah, this room has been around for a long time. And just figured it was time, you know, clear the air. That's, That's all. Right. That's all. all showing a girl. There's not all showing a girl in the studio. No, there was one person who was dead set that this happened. Mm -hmm. And I kept trying to explain to him that this didn't happen. Well, who was dead said that it happened? Why is He's it a no secret? longer Oh, okay. Bad dude, dude. Okay, cool. You know. So, um, of course, I wasn't allowed to argue about it or defend myself on it. I just was being yelled at, and it was supposed to be, well, that's it. And then it was supposed to be let go. Right. Why was he so certain? Who knows? He makes shit up all the time. <laughs> You know, and I tried to, I said, well, tell me some details about this. Show me what happened. No, there was nothing to show. There was no other details. Other, This is what I was told, so this is what you did. Uh, you're not Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, you're a uh, uh, console. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, allegedly... Uh, highlight scroll, highlight click, click, yeah, highlight, highlight click. click. <laughs> Scratch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Earl. Okay, I, I, you know, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, you know, I just want to clear this. that. I never heard that, actually. I never heard that. You rock I've been to a lot of stuff that I maybe screw up or say or whatever. Yeah. But Only when one. it's not true, what? 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 Only when it's uh, proof is staring at you in the face, do you ever admit you're wrong? But <laughs> Holy let's just get that out there. Oh, yeah, let me hang myself without, the, without evidence on it. Ooh, good Ooh, point. All right. All right. All right. If I were in your position, I would also continue to lie until proof was proven, you know, provided. So what are you saying? That he's lying? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Wait, do you think this is true? No. Well, the source is a problem with this one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it, it's imp it, it's tough to say for sure. So how come you think he's lying? It's more fun. <laughs> How's, <laughs> How's mother? Oh, I hope dead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Iraq fan is pretty much saying that he knows that this is true, too. Yeah, well, he's good at, uh, you know, keep dumping fuel on the fire for the sake of a bit, so. Oh, all right. I like that. No cliches. Yeah. So, it's not true? No, not at all. Okay. All right. He cleared the air. Sure did. That, I'm, I'm glad. I didn't even know about that this That was one. been going on for a long time, that one. We'll address others in the future. You address, you get that file still? <laughs> I, you know, we Why do? are you sweating? I'm not. I don't mean sweating like you're actually sweating, but you're like kind of sweating. Put your hands straight out. It's a tough month. Put your hands straight out. No, I mean like this. Why is it a tough month? One hand. Shake it a little. Yeah, you shake it a Why little. Why is it a tough month? It's Erocktober. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. You don't see anyone else around here that has a month dedicated to them? No. It's very flattering. We're mm -hmm. celebrating you. Yeah, Kenny wishes he had his yeah. own month. Yeah. Kenny wishes he had night glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking blind bat. Okay, I'm stopping here. It's the left lane. Kenny wishes he wouldn't count in his head 24 hours a day, <laughs> I'm too. I'm sorry. I picked up a moth on my sonar. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I was hungry. I, All right. What then? I just I feel bad because Eric... Is definitely on the, a little bit on the paranoid side because it's October and we're all 
working together as a team to yeah. make sure he's humiliated to and, the full And this is different than, than September? Yeah. Well, now we have your blessing. <laughs> And it's yeah, okay if it's we spend of, half the show doing it because it's for the show. It's fair game now because we got to find things like on websites and yeah. wish lists and things like that. Well, Elon makes fun of should make fun of people back. I think. In time, there I'm might saying. be some. Uh, should we do a fuck that just to calm everybody down? Any fuck, fuck that that's laying around? Yeah, you know what? Get the fuck that. So what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, we call I mean, what it what the fuck. Fuck that. We whatever. call it. We call it what the f. But we have to. Over the other side. Yeah, the yeah. fuck. I want to get to a new page. Right. You want me to do the dump report in the yeah, meantime? No, I, I, we're yeah. gonna do one. What the fuck? And then we're gonna go to you, Kenny. And then we're gonna go to hopefully brother Joe doing a little uh, you too. I thought you you were supposed to warm up your voice. Good. That's all you do to warm up. All right, here's E Rock. It is E Rocktober. <clears throat> Another what the fuck. What the fuck is with people who hate grapes but like raisins? Raisins are dehydrated grapes. What about people who hate raisins but like grapes? People are stupid. What the fuck? Who are all these people? <laughs> <laughs> Your mouth is really dry. No water. I like when you talk like that. It sounds good on, on air. I, um, I like grapes. I hate raisins. Me too. Raisins are rotten grapes, if you ask me. Exactly. What, what the you? fuck? Who are these guys that like breasts but don't like breast cancer? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't care if they're connected. I don't like one. Grapes rule. Raisins are for faggots. That's what I say. E Rock. What are you a raisin eater? He probably likes eating raisins. Here's what E Rock does. I apologize. No disrespect, but he'll put. None taken. He'll take a Dick Dixie cup full of raisins and empty them in his mouth and just hold them until they melt and he swallows raisin juice. Ugh. <laughs> The final runner-up line of the day. Since when am I appointed a head of a department or promoted to management? No one filled... <laughs> Danny oh said never God. in the background. <laughs> Danny just blurted out, never. 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 <laughs> E-Rocktober continues yeah. tomorrow on the Opie and Anthony Show. What are we doing for E-Rocktober tomorrow? Uh, more the, the, teasing, aggravating, and bringing yeah, up uh, rumors, and uh, Dan. <laughs> Dan getting smashed in the face by the microphone. The worst is I was, I'm just trying to be so casual, too. So yeah, not it casual didn't, at all. didn't work. No. Um... <laughs> He has a uh, just a whole body of work on the internet. Mm. What are we gonna go with next? Well, he has some articles. We can go longer form. Okay. Or there's still 60 more. What the? Fu uh, what well, the that'll fuck? be the theme. Yeah. I was going through uh, I a go few check. items on his uh, um, wish list. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Someone might want to hit print real fast. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I, I didn't. I wasn't sure if I should say that or not. Yeah, what was the? But, uh, uh, it's too late. What was item number one? Lipo for the neck. What? Is this? What? Who? You found his wish list? Did you save anything? Somebody should go print it right away. Go print it right right uh, away. I, that's not a secret, but. Uh, oh. Look at you got an actual wish list? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, what? why? You have a wish list elsewhere that maybe it would be a little no, more embarrassing? I mean, that I didn't know, but I know uh, that one is... Female body part in wish list. <laughs> Strap on dildos, R us. <laughs> What's on your wish list? It's mostly a lot of DVDs. A lot yeah. Of cartoon DVDs. Cartoon DVDs. And Fraggle Rock. <laughs> yep. Why? Aren't you an adult? It's a lot of 80s stuff. stuff yeah, but watch. Fraggle Rock? It's 80s. So what? So it's save it. <laughs> so is Fraggle Rock. <laughs> there could be something good in there. No, there couldn't be. You never know. The song. He probably uh, yes. Uh, Travis just uh, walked in. Is there something maybe that caught your attention on the wish list? Well, no. Like I said yesterday, my favorite is the Best of Tom Jones CD. Yes, the Best of Tom Jones. Thanks to you. Ah, thanks I would to actually, me. I would want that too, actually. Don't I you have half the stuff good. by now? The DVDs? Yeah. No. There's, there are, there's, there's like a lot more. Box set after box set of cartoons, the Flintstones, everything. I have a favorite that's on his wish list as well. Is oh, it dude, Animaniacs? It's... No, it's actually the the very best of Rowan Atkinson, I believe. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Bean. You just can't well, get enough of Mr. Bean. Well, he did Black Adder too, and uh, Mr. Bean stinks. <laughs> that's his stupid face. It's his live theater show. <laughs> <in London. laughs> Scooby, get it. You can't walk through the door without your tie getting caught. In the something. very last item on his wish list was Opie's love. <laughs> now that's been deleted. <laughs> deleted. I get it. Removed from <laughs> cart. All right. Poor Eric. All right. Yeah. Uh, air check tomorrow? Yeah. 
I'm serious. Yeah, I have it. I have it here. All right, we'll cut it out tomorrow. An E Rock air check tomorrow as part of E Rock Tober. E Rock Tober is taken off. And at the end, this is uh, we'll all bring in something embarrassing. Okay. I got some doozies, man. Cool. I got uh, college radio tapes. I got the CQ 102 mess. Hit music and more. Oh, I found an interview I did in fucking after my first TV taping in like '96, where I was just trying to sit there and be, you know, calm and likable. I was a complete oh, bag. Gotta say it. Gotta say awful. it. Gotta I, was say a, it. I was a glad bag of jizz. <laughs> <laughs> is it just you guys, or is it everybody on the staff? I think whoever can bring something in. Oh, oh yeah. I should. Oh, yeah. oh it's Sam smiling. He has something embarrassing. Oh, oh well. <laughs> What's that? Being self-deprecating. Our first show. Oh, <laughs> from nine months ago. <laughs> nine, mu no, we need, nine months ago. We need something that's a few that's years funny. old. Oh, it's pretty brutal. We have already. It's the Opie and Anthony show. ONA virus spreading across America. Hanging in there, Ant. Oh, yeah. Can I plug something real quick? Yeah, what do you got? I'm doing these very small gigs now to work on the material for the next hour. Friday, October 12th, Saturday the 13th, Reading Comedy Outlet in uh, Wysoming, Pennsylvania, or Why I'm Missing. What? I have no idea what it's called. You <laughs> should not, actually know how to say the... No, you should. It's the worst city you, name You ever. told me you were going small towns, but wow. I, I you just only, found one I never heard of before. I only want to do tiny gigs to work on this. That's what I want to do. It's, it's a fun way to get back into doing a new hour. You can't do the same crap you just did on HBO. October 12th, 13th, Reading Comedy Outlet in... Why you missing Pennsylvania and October 1920th, Danbury, Connecticut at the Treehouse. Nice. Danbury. Danbury, Connecticut. So if you want to come out, I'm doing two shows each night. All right, very good. Uh, it is E Rock Tober. E Rock Tober. E Rock Tober. E Rock Tober. Thank you, Eric, for totally ruining uh, the show. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was uh, nice. great. <laughs> it just ends right there. Erock, 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 Erock. It's Erock Tober, featuring more Erock hoopla than any other station in America. On the Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah, other stations have Rocktober. We got Erock Tober. Uh, where's Renee? Because you gave her an assignment for Erock Tober. Renee, of course, one of our lovely interns. Actually, the only lovely oh, intern. Yeah, one of our lovely interns. <laughs> one of our lovely interns. Who else? E -Rock, e -Rock Pat Duffy. Sober. What's wrong, Eric? You don't like this bit? Get us Shut up! We don't care! <laughs> and it's got production and everything now, which is just wonderful. It's e Rocktober. Rocktober. I do absolutely nothing around here. I'm the Opie and Anthony Show. Oh, poor e Rock. No. Being or quoted not. accurately time after time. Are you a fan of mayo being picked on by co-workers and sleeping in late? Then you'll love e Rocktober. This is not going to end well. It's e Rocktober. <laughs> See, we let you. Uh, we let. We left you alone yesterday, e Rock. It's back to you today. See what we do. One more, right? It's E Rocktober. Oh, e Rocktober. E Rocktober. E Rocktober. <laughs> And there you have it. Renee, in studio. Hi. How are you, Renee? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, Renee comes in every once in a while and uh, brings us stuff that she thinks is funny. Yeah. And so I'd like to bring it all together because it is e Rocktober. Then you d decided to have her, what, look through the e -Rock, uh what the F bits? Um, yeah, we're combining the two bits of what Renee thinks is funny and... Uh, E Rocktober because she was actually reading the the what the f's and laughed out loud. Wow! <laughs> did you really laugh out loud? I, I did. I was sitting in a XM and I was just I picked it up. I didn't know what it was. And I was just reading it and I found one. I just I just died. I oh my god! Is it, you have wait, a wait, very wait, wait. strange uh, sense of humor. <laughs> it I do. Wait, you really think this is funny? You weren't laughing because of how awful it is, like we are we're doing. No, I'm laughing at it because one, it's. The one I, I'm going to read is uh, is funny, and two that someone's going to sit down and actually type all of this out. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is kind of true, but it's just kind of sad right, that uh, someone's typing this out the entire time. All right, hold on one second. I got to keep okay. a bit going. How's mother? I don't know. Maybe dead. Oh wow! That's, that's today's answer. No, I have no idea. All right. By the way, can I say this is what Renee is? You're a beautiful simpleton. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, you like first smiling. I bet you like Ferris wheels too, huh? What was that? Ferris wheels. 
No. Not so much? No. That'd be too confusing. She doesn't comprehend, like, how will I ever get back to Earth? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only saying that because you laughed out loud reading a What the F. I haven't read it. It could be very good. All right. You know how to follow the What the F format, right? Yeah. We added to it a little bit just to, like, spice up uh, E-Rock's awful bit. So you end with What the F as right. well. Right. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. have to. Start with What the F is with people touching my pillow. If people come over and they sit on my bed and I have tons of pillows on my bed, which one do you think that they will you lay on while watching a movie or whatever? My pillow. How the hell, out of all these pillows, do they manage to pick the one I sleep on? What the F? That made you laugh. I think that's funny because, one, it's probably true, and, two, that someone's going to sit here and think about all their little pet peeves in life and write it down. I think that's hysterical. And, three, it stinks. <laughs> I think it's funny. And four, it's awful. And yeah. fun. <laughs> I, I, I have a few problems with it. Yeah. Maybe Iraq could help me out because he's the author yes. of that one. Um, you have a lot of pillows on your bed, do you? Um, I was living with a female at the time. All right, okay, I understand. And you had a, lot a problem pillows. with a female using your pillow? No, I had a, a lot, problem. A lot of pillows. No, no, here's what I'm getting at. Who is sleeping or laying in your bed watching television that you would have a problem if they used your pillow. It was a college dorm. <laughs> yeah, okay, like a, an regardless. For the college. And um, so it's pretty much like one big room. Your bed's there, the TV's on the desk. Right. So when they had people over, they're sitting on your bed. They're sitting right on my pillow. I fucked in college dorms, I know. Excuse me, it's <laughs> 10 to 9. <laughs> Anthony said, uh, I've effed in college dorms. Yes, I know. I, this week. I know, what a, I know what a college dorm looks like. So guy, a, a guy would come in and just like lay on your bed and grab your pillow. Now, you said you were living with a girl mm -hmm. in the dorm. Um, after your freshman year, they have like college apartments, so you don't move off campus. But you have like um, a big room, a common room, a common room, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. Uh -huh. And um, all the bedrooms are joined around the com the common room. So when you'd have people over to watch TV or a movie or something, they would sit on the bed, but they would sit right on the pillow. And that used to freak me out. What the f? What the f? <laughs> what the f? And that you found funny. Well, because I'm also thinking in the way that he's reading it. It's also the the delivery and the whole thing which wow. I thought was funny as well so but the thing is when I read it it's true because when people come over and they sit all over your pillows and be like alright you have to sleep the, you have to alright so would you buy a what the F book from E-Rock no right yeah. why yeah. is boy George out there <laughs> What? Hey, what happened to Renee coming in with what she thinks is funny in her uh, E-Rock oh, yeah. Cobra bit for today? Oh, that's what's her name there. Uh, Andrea. Yeah. Hi, Andrea, the, the horrible cook. Oh, I thought that was boy joke. She makes the worst. And she makes the worst everything. She's horrid at baking and stuff. Hi, Renee. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What's up? Hello, Renee. Oh, not so much. What's wrong? Having a good day? I uh, didn't expect to come on, so I'm a little oh, ruffled. No, is that I was, a problem? Uh, Nothing to plug? That's the topsy-turvy world of radio there. There uh, you go. You know, you never know. you got to be <laughs> ready all the time. That's right. One minute you're wearing a railroad hat employee, <laughs> a railroad employee hat. I'm tired. <laughs> a railroad hat yeah. employee. Oh. Now, that's funny. It's the person that stitches the railroad hat is sitting on her head. That's going to be heavier than a railroad hat employee. That's got to be heavier than a shit hat. <laughs> it was, it's raining out. I really didn't feel like putting my hair up or whatever, so it just threw yeah. out, and I didn't care. Yeah. All right, so what do you got today? All right, I got some more what the fucks. Um, this is the e -Rock bit for e -Rocktober. It's e -Rocktober. Yeah. All right. What the fuck is with SpaghettiOs? What the deal is with the sauce? Hold Three, on, hold on. Can you... Oh. Am I still going? Or You're sorry. fucking up his what the fuck. Didn't we do the SpaghettiOs one? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know we did Sorry. Well, That's cool. But it's one she likes. She could redo it. All right. Yeah, no, we don't yeah. have to. No, we'll read that. Uh, and a lot of people didn't hear it. They're timeless anyway. Yeah, they're <laughs> timeless. Let me uh, get this in first. e October. e October. Thank you, Eric, for totally ruining uh, the show. <laughs> All right. There you go. Now, uh, what sorry. the fuck? Uh, hold on. I totally lost that one. Okay. I wait, lost wait. It. Is that? 
What's what? But no, the, the cab. Yeah, fight. It's over there. No, it's, yeah. it was the other page. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is real good. Ah, uh, uh, here we go. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is with Spaghettios? What's the deal with the sauce? Spaghettios. The version. There's three versions of Spaghettios: plain, hot dogs, and meatballs. All three have a different sauce. Plain's a bit bland on the bland side and thin in texture. Hot dog is very thin, but mildly spicy. Meatballs is this thick, rich sauce which fills you up before you can even finish the can. Make a note of it. What the fuck? Because it's about food, and he's always eating. Why is that a what the fuck? I I don't... Wow, who would think the heavier sauce that he has meat in in it would be the one that fills you up faster? What the fuck? Finish the whole can. Like, I just picture you eating it out of the can. Did you notice that this fucking fat necked idiot didn't notice one political point? (laughs) Not one social point? (laughs) It's fucking... What a dumb motherfucker. It's SpaghettiO sauces (laughs) and fucking lollipop flavors. Lollipop. (laughs) Do you ever notice when a magician makes you a dog out of a balloon, it doesn't bark loud? (laughs) You fucking idiot. Uh, John, what's up? Hey, am I on the radio? Hey. Uh, oh, boy. John, come on. What do you got? Get to it. Hey, I got a what the F for you, October. Okay. Hey, what the F is with light mayonnaise? Sacrifice all that flavor to save just a few calories? Thanks. Now I got to put on double and triple the mayonnaise. What the F? I'll, I'll, I'll give him some points on that one. It's too well written. It's not really funny. Like, haha, ha, funny. But it follows the what the F format. But it follows the format, and it is E Rock relevant. Yeah, do we have the E Rock Tober Sweepers right. today? It's fattening and it sucks. Right. <laughs> it, uh, it, it, he worked in the, the whole thing that E Rock is nothing but a fat slob, uh, who eats just spoonfuls of mayonnaise. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like it. All right, E Rock, you want to do a what the F? Huh? Not bad for the first call, huh? All right, don't compliment yourself. <laughs> Pat himself on the back. <laughs> Not bad for the first call. I expect more out of me. <laughs> All right, we'll, exactly. we're going to give you a solid B for your first call. Okay? <laughs> How's that? I, oh. I want to. Hey, huh? He's acting like it's the Bob of Bowie call on Larry King. Get <laughs> <laughs> a hold of yourself. <laughs> Bob of Bowie? Yeah. I remember that one is very famous. Yeah. Uh, all right. Billy Billy West. Thank you, John. When uh, when Billy West was doing Howard's show, uh, it was probably one of the funniest things I ever heard a human being do. He kept calling up Gary as a woman. Billy West did the best woman's phone voice. He sounded like just an older woman on the phone, and he kept calling and giving different variations on the whole Baba Booey thing. So it was Barbara, and he'd be like, "Oh, oh Barbara, who?" And he's just thought, Billy West was just thought laughing. He goes, Barbara Pooley. <laughs> and then, Gary was getting so annoyed with the situation, but he kept doing it. He was like that guy, Billy West, was so talented. He was just able to. He kept coming up with names and kept coming up with different voices to just nail him with it. Hysterical. Goddamn Billy. Another person that uh, I guess uh, you know wasn't offered enough money to stick around. Bye bye. So long. He's a multimillionaire now. Oh, he's the voice of a serial B. How do you not make money off of that? It's E Rocktober. Rocktober. I do absolutely nothing around here on the Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah, everyone else out there, those rock stations, they have Rocktober. We have E Rocktober. E Rock, you want to do uh, What the F from one of your old websites? These are actually oh, What yeah. the F's that uh, E Rock wrote back in the day, a few years back. This kid's got a gift. Yeah, you really do. Go ahead, E Rock. What the F? Uh, sorry. What the f is with toothpaste that makes your mouth feel clean? And uh, and <laughs> what's with toothpaste that makes your mouth feel clean? <laughs> the perfectly good garbage juice you can drink. <laughs> <laughs> what the f is with toothpaste that makes your mouth feel clean? Or this perfectly good cod oil you can brush with? All right, there you go. There's today's what the f. Uh, Are you a fan of? Oh, hey, what is that? <laughs> What's with toothpaste? Right. Isn't that its job? I, I kind of. You want to know more? I have to hear the outro. Sure? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, start over, Iraq. Iraqtober, everyone. 
What the F is with toothpaste that makes your mouth feel clean? How do we know that our mouth is really clean? Every advertisement seems to contradict what the other product claims. So how do we know if our mouths are really clean or just giving the illusion that it is? And does it mean our mouth is not clean if our girlfriend is wearing a SARS mask around the house? <laughs> Sorry, that's not what you wrote. Catch up. What the F? Yeah, what, oh, uh, the, F? what the F? Of course, what the F. And mm -hmm. Yeah, but what the F? You should give us a, a call. <laughs> what, um... All right, two, two seconds. This is two seconds. Bring in that douchebag. Flea, come here. Flea, man. Come here. Come here, shithead. Flea, get in here. Come here, dummy. First of all, I want to thank you for calling my fucking cell phone at 1230 in the morning when I have to be up for work at an ungodly hour of four in the morning with a drunken thank you. I, I didn't need to be a thanks that my girlfriend was nice enough to buy... Uh, a bunch of people tickets to go see who? Bad Religion. Bad Religion last night, which is fine. Everybody goes to the show. It's wonderful. I didn't need a thank you at 1230 in the morning. Thank you for that. Uh, secondly, you are an artist? No. Now, why do you say that? Well, for not being an artist, you have a lot of uh, portfolio work. Well, I'm in college, so you got to take an easy A, so... Why an not easy A. a? Wait a minute, easy A, an A to me, in in a course would mean you're good at it. Yes. So what? What do you just got to show up? Yeah. I. Do you use your hands when you draw, or do you put like a, a dark <laughs> pencil in your asshole and scoot around while squatting? Because that might be a good suggestion. Well, it's a, it's just an easy credit. It's you know something that. It's not my major, so I don't really have to. This is what people are going it. to college for. Yeah, if you want to see me, you can go to Columbus Circle, and from two to six, I'll be out sketching, and then I get. Well, we really don't have to go that far. Um, I, I, I've seen some of your sketches here, Danny. If you would please. You, why? Th why what? Why not? I'll let it be known that this is not my major, and yeah. <laughs> Look at this now. What? What is this? this? All I could describe it as. Camera. Uh, yeah, let me let me let me get this on a, on a camera. Uh, this I actually failed for. You what? Really? Yeah. And well, you in the should've. eyes of God. Yes. Just just yes. hold it in front of Steve because he's always in front of a camera. What? You're all you're all you're on camera too. Put it in front of Steve's face and you will have gotten it. Believe me. Don't worry about it. There you go. Just move the mic, I guess. It that is a. a a one dimension. That, that is like a half a dimensional picture. It doesn't have any depth whatsoever. It's a staircase. Put it down a little. It, it's, see, it's, it's right there. Keep going down. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, there oh, you oh, go. Okay. Look at that. And then there's a flower growing out of the top stair and a window. That is a third grader's rendition of like the inside of your, your house. You're really not good at this. I know. No, you don't understand how bad you are. That is such a waste of time and paper. Now, let's flip the page, because maybe that was just one example. Maybe you've gotten better. No. Flea. Maybe Flea Man's gotten better at it. <laughs> it oh, here it is. Flea. Awesome. Who the fuck is that? My professor. Oh. That, is your professor Jerry Lewis after he was hit in the face with a Mack truck? <laughs> yes. That's and, your professor. Why, did, why does he have a fucking, why does he have like a Joaquin Phoenix cleft palate under <laughs> Simpson's nose? I don't know. And he, does he have a John Boy mole? Mr. Pinkerton. And why, is he, why are his teeth perfectly straight? Does he, is that what happened? Is his jaw yeah. wire shut? He smiles like this and he's got worms for uh, lips and, and square uneven glasses. No, Mr. Pinkerton has burn victim lips. <laughs> it looks like all, like a black person who was burned and like the only thing left is their lips. <laughs> That's a fucking police sketch on another planet. Right. It doesn't even resemble a human being. It's Mr. Spock after a small explosion went <laughs> off on his face. It's fucking terrible. You're horrid. And why does he have square glasses? Is that what he wears? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, now... <laughs> is there a... Oh, no! Believe me, if I could, I would. Have you gotten better? As time goes on, how long have you taken the course? About a month. You got a lot of drawings in there. That's you actually not bad. That's oh. actually not bad if you did that when you were one. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and now what the fuck? Is this your teacher again with the square no, glasses? That's actually me. Well, how that's you? Self portrait in class. How come out of my mind? Why do you have, have fucking fern leaves on the end of where, where the fingers should be? <laughs> right, let me get to uh, Look Damn at it. the hands, Anthony. Dude, I'm not. Right, I'm not an artist. I never claimed to be. Go. It's Sorry. just an easy. Th First of all, it's easy three credits. The fucking fingers look like fern leaves, and the feet are two pointed witch feet going left and right. Look at how immature the drawing style is. What are they te Are they teaching you? No. Do you, does he look at you and go, okay, let me grade this? It's just show up and do all your work, and okay. you're good to go. What? Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> is, is it a yes? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. I say on the okay. self. All right. You want to take a look at that for me? I'm going to go over here. <laughs> 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 oh no! Just watch the carpet. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! He rushes. He got just pissed all over his. <laughs> oh, that is a shame. <laughs> oh, it's all stained. Um, Flay, uh, did you need that? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go to Pearl's Art Shop, spend another 80 bucks on a sketchbook now. 80 bucks? Yes. No way that costs eighty fucking dollars. I don't know how much it is actually. I think it's dude, it's like probably like six actually, bucks. I don't know. I I'm trying to think. I have no idea how much. Well, why don't be. you just you you ought to do is let it dry like that and see if it turns into some kind of a concept art of some well, sort. It's kind of like his version of piss Christ. Yeah, yes, exactly. like yeah. Piss Christ. It's piss flea. Piss flea. Now, uh, flea. Another yeah. thing I want to ask you about is. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that would have been funny. Face first. Flea, I want to ask Dude, you why about... why do I have my fucking notebook? Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Why do I have your fucking notebook? Uh, what is this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle drawing <laughs> in a fake ID <laughs> looking thing? It's got your name up here, and then oh an address, goodness. and it yeah. says uh, FBA New York, and then a, a zip code. Yeah. Do you want to be a Ninja Turtle? Do you want to be a Ninja Turtle? No, it's the Lulz Turtle. Dude, you are like a, a fucking... Like a five, uh, a, a five-year-old. You're. Wh what happened to you? You're. You're. What is? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get a good view of that. Just don't give his address out. Is that your address? <laughs> no. no. I think he lives oh. in and that's not your name either. No, Mr. No. Turtle. Flea Mansky. That would be a coincidence <laughs> since he's Flea Man. You wrote. Flea oh Mansky? Jesus. Yeah. Iraq, e you better get a checkup. Your urine stinks. Oh my god. His piss smells like mayonnaise. What do you do? Pound asparagus into your dick hole? <laughs> oh, oh god damn, is that awful. Um yeah, I don't know what else this is. Like psychology. Mm -hmm. Look up You spelt it wrong? Okay. It's a tough word. What is psychology? From the Greek root, psych or soul or mind, logos. You gotta learn this stuff, huh? This is hard. Sex. I don't know what that is. Here you go. I'll give that back to you. We won't um, piss on that, so it won't cost you another eighty bucks to do. Did you think those drawings were they graded already, or? Uh, I no, a couple of the other ones weren't. Actually, yeah. that one needed to be graded. So. Oh, it, oh shit. Yeah. We give it an F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes down the scale a little more. It's, it's actually, got a P. <laughs> it's actually going to be fun to explain to a teacher. Yeah, just say your dog did it. Exactly. That's okay, because ours did. I know. <laughs> you rock. Exactly. Uh, it's actually easier to believe a dog. We actually have a dumber creature. <laughs> At least the dog would have shit set up when we come back from... All right. Well, Flea Man, that'll teach you to um, call me when I have to get up for work the next day. Lesson learned. Okay. Lesson learned, indeed. I will see you on uh, Pal Talk, my, my friend.
my artistic friend, or is that autistic? <laughs> it sounds the same. We got a little replay action here. We're doing Wake Up Your Spouse on Wednesday. So yes. far, we got one. Unfortunately, yeah, what's happening today? Well, the concert pigs are like killing our phone lines every day, so it makes it tougher for some of these people to get in with their uh, Wake Up uh, Your Spouse ideas. So it's kind of frustrating. But we got one so far today, and uh, the lady cursed. So we kind of cleaned it up so yeah. so you could hear what happened. Uh, hopefully, the, hopefully this uh, explains what what was going on. I think it's a shorter version. Three, two, oh, it one. Is. Wow, it's that short? Jeez. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What am I going to do with that? That's your phone, Eric. What am I going to do with that? I asked him to shorten the clip. I didn't realize he shortened it that much. I, I, There's no setup. Oh, oh boy! Man, I don't want to play the long version. Oh, I, I know. No, how about to. they? How about they just reshort and we play the next version? All right, we'll do that. How about that, Eric? Well, I, Eric, <laughs> please, E Rock, please. We're under the gun. We're feeling a lot of stress and pressure these days. You gotta f and listen to me. I did listen. No, you told, didn't. Yes, what, I did, and I what told I say? him that. What did I say? You said I you said you didn't want I the said, whole setup. You no. wanted a shortened version of the phone call. I said. Oh! So the shortened version is seven seconds. That's what he handed to me, and no, I handed it right no, to Iraq, me. No, no, Iraq. I'm going to start taping my conversations off air, because uh, trust me, I'm Rain Man when it comes to this crap. It's one of my problems. I said, take the call, clean it up a little bit, shorten it, and then bleep out the curse. That's exactly mm -hmm. what I said, and I guarantee people in this room will back me up. So what I got now is the really long original call and the short call, which is seven seconds. That doesn't explain anything. How long is the original call? It's over two minutes. Boy, that's a shortening. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you tell someone to shorten it, they don't mess around. Three, two, one, clip. Done. Wow. I, I said concert pig again? Holy crap. Why Why do I keep saying concert pig? Because a lot of them... Because uh, e rocks got you all distracted right. with his incompetence. I never got over seeing <laughs> I, I never... Oh, oh Eric's upset. <laughs> Eric, what? The microphone. You have to let the mic. This was out of my control. Oh. I explained it. A oh, while ago, Jesus. when the call originally happened, Crazy. that we needed this per OP's instruction, Tim didn't do it. Don't say just per. Now. Don't say per. By the way, he rocks. But her. do you understand? If I tell you, then it is your responsibility. I don't care who you have uh, do it. When it's handed back to me, I assume that it was done correctly. When you delegate responsibility, you are the one responsible right. for who you delegated it to and the final product. That I don't comes even back know who Tim you. is. Who? Exactly. Tim. Exactly. He's a bull Radley of K Rock. <laughs> Just a big lummox stands there. So now we got to, you know, just... <laughs> All right, listen, now I'm saying it on air. Oh. Take the original clip. I'm sorry. Shorten Tim. it up so it's not, like, two minutes long. Uh, Tim's in the studio now. Oh, boy. Tim. Oh boy. He said, give me a, the whole call and give me a short version of it. He didn't say clean it up and, and make it. I thought you just wanted the there you go. part. There you go. Yes, I did say go. that to you because when I asked you originally there in the IM here about mm -hmm. it, and then I went back to the studio and asked you, you said, oh, no, I didn't pull it. And I said, it's got to be a shortened version of the call, and right. it has to be beeped because mm -hmm. there's a curse in it. Right. And you said, okay, and then I came back in here, and then you handed me the disc. Up. And I did exactly what you asked. Who cares? <laughs> what in? Said, shut up. Who cares? I think we have. I'll go, I'll go fix it now. I think what we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you didn't communicate what I communicated to you, Iraq. That's what it comes down to. You, does Iraq feel that he didn't get enough information as to how short you, you wanted it? Tie me a sheep shank. You didn't tell me how short you wanted it. Yes, is that the problem, Eric? You felt like you weren't given enough uh, information. No. Microphone. Can, we can't, so what's people. the problem, Iraq? No. Why do you feel like you're being uh, persecuted Persecuted here um, unjustly? Comment, Iraq? Comment. I, I don't know how. Well, shorten the call down and make sure it's clean means seven seconds of the call. I understand not the whole full thing, but have a little setup before the actual phone call. I didn't do the edit, but I had to delegate it, so I guess it is my responsibility that the call was edited wrong. Did you then listen to it beforehand? No, because he walked in and... Oh, see? So it went from his hands to right into the machine for on the air. Yeah. See, is that good? No. In the long run? Basically, the general gave the captain an order, the captain gave it to a private, and now the captain wants to back out and say to the general, it's hey, the private's you know, it's the fault. private. But now someone's saying it's my right. responsibility because I trusted Iraq, and I guess that person is, uh, is, is, is accurate. Wow. Now I look like a dummy because you didn't do it right.
Now another demerit. See, you blame, you blame Tim. I blame you. I can directly point out how you cost us Detroit. Crap flows down, my friend. Let's go to Beatrice. <laughs> Beatrice, you listen. They hate sloppy radio in Detroit. <laughs> Beatrice, you listen to the Opie and Anthony show. Hello, is this Ollie or Anthony? What? Ollie. Yeah, it's Ollie. Ollie. What's up? Hey, how you doing? I'm I'm calling about the contest. And you listen to the Ollie and Anthony show. Um, my grandson actually turned me on to it. His uh, acting is horrible. And, oh, yeah. um, I thought you sound like Rich Voss doing Shakespeare. <laughs> I listen to the Ollie and Anthony show. Oh, you guys are just fantastic. Your bit I is terrible, I sir. Every minute. I blame Iraq for this call. Absolutely. Who thought... I told you to edit this man's thank... life with a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Bob Kelly for breaking his leg and giving us such an awesome sound clip for this week. You know what? You guys this are week, I got a. I hey. I, uh, I give myself a demerit today. Where's my? Where's wow. My, where's my pad? I bought into Did that. Did I one. do a rock scream for you guys? I bought oh. into the Beatrice thing, and of course, That's Wednesday. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna try to trick us, why would you come up with a name like Beatrice? I'm I'm a dumb. Beatrice. One demerit. We should have had that guy do a rock scream as he was plummeting off a roof. <laughs> You hold your cell phone, just throw yourself off the 30th floor. A rock scream. Stone him and listen to him scream. That's a good rock scream. Eric, can you not be sad, please? Our own Eric is I don't like a sad Eric. Iraq. Happy one. Iraq, how do we go to break, by the way? Like, how, like, seriously, how do we do it? You say, it's the Opie and Anthony show. And then what do you do? And I tell them to go to break. And how do you say that? Through where? Through the microphone over here. All right. Tell them to go. All right, I'm doing my job and your job. Wow. Look, he feels he has to do both now. See what you did, Iraq? I got the other headphone that's on. Yeah. Can you hear me out there? Air traffic okay. controller. Okay, they could all hear me on the yeah. affiliates. Okay. This is the Opie and Anthony show, and we'll be right back. Hold on, hold on. Go. It's Opie and Anthony. You all right, Iraq? E mm -mm -mm. We good? Get on mic. They want to make sure you're all right. Yeah. You got fans out there. I'm sorry if I was a little harsh. He has a fan out no, there. It was my fault. I just, uh, wow. Feeling a little pressure lately. It was his fault. It's a little pressure, a little stress. want to make sure we, uh, we're on the ball. And here comes the. <laughs> here is the clip now. See? 36 seconds. Huh? Now well, that's cut down. Thank you, Tim. Without it being a little premature. Right. We were talking about Wake Up Your Spouse. It is Wake Up Your Spouse Wednesday. Might be too late to get new ones in now, unfortunately. Yeah. The uh, the prize pigs. The contest pigs. Not to rein it. Not the concert pigs. <laughs> Although people are enjoying every time I say concert pig. I think, honestly, I think concert pig because of uh, the time we went and saw Kiss in 1998. Oh. <laughs> Not the same audience from their heyday. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, now it's too late because a lot of the people are up. They're awake. Right, right. So uh, this came in an hour ago. It's uh, the mm -hmm. only one we got today. But uh, next next week we'll do it again and we'll see what uh, comes in. But uh, this is what uh, happened a little while ago. Dan, uh, yeah, you got to be careful uh, with how you describe what you're doing. How right? you describe this. Okay, I got you. I'll be careful. I am going to just... Gently poke my girlfriend. Let's let's just put it this way. He's going to poke uh, in a, a very uh, precarious place. She must sleep in a really weird way. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's on speakerphone. Okay. Three, two, one. Man, what the? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And there you go. That See a quick, quick highlight. Long. Quick highlight. That's all. That I was wanted. so long. Jesus, it just went on and on. Now we'll take you in the show. Do you have clip? Should have been shorter. <laughs> you have the other version? Right there. Give me that. From where I'm sitting, I can never see Eric's face. All I see is his hat and his eyes. Yep. Well, I can't see his nose or his mouth. Just his hat. This is what caused the argument. See, now we bring you in. Yeah. Now I want to hear what the clip was that you were originally given. That one is perfect. You know, someone's waking up their wife. Yep. You know what they're going to do. Exactly. And then you get the big reaction. The payoff. Perfect. 
You don't get all that dead air as he's setting up the phone and babbling yeah. about nothing because he's on the radio. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and uh, this is what Iraq thought I wanted, technically, because you told Tim, and this is what Tim handed in. Three, two, one. Man, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. What is that? What is that if Perfectly you don't know the clear. setup? What is that? What is that if you don't know the setup? It could be a shuttle launch. Antonio, Jersey, what's up? Yo, uh, I got a question, man. I, I mean, I, I'm, I listen every day. I try to get it, you know, some time in, but uh, I work. I work really early. Whatever happened to Erocktober? Oh yeah, it's still in. A yeah. Well, here's it's the problem. Ron and Fez uh, celebrate it more than we do. Really? <laughs> yeah. What else can we do with Erocktober? Erocktober is like, like. Like a like a like a like a scoop of mashed potatoes on your plate. Those so rock. <laughs> well, that's why I picked mashed potatoes. Thanks, <laughs> Captain Obvious. <laughs> so you throw the mashed potatoes on your plate, right? What what can you really do with mashed potatoes after a while? Uh, you can put a little butter on them, maybe a little gravy. Shape them into the devil's tower. Right. Scoop them in between your hands and go at it. Right. <laughs> 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 Maybe throw a little cheese on there, but after a while you realize it's it's mashed potatoes. There's not much else you can do with them. Yeah, I think that's how we feel about Erocktober. Unless uh, Erock, you got something for Erocktober today? This is your month, buddy. Uh, if you like, I have an air check. Yeah, but oh, geez. No, but we heard it's ten seconds. No, that's... it's not ten seconds. Uh, it's all cut up, ready to go? Yeah, it's like a minute something. Oh, oh my oh. god! All right, uh, all right. Now you're talking. Has anyone listened to the E Rock uh, air check? No. Fan hasn't heard it? Alright, we'll do it after oh, the break. Oh boy. We'll go cold uh, into this. Well, let's do it, yeah. We know we could make something out of it. Of course. I bet it's good. I bet this kid has chops we never knew. Okay? Alright, uh, Larry Craig or E Rock? Let's go. What do you want to do? E Rock. E Rock. It is E Rock October. <clears throat> Running out of E Rock October day. E Rock October. Yeah. And um, any opportunity to just goof on E Rock. Is uh should be taken. Okay, he uh he gave us a demo. This is his early radio days from WGNX. What kind of music was WGNX? Um, it was an '80s station that turned alternative rock. Out of you where? Were there? Yeah. Out of where? Out of um Vero Beach, Florida. Vero Beach. A lot of uh, aeronautics schools in Vero Beach. Yeah, he rocks like a. He rock was like a young Rick Dees. He worked at like ten stations before he was like sixteen years really? old. Really? Yeah. Did it's you write creepy. like Disco Duck? <laughs> <laughs> he went from Rick Dees to Double Dees. <laughs> a little known fact. <laughs> Not counting syndicated markets, obviously, but actual radio stations we've sat in and and did our radio show. I think E Rock's got his beat. I think E Rock has worked at more radio stations than we have. Right. Really? How many have you worked at? Well, have been, you figured it out? Why, why don't you say been at more radio stations? Because sure. it w worked at my oh, stolen. Oh, look at this. He rolls his eyes and then looks down, all disappointed. He's sad. How many do you think? Ten? Uh, close to it. Yeah, close to ten. Yeah, ten. Wow. All right. Oof. So, uh, were you the uh, what afternoon drive guy at WGNX? No, nighttime. Ah, uh, night. You weren't full time. Don't even like. No, I was. It, you really were. It was uh, all, it was a full time schedule, but part time pay. So five nights a week, but so it was like college know, radio or something, right? Kinda. How many people do you think were listening? Jesus, a couple dozen. On a good night, maybe there was twenty calls. <laughs> twenty calls a night. <laughs> uh, see, this isn't cool, by the way. Dave in Manhattan. Sorry, I get. We're, we have ADD on this show. Uh, he writes, on Street View, you can see guys coming out of strip clubs. Oh, man. Ah, uh, blowing up their Why spot. Why are you blowing up our spot? What are the What are the odds that that's going to, like, yep. happen when, when that big truck with the camera on the top is going to drive by when you're coming out of the... Uh, Coming out of the strip club. It's not done with by a truck, is it? That's just, yeah. I, I saw how it was done. Um, a truck the, just drives around. A truck with this big camera with multiple lenses on it drives around and I just shoots. Uh, just the shoots. Street. Yeah. And that's legal. That's kind of like 1984ish. That's like George Orwell crap. It, it, yeah, it is. And I, I know that's been used so much over the years, uh, but th this is kind of odd. It, it, I don't think there was ever. An inkling when you thought about the future years ago that there would be a place to go on a computer that's readily available in your house that you could just look at any place in the world in detail you know just from the globe you look at the globe the, the earth in space and zoom in 
to a point where you see cities and then houses and then people. That's something that was so out of the realm of possibility. And here it is. We're becoming a planetary unit. Yeah. Listen to me. It won't happen in any of our lifetimes, but we're all becoming one mentality. I'm not even saying it's bad. But eventually we will all know exactly what each other is doing at all times. Look at how it is now after a few years of technology. Picture 500 years from now when it's all cameras and the technology is 500 years advanced. Yeah. We will all know what every other citizen is doing at all times. Uh, we're going to become, it's going to be a planetary unit as opposed to countries and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it's very, it's very hard to keep uh, yourself private these days mm -hmm. because of all the cameras that are out there, not just like uh, street cam, but all, all just the webcams, uh, security cameras. And then whenever you do anything, whenever you're making a transaction, you're on camera in stores, you're using your credit card. Uh, you go to the bank, there's all records of, of all that stuff. So your easy pass. So, like, you're really, at this point, Jimmy, it's not far off. I don't think you're going to have to wait 500 years before we all, oh, it's going as fast. individuals, know it. Yeah, at this point, Another it's going really, really going. fast. We're There's heading... GPS on the cell phones. Parents are able to now track their kids, uh, where years ago, you know, that was something that was out of the question. Well, the rest of me, I'm saying, like, for, for transportation, like, all of a sudden, you, like, you know, blah, 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 blah. now you're in California, they think a thousand years from now, uh, technologically, I think that's what... Dr. Kaku estimates. Oh, Dr. Kaku, did yeah. you have a conversation with him in no, the elevator? That's, that's where I got the planetary. He was talking about levels of planetary development before you, you're ready for space as travel. You, you, were I, you talking to him or read, you read this? I heard him on the radio. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I, I'm part of uh, his fan club now, too, because I live in the same Who area. Who wouldn't? And I thought the guy was a brilliant, uh, what is he? Uh, like he's a, he's a, a physicist. A physicist. A theoretical physicist. physicist. I thought the guy was a brilliant f f you know, physicist until I saw him in, in line getting his, uh, you know, his uh, low-fat uh, milk. Yeah. And I'm like, he's just like me. Me. He's just a man. I'm just a man. Like you. Like you. I thought he was like a superhuman. He didn't have to eat or drink or anything. He no. just had to think of stuff. But no, he has to wait in line and get his dumb low-fat milk, his 2% or 1%, <laughs> whatever the hell it was. Hey, all right. Um, E-Rock. E-Rock. Uh, no, W-N-G-X? Oh. G-N-X? G-N-X with E-Rock. How long? E-Rocktober. How long? Um, this would be four, a little over four years ago. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey, Sunday nights, GNX is the place to be. Violent Femmes, Psychedelic... Oh, boy. Why is Sunday nights the place to be? That's what the liner notes said, and that's what I was I had to read. It was a syndicate <sighs> program that we had to promote. If GNX is the place to be, why were you there? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who saw that coming? Except everyone. <laughs> hey, Sunday nights, GNX is the place to be. Violent. No, that's I see what he's doing. He's just using Damone's rules. Hey, GNX, <laughs> tell her that's the place to be. Isn't this great? Pretty <laughs> assistant to the assistant programmer. <laughs> On GNX. <laughs> hey, Rock, would you get that out of the hamper? <laughs> I think we did a great service today. People are just talking about uh, Street View like crazy. Rich from Manhattan. Uh, street View with woman's thong while getting into car. Find that one for us. And Throw it on that other computer. All right, here we go. It's perfect because all he drinks is iced tea. Iced tea. That's all stupid has. Come to help with your math homework on such a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday nights, GNX is the place to be. Violent Femmes, Psychedelic Furs, Susie and the Banshees, Haircut 100, B-52s, Michael Penn, Joe Boxers, and plenty, plenty more. Original and plenty, plenty, plenty more. Not, it's, and plenty, plenty more. You know what? I blame the radio station. Oh. I, I, I understand. E. I've been there. You know what your times. problem was? You were you were saying plenty, plenty more, but you were eating dinty, dinty more. <laughs> Good and plenty, plenty more. <laughs> I could feel for the, I could feel for the E today. I had a I had to read these dumb oh. freaking liners. Yeah, and if uh, if but, but I blame the station because they're promoting JoJo Boxer. No, it's the show that this is the music that plays on this syndicated show that we're paying for on Sunday nights. Right. Wait, it was paid programming. Yeah, but they, you were you were on a paid program. <laughs> No, no, no. I, he I was, was promoting oh. the, the oh, syndicated okay. uh, the show that comes on Sunday nights, and they play a lot of alternative crap. But they're promoting JoJo Boxer. 
It, it was a, an 80s, uh, syndicated 80s show by Nina Blackwood. Ugh. Oh, boy. I loved her being beaten to death in Vice Squad. It was, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> some kind of barter trade thing that they got programming for advertising. The problem, the problem, Eric, is not that you said that. It was that you said, and plenty, plenty, plenty more. Plenty, plenty more. With the extreme radio voice, dude. Yes. Wow. Plenty, plenty more. That would be a uh, radio crutch. You know, words like, I don't know, heavy lifting is a radio ah, crutch. Uh, Linger long. Plenty. Than one. Well, it's it, how you, you just enunciated like Steve. Yes. There's plenty, plenty more. I'm so sorry. Well, you, Pat Cooper was on XM yesterday. He said dignity. But the way he said dignity, and I looked at each other a couple of times, it was so, yeah. it was like it was wrong. Dignity. Dignity. Right. Dignity. Plenty, plenty more. Well, you know, he, got a, he had to sell it, man, because, like, the music, the bands he listed wasn't good enough. He had to make sure they all knew oh, plenty, yeah. plenty more. You haven't heard the the last of this. <laughs> the uh, the PD would, for all the jocks, would call you before your your, your break yeah. to coach you on how to say it, and then he would call you and critique you after you just did it. Ah, well, you probably needed that. Can we please hear that again? Just a plenty. Yeah. Yes. plenty. Because the, there's, not, there's not just more. There's plenty, plenty more. E-Rock, sorry to do this. But I weigh a couple of hundred pounds, but don't worry. Soon there'll be plenty, <laughs> plenty, plenty more. more. How many M&Ms would you like? Plenty, plenty more. <laughs> Don from PA. Uh, been listening for a year. Finally went on an own A-side. Checked out pics. Seen E-Rock. Holy ass, that boy oozes disappointment. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not true at all. He is disappointed. <laughs> he's, ca he's a carrier of disappointment. All right, here we go. And the Banshees, Haircut 100, B-52s, Michael Penn, Joe Boxers, and plenty, plenty more. Original MTV VJ Nina Blackwood takes you through three hours of the New Wave Nation every Sunday night from 9 to midnight on 99.7 GNX. Hey, GNX. Yeah, hey there. Uh, can you, like, play Pride by U2? I can, like, do that for you. Thanks. What's your, like, name? This is Brian. Brian, where are you, like, calling from? Uh, in my car. I'm out delivering pizzas. Oh, what pizzas? Papa John's. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> E-Rock, you never, ever disappoint. This of guy, course. This guy said you ooze disappointment. On the contrary, my friend, this guy never you disappoints. Papa John's my favorite. <laughs> Could have been anything. Yep, and every week that guy dropped off free food. Of course he did. Yeah, because yeah. they, they didn't have a Tom at that radio station watching every plug that's made on the freaking show. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. It's your favorite, huh? Not anymore. But pizza. Hard. What's your favorite mm. now, sweetie? Well, in Florida, there's no Who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? I am. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, like, name? This is Brian. Brian, where are you, like, calling from? Uh, in my car. I'm out delivering pizzas. Oh, what pizzas? Papa John. My favorite. I love the garlic butter sauce. Well, next time you're in the area, make sure you stop <laughs> by, all right? Okay, we will do. Thanks. Okay, man. Bye. Bye. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, you're talking over the song. You had to. Why? Your phone calls were pre-recorded. I, I know, but why? Well, Could, yeah, you, you know, you got like a 25. Oh. Look, I, I, yeah, this is what you do. 25 second intro to a song. You edit your uh, phone call you just took uh, to 25 seconds, but, and then you look like Houdini because all of a sudden Pride's playing and and the guy's yeah. requesting it at the yeah. same time. Like, it's how amazing. Did, how did how that happen? Know? How did he know? I hate when they talk oh, over songs. Of course. What are you doing? Garlic butter sauce. Oh, you are awful. Oh, I like the fat, fatty, fat, fat sauce. <laughs> I use it as sexual lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> garlic butter sauce. Oh, pizza garlic butter sauce. Oh, my God. And those, God. um... Those uh, peppers that they come with. Well, yes. What, the yellow ones? No, the the green. Oof, the little um, yeah, jalapenos. Yeah. Or... I hate to smell it at his sheets at 3 in the morning. Just <laughs> farts and acid reflex burps. <laughs> acid reflex. I really, okay. I we know what you mean. It's in my face. All right, uh, a few things. We're waiting for uh, Jill Nicolini to call in. She's the traffic girl here in New York City. We uh, have named her news channel Jill TV because it's all yeah. about her. It's uh, just a matter of time before she'll be an anchor because uh, she uh, she's uh, good to look at. It's not really news. No, I don't even know what what she says every day. We just look at her outfits and go, wow, she's looking hot yeah. once again today. You know, she's a lovely girl with those big boobies. But she uh, she uh, did something to her ankle. Yeah. Apparently, she says she broke it getting out of her car. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. We beg to differ. She probably slipped on an album running for more coke. <laughs> <laughs> 1978 album. What's wrong with me? <laughs> no one has done coke off an album since the late 70s. <laughs> album. <laughs> hey, Jill. Hello. What happened to your ankle? Jill. We're watching you on TV. We see a crutch. I have crutches, yes. I um, had a hairline fracture in my left foot and some multiple cleanings. Susan, they're telling me, so it hasn't been a happy day. Now, how did, how did this happen? Well, I got to work yesterday. I drove in from Long Island, and, um, yeah, I kind of fell out of my car yesterday morning at about three. <laughs> you broke your ankle getting out of your car? You fell out of your car. How hungover were you for the boardy barn? <laughs> <laughs> the boardy barn. No, actually, I was in Freeport, but I wasn't hungover. Uh, I did. I, I parked the car, and I... Kind of tripped getting out, and I stumbled. I rolled, and injured my elbow and my my left foot. Oh man! Did did you uh, did you make a sound? Did you did you look around to see if anybody was watching you? Did you look real silly? Well, of course, I felt so stupid. She's like <laughs> Dudley Moore and Arthur getting out of the car. Yeah, <laughs> falls out of it. <laughs> you got to learn how to like uh, fall forward. Got plenty of cushion in I, front there. I, Tuck and roll, high. Jill. I wish I had a better story. I'm sorry. Hey, is it broken or is that, does that mean broken or no? No, it's, it's a hairline fracture and it's uh, multiple contusions, so it's just very swollen and sore and it's in a little booty. It's all wrapped up and um, yeah, I spent a few hours out at the, the hospital yesterday. My executive producer came with me, which was really cool of him. <laughs> What's well, so now? How long? How long are you going to have to wear this? Um, a few days. I got to call the um, orthopedic doctor, get an appointment, get another X-ray. And uh, see how things go. The big question, Jill. The big question uh -oh. is: Dance Friday in jeopardy? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> You're a trooper. <laughs> happens, no matter what, I could be in a full body cast. We're still doing Dance Friday because you know why? 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 It's one of the most important segments we have on the show. Of course it is. Yeah, why well, talk about the fires when you got Dance Friday? We will stop doing everything. To point out that Dance Friday is happening and you're dancing. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. And you get the girls joining you in with you. Uh, it's just a, it's a wonderful thing to look forward to on Friday. And I was I was hoping the uh, the broken foot wouldn't affect it. You guys are a, a oh, mere. Yeah. When, Go ahead. Um, sir, when are you going to take me up on on uh, my offer? I invited you down to Dance Friday, and if I can't have you, since you have to be on the air, guys. Why not Steve C? I told him he can come. No, back. no, no. We'll, uh, we'll send Steve We'll send our own E-Rock. E-Rock, Dance Friday. We're doing Dance Friday this Friday on Channel 11. <laughs> <laughs> that would be e -Rock. fantastic for e -Rock Tober. Have e -Rock dancing on Dance Friday. Yeah, but he has to wear Opie and Anthony stuff, okay? Absolutely. We'll check it out. E-Rock, you're, you're on for Friday. All right, E-Rock. We're going to make all the appropriate phone calls that yeah. can be made. Uh -huh. But yeah. you gotta let him know we have rehearsals about an hour before. Okay. Make sure he gets in at about six thirty. All and, right. Uh, expect him at eight. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure there's some uh, treats for him to eat. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? You guys can even pick the song out. Oh, what do we nice. want e rock to dance to? Something though? really bad. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Oh, too sexy. God. It's raining men. Shirt. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was good. All right, we'll figure one out. We'll have the listeners figure it out. All right, Jill, what did they, uh, Vicodin, what did they give you? They gave me nothing. They gave me, like, a big horse pill, like a big Tylenol. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. It just hurts, but I'm taking Tylenol. So I got to thank Dr. Sharma, though, over at um, Cornell because he's going to help me yesterday. Uh, I it was broken, bet he though. did. He they didn't think it was broken, but it's not. They just they, they went around to, and did a favor to the doctor with a foot fetish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got you the, uh, the the golden... I can't think of the... Uh, uh, nice suck. Hey, just bring... Uh, you don't need an x-ray, but I will have to suck your toes. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't notice my pedicure. He did like that. Of no, course. <laughs> And probably gave her a pelvic exam. Hey, hey, it's just a sprained ankle. Oh, we're hearing Iraq wants to dance to Paula Abdul straight up. Oh, yeah. Straight up, now tell me. Yeah. So, Jill, how long are you going to be on those crutches uh, with that bad ankle? Um. Oh, you did not hang up on Jill Nicolini. She doesn't feel good. Her foot hurts. So she's out of work now or no? No, she was She was just on. With a crutch. She handed her crutch off. She's leaning on her desk. This is how important her job is on Channel they 11. They need Jerry. her there. In, in New York. 
She has time to call our stupid radio show. <laughs> yeah, but she's okay. The guys, they know it. That's why they said the exec producer to the hospital with her. They're like, the, exactly. The, the, the whole thing is ready to go down the toilet. Let's get right. leg fixed. They're like, look, if you got to chop off your foot and donate it to her, do it. She'll be back on in, in a mere few minutes here. That's how important her job is. Yeah. She has time to call us and uh, talk to her doctor. And <laughs> it was fun improving with her, though. I was trying to think of a reference for uh, what is it? What were they looking for in, in Raiders of the Lost Ark? Oh, the, the Ark, Ark of, of the, the Covenant. Covenant. Yeah. Yeah, but I said the Golden, and then realized I had nothing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> master of the improv. <laughs> I thought you were going. You know what you like to do when you put down a tarp. No. <laughs> Some reference no, no, no. to that. I wouldn't say that. To when you said Golden. <laughs> no, I was just trying to say like the Golden Ark or the Golden, like the. Yeah. The, 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 the treasure. Yeah. About foot grail. The Holy Grail is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, that was the second one. Yeah, yeah. why don't you start with Golden? The There's third no one. way to get the Holy Grail. More importantly, uh, E Rock, you stand up so we can see your, your dumb face. That shirt is atrocious, what you're wearing. E Rock, stand up, please. It's E Rock Tober. Oh. oh, my God. Eesh. It's awful. Man, someone had a picnic on that shirt. <laughs> they did, and they should have ate a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Iraq. <laughs> Bees should just be landing on that thing, stinging his fat bosoms. What uh, what the, what song you want to dance to on live TV Friday? Can you? Oh my God, Iraq! You are gonna, you know, you are gonna have to get up there and dance, and we are all gonna be watching, as will everybody else in the and, New York area. Yeah. This well, no, we'll have it on the. Oh, we'll, we'll have it on Pal Talk. We'll have it on O and A Radio. O and A Radio. It's gonna be all over. TV dancing for Dance Friday. Can you? I I want you to. Drink Dress up like right said Fred. What's that look like? It's like a mesh, like uh, wife beater or something. <laughs> yeah, mesh would be good for you. Yeah, yeah. Your body, you should show it off. <laughs> be shy. They're all looking for you, kid. With his Pleasantville shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's almost like a parody of a badly dressed man. <laughs> you rock. You're gonna do his proud Friday. Yeah. All right. I'll do good. You got to have some Opie and Anthony stuff on. This will bring back the assault on the media officially. What kind of moves are you going to do? Yeah. I don't know. Do you dance at all? No. So, like, you're going to dance with Jill, so you're going to throw your arms around, and, and what are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm going to need some big help before. A I, few dance I, lessons or something? No, you. she's going to be on screen with you. No one's going to be looking at you. <laughs> They probably will. They'll be like, why is Jill dancing with Pugsley Adams? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, there you go. Something to look forward to on Friday. That oh, by the way, uh, we can do one more thing before we get out of here. E Rock's going to be on live TV on Jill TV on Friday. Yep. And did we get that audio? Because Jill talked about us after she called our show. Did she? Today. Yeah. What did she say? What? Nice stuff? I think so, yeah. She was talking about E-Rocktober and how E-Rock's going to be dancing on Friday. Oh, great. Oh, great. Did we ever get that audio, guys? Fifteen guys working for the show. Did we get it? We, call <laughs> we called you? her. Yeah, why would we? Because she had a broken be. foot. Then we ever get that? Um... Um, oh boy! By the way, this this corporate translation. Anytime you ask a question and the first answer is um, <laughs> um always tell. No yeah. good. A <laughs> tell. Yeah. Um, I was told that somebody watched 20 minutes of the program and did not hear a. Wow. Open so Anthony. We might have been duped by a listener then. Okay. Mention. All right. Uh, but Paul wants to give E Rock dancing lessons for. Uh, cool. For, yes. for Dance Friday. I know how to dance. Well, will you film Poe in his zoot suit? Okay. <laughs> Is Poe here? Yeah, oh yeah. Poe, come on in here real fast. Hello. That's the Poe. Oh. Poe, don't hurry or anything. Oh. <laughs> Saturday Night Fever. Good morning, music. gentlemen. Poe has his own pace. Yes. Right, Poe? Gentlemen. I try to go as fast as I can. Paul's very meticulous with his duties, so it's a little slower going because he's covering all bases. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Where's E-Rock? E-Rock, come on in. All right. Now, you, he actually sent an email to E-Rock, right? E-Rock, he sent you an email? He oh. texted me, yeah. He texted you. What did he write? She fell asleep, so just grab her mic. <laughs> <laughs> no one's using this one, so. Oh, um, that would be post Oh, too. shit. Wow, that's uh, fighting words. Strangle him. While the, uh, you were talking about it, he texted me and said, I will teach you and you will be a hit. I said it before, whatever you need, Master Poe. Ah, a hit. So, can you dance, Poe? 
Yes. All right, Paul, why don't you show uh, Iraq what you want him to do on live TV? Not to this music. Well, I'm well, what do you mean? Give me something, you um, What's give me the... something by 112. Something with a little bit more beat. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. with a beat to it. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Who's 112? That music? What? Isn't that like 90s R&B, or is that, is that not? Uh, well, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, Bee Gees, is one of the, good. that's one of the greatest albums of all time. Not this shit, but I need 112. 112. Holy crap. The greats. The greats. Timberlake, how's that? Uh, which like one? Tim Blake? Yes. I like um, that new song. Jim my, loves him. My niece uh, sings the new one when we go to hockey games. What was it called? About... Not, is, it the, is it the one? Oh, no, that's Akon and Snoop. Oof. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we got by Timberlake? Bringing sexy back? Are you that type oh, yeah, of guy? Oh yeah, that's got a nice groove to it. Are you Are you sexy back? Right. Bell Biv DeVoe. Someone saying. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. You want to bring sexy back there, Paul? Yeah, that's that's fine. All right, bring sexy back. And you got to show uh, Eric how to yeah. do this. He's gonna humiliate himself on television. Well, I want to make sure that he has, you know, rhythm. Of course. All right, here we go. You're bringing sexy back. All right. We'll try to describe what's going on here. Master Poe has yes. gotten up in our state of the art studio that uh, Eric oh, Logan wow. got done for us. There he is. But we still haven't. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to do it. Just go over there. There's Stupid. some yelling going on. Please hold. Well, how about we get a mic? Uh, uh, Master Paul, why don't you explain to everybody? We're getting a little feedback, unfortunately. I know you're trying to get uh, music pumping through the studio, but... All right, go ahead, Paul. Your phone's ringing. All right, the first thing he needs to do is uh, learn rhythm. And we can have to out. find out if he has that. So, All right, how do you simple. find out if someone has r rhythm? Can you do this? Can you snap your fingers? There we go. That's easy That's enough, great. right? All right, that's step one. Step two is now you have to do that with your legs, right? Snap right. your toes. One, <laughs> two, three, four. All right. Nice. All right, now he's snapping and tapping Seven. his toes to the side. Okay, good. Now the other side. All right, other one, side. Snap and, and go. It's good. Oh, boy. I can't hear the music. Well, you can't. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Eric is really, Eric's leg is coming all the way out, and his, his hand is going forward. Look at a keep on trucking picture. What's <laughs> <laughs> his ass? Okay, Dabble with when bending you step, knee. Seriously. When you step, don't step all the way out. Oh, yeah, of course not. Step out a little bit. All right, a little bit. Okay. Get your sexy on. Go. Sexy on. Oh, okay. There you go. Bend your knees. Oh boy, Iraq has no rhythm. No, he's awful. I was ready to make fun of Master Poe, but this, this is a okay. test. You're doing fine. Now alternating. Uh oh. Oh yeah, Love Stone. Thank you, sir. That's the new uh, alternating song. Ready? Come on, you're doing fine. There we go. All right, now we are. Wow, yeah. E-Rock is uh, snapping and going from side to side now. You're, yeah. doing, you're doing good. There you go. This is what you want him to right, do on now, TV? No, well, this is just to see if he has rhythm, just to build Does rhythm. Does he have rhythm? He's getting there. Yes. One to okay, ten. Now, One to forward. ten. One to ten. One. How much rhythm does he have? Um, five, four, four. Right now, four. Right now, four. four. Okay. Right. Work now, quick. go Three. forward. And move oh. your shoulders. Uh, gay. No. <laughs> that, that's called that's called the uh, the shrug leaning. Come on. It's called the dance of the homo. homo. <laughs> I know you're a, a, a trained killer, but man, you dance gay. <laughs> Step oh, forward. Jesus. Sorry. No, no, no. Pretend that you're about to fall, but you're not falling. Okay. Pretend you're falling on a cock. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Just show me falling on the cock. Pretend you're falling, but don't fall. That's right. the best advice. Right. There you go. Hey, right. Paul, watch the show. Him. Show. Him. Right. Watch. Okay, here you go. It's some kind of... And one. And step. And move right. your shoulders. Paul's kind of stepping forward and kind of like yes. tilting, tilting his torso forward. I feel like I'm watching every Paul Abdul video from the 80s. <laughs> uh. Uh, someone is saying that Iraq's bringing sloppy back. Okay, uh, no, 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 don't bring your feet forward. No, what you're doing is just and stepping. Tessa's liver rights. Are they going? <laughs> All you do uh, is step. Are they going to start dirty dancing soon? Nobody puts fatty in the corner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. Hey, Paul, could you yell, nobody puts uh, fatty in the corner? Yeah, why well, try to do a joke? Yeah, nobody but... puts fatty in the corner. Go. Oh, wow. wow. Got great timing. He rock dances like fucking Ratso Rizzo. Right, here we go. <laughs> Nothing on that? Oh. Uh, <laughs> in front of your girlfriend and everything. Oh, I'm She's seen me bomb before. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. That's good, Eric. You're doing well. Wow. All right, now what, Paul? What the fuck? 
What is that you're doing? Iraq is good for a comment. Iraq, grab that mic over there. What, what's the problem? Hit turn on Iraq. He's marching mic. in place. How is that dancing? Good point, Eric. Wow, well, you're pointing out that he can't dance <laughs> from a guy who claims he can dance. He's teaching me, and it's crap. By the way, let it's it crap. Be, let it be known that Iraq has big fucking balls. We were all out uh, this past Saturday night celebrating uh, Lindsay's birthday, and we had this uh, table reserved, and these three just awful women said, can you watch our beers? And Iraq is basically saying that's not a good idea. And they're like, oh, just for a moment, just for a moment. As soon as they walked away, Iraq, it's a visual, he goes like this, puts his all his fingers in his mouth, and then... Dips him in oh, all three beers. God. Wow. And I'm like, I gotta bring that to everyone's attention. Did the alcohol just evaporate? <laughs> <laughs> E-Rock's got game, man, when he needs it. I'm telling you right now. All right, what do we got, Paul? We're almost done. This is boring right, shit out of everyone. Ultimate, right? But they'll cut it out of the replay, so. Yeah. So it'll make it sound like we have oh, had another great show today. <laughs> right. Yeah, this was the, uh, this was the Mardi Gras dance. I remember this, uh, Paul. This yes. is what Marty, uh, This is what Poe was doing for eight hours instead of watching us. This dance. Uh, this I is what you paid for, Elo. I'm serious. When we went to Mardi Gras, I should get a refund. Yeah, he wasn't uh, our bodyguard that day. He was doing this with all the pretty girls on the street. Uh, Iraq is fucking. That's true. That's a good point. Oh. She just said you're, you're teaching him the electric slide, pretty much. <laughs> I cannot wait for Dance Friday. I can't either. This is going to be on television. <laughs> and, and we all get uh, get to um, pick the song that you're going to dance to, Iraq. Wow. Ooh. Why is Poe not going with you, Rock, for Dance Friday? Hey, can we get Love Stone on? I actually like that song. What is that dance called? The, what's that? Thriller. Yeah, it is Thriller. Thriller. <laughs> is he going to start doing that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do some more Day in the Time. The Bird. All right, now they're kind of... Good clap. It's the box step. What do you think there, Elon? Clap. He's made uh, some amazing improvements. <laughs> like, like a... All right. Now, I, I got to ask. That's enough. Uh, E-Rock, <laughs> take the mic. That's very good, though. I want to see if you can think on your feet. What song you want to dance to? Let's say, I'm telling you right now, because you're not going to practice. It's Friday. Yeah. They're ready to go live. Jill is right next to you. What song you want to dance to? Yeah, I really don't. I'll need to think about Just it. Just think of a song. Just a too, song for this bit. This I want to see if you can think long. on your feet, and, and I want to see what you would come up with on the spot. Think of a song. I don't know any. Love you know songs. Paul Dude. Abdul. <laughs> Paul Abdul, I'll of course. Abdul. How about Which two one? steps forward? Two straight three. up. Straight up. Go with the hit. Straight up. Fine, I'll do that. All right, here you go. You're on. In three, two, one. Jill TV. It's Dance Friday. Here's E Rock, everybody. What would you do? You're representing the show. <laughs> Should we could explain this? <laughs> yeah. Picture someone just making a total asshole out of themselves. <laughs> I, I don't know what, how to explain it. The, the Elaine the, dance should be on Dancing with the Stars compared to this. It's like a dance version of the Randall from Clerks. The Ra okay. He's almost doing like a one step the Randall. All right, yeah. now he's holding Now he's the doing the Randall. <laughs> yeah, do it for real. Boogie, because you're on television. Yeah, you're, you're on TV. TV. Let's go. Shake the hips. What do you got? He's sexy it up a little, would you, for Christ's sake? Super Bowl shuffle. <laughs> he's like, he's doing, uh, what's that move? That's uh, funny. Where he's jiggling his, like, shoulders. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like a shoulder wiggle. Yeah. Wow. Downwards. That's the, those are the, uh, you should be on your back, and, like, you should be paralyzed, and people should be exercising you. <laughs> Wow. I knew where I wanted to go with that. But apparently I steered off into the, into the humorless zone. Right. I saw a joke and I just drove away into the fucking grass. E Rock, you're going to be on Jill TV Friday, so. All right. All right, turn off. That was good. Are you going to make us all look like a bunch of dopes? You know that? Man, that was hard to capture with the camera. I had to move the camera around. You were moving so much. Boy, were you. Do you need oxygen? Following, uh. <laughs> Following the news here, well, Halloween is eight days away or something like that. Less than eight days, I guess, right? Ooh. I know, i got to hang that stupid sign on my door. <laughs> <laughs> it, then, it is the law, Jim. <laughs> yeah. And every day we're just giving you a little taste of what the uh, the news is doing as far as Halloween goes. Yeah. Doing their uh, Halloween stories. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, because there's scary people out there. They want to scare you. Or they want you to have healthy treats for the kids. 
Oh, really? Is that another thing? Here's, Hell's Each. Here's today's Halloween angle. Every day is something different. Ah! <laughs> oh. With the years. Hey. Sorry, that would be me. Hey! That's me on Halloween. Let's separate a little bit. I I enjoy the, the screaming kids saying trick or treat. That's it's adorable. That's me. Trick or treat. Hey! Just firing out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a little soldier coming to my door. I hope you're armed for real. Now get off my lawn. <laughs> it's mined. <laughs> that would be great if you mined your lawn. I'll just mine it. <laughs> Candy here. Good luck. <laughs> Daddy, what does face toward enemy mean? <laughs> Uh, Leave the trick-or-treaters alone. No, oh, okay. I won't shoot them. It's an Ovaltine commercial. The spookiest holiday <laughs> approaching, consumers are looking to celebrate. The most popular Halloween activity this year, of course, giving out the treats. Now, candy, everybody wants. But with childhood obesity rates on the rise, how can parents Steve, make sure their kids don't overdo it? I know. For Halloween, that you should throw little gym memberships into their bags. Well, yeah, about, they'll love it. You throw a, a, in their bags. They open their bag. You throw a set of parents that knows how to control <laughs> their little fat pig child's eating habits. <laughs> Who cares? A bottle of water for the kids? You know what? Let the kids have their stupid candy on Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Well, life's tough. Give them their day to just eat as much effing candy as they want. Worry about their health issues uh, uh, another day. Yeah, it's, but then you might end up like the Nagels. Huh? Having to worry about uh, their boy. Did you stuff the candy in your little fat face? Yeah, he, would, he would store it in his neck pouch <laughs> for winter. When did we start talking about enabling? We're talking about... <laughs> Iraq, did you just like, as you're trick-or-treating, you went home with no candy in the bag, just empty wrappers because you were just shoving candy in your face? No. Okay, hey, No? Me. No. Every November 1st, he would just wake up with a bellyache and the runs. <laughs> oh. Firing out candy corn like a machine gun. <laughs> and he would actually he would eat so fast, he would like eat a bunch of wrappers, too, not knowing. His, he'd probably come home from Halloween with his little hands all chocolatey. And he goes, I ate all my candy. And he was 16. And, you know, I just got a bed retard. <laughs> Swallowing your gum. No. And having problems as it's trying to exit. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of Halloween candy I could eat. Why? Because I, I can't eat chocolate and caramel and stuff. Why? You're that fat and you can't eat chocolate? No, I, I, I don't like it. It doesn't agree with me at all. What, are you lactose intolerant? No, I just, I never liked chocolate or caramel or marshmallows, things like You're that. Like communist. What's, What's your favorite wrong candy? With you? yeah, what is your favorite candy? What are you fattening up on? Probably like Starburst. <clears throat> ah, Starburst, Starburst fruit Starburst. shoes. Think. I know. Compared the, to chocolate. Starburst, one Starburst is good. Anything after one, it just makes you feel like you're going to go into a diabetic coma. <laughs> my, my sister is uh, married to Mike, right? Mike's uh, side of the family love all the sweet candy. Like, that, just all that awful, like, like green apples. Like when you were a kid, yeah. Just that, all that stuff I would just throw away. Like, I don't want any of this crap. Yeah. And it hates chocolate. And our family just loves chocolate and hates all that. Like that that's that over the top sweet and sour stuff. Oh, E Rock. Yeah, never a big fan of the chocolate stuff. What else did you like? Those those long papers with the little dot candies on it? <laughs> uh, those were bad. He probably liked that and he liked taffy. And the, what are those sugar daddies? Those awful Oh, oh sugar God. daddy. Did no. you eat Mary Jane's? No, those so awful peanut butter. Why are they still pull making your Mary fillings Jane's? out? No one likes them. I don't know them. who the hell makes those. The public those. has spoken. Yeah, it's Mary. time to retire Mary Jane's. Yes, right. and uh, don't forget about uh, Iraq's costume. He was a GoBot. <laughs> we are looking at a picture of him in a GoBot costume. Ew, hey, why, yeah. why would a GoBot carry a pumpkin as a uh, to to carry your little treats in? Why not make it GoBot centric? I don't know. I guess whatever was uh, cheapest. <laughs> yeah. And are you wearing by the quality costume? Though. Yeah, the costume is what is it? Paper? It, it, it's like the same material you make those cheap uh, tablecloths out of. <laughs> <laughs> it came in a box for like yeah. five bucks. At yeah. Oh, how old are you? Um, I'm under ten, so probably like seven or eight in that in that yeah. photo. Well. 
E Rock's uh, Halloween costume uh, when he was younger will be up on O and A. Oh, of back course. Later today. All right, let's get back to this. So that you know, you got to worry about your kid's uh, fatness uh, mm -hmm. during Halloween. Overdo it. What you want to do is take them to the store and make sure that the snacks you're giving out are healthy ones and let them participate in that process <sighs> oh my of picking things that are going to be good for their friends. Enough no. with the news expert. Yeah, try talking a kid into eating something healthy, especially for Halloween. Yeah, good luck. Are you crazy? It's not what it's about. Like, they, they try to take these holidays and just change them into something completely different than it was. It's about just getting horrid candy and uh, eating it and for just, a day. And just eating as much as humanly possible, where you do have the bellyache and where you do make the poop castles the next day. Ugh. That's kind of disgusting. So he went thumbs up on that, though. Yeah. Of course he did. Yeah. Did you have anybody have to go through your bag? Oh, yeah, my dad. But my dad was hilarious because he knew that there was no there was no poisoning of the candy. He knew it was yeah. an opportunity to get some really good stuff from us. Like, okay, now you don't need this. He literally would go, oh, you can't eat that, that, It's that. not wrapped. And then later on in the night, I'm watching him eat all the stuff he pulled out of our bags. <laughs> My father would go through my bag and throw lead paint chips in. <laughs> there you go. All of a sudden, he's in the uh, the kitchen with the apple <laughs> razor blades. Yes. <laughs> the razor blade of the apple has is, is got to be the funniest one ever because who wouldn't notice that there's a razor blade in an apple? I know. How are you covering up the skin of the apple? It turns all the razor brown in two seconds. That one always made me laugh. That and the pins. Like, you're not going to notice that the skin of the apple has been, like, uh, you know, compromised. Yeah. Even as a kid, I was like eight. I'm like, this is the most ridiculous thing. No, no one is putting razor blades in apples, and if they are, then you're going you're gonna to know. Mm-hmm. So maybe your kids have selective hearing when it comes to their Halloween candy haul. You want to dump all of the candy out onto the dining room table and sort through it all. Anything that was handmade by neighbors, which is a very sweet gesture, really, you should get rid of. And all right, why should you get rid of it? Poison. i, I got to bring the Poison. Culture of Fear uh, book in. Someone has got to remind me. Poisonous. I'll, I'll read the chapter on the air. No one is getting poisoned by candy on Halloween. The news would like you to think they are, but they're not. There's been a, one, the guy from Culture of Fear went way back and looking through all sorts of records, and I forgot how many, but he's, he's, he found four or five cases over decades. And it turned out, I think all of them except one were uh, kids being poisoned by their own family for insurance money. Was it, now are they saying not to accept this stuff because of, like somebody else raised food allergies, which is one reason that they don't allow it in schools anymore. Is that what she's saying, or is she no, being I paranoid? think she's yeah, just hose bag. Just scared of the. The crap out of everybody. Poor old bags, which is a very cooking sweet things. Gesture. Really, you should get rid of. And some alternatives to the sugar. They can look for some sugar-free candies. Also, you can look for products that have sweet benefits. So that's something maybe where something has been added, like vitamin C or calcium. Also, look for for candies that contain natural fruit juices. I want to put on lead shoes and drop kick her in the throat. Oh. Heavy lead shoes. Natural fruit juices. <laughs> Another news expert that is just filled with nonsense. This is just nonsense. <laughs> if you can get the kids interested this a in this sort of scavenger hunt in the aisles of the supermarket for something their friends are going to like, then you're creating a pattern in them to actually go looking for that stuff themselves. Participating what? in the fun is important to keep kids on a healthy Halloween track. By the way, it wasn't explained in that clip. Um, the scavenger hunt in a supermarket yeah. is a scavenger hunt looking for healthy stuff. Healthy stuff. And that way when they go out, they'll uh, be more inclined to get the healthy stuff. Yeah. No, you won't. Well, let's talk to the parents that have eight-year-olds right now. Mm -hmm. Take your eight-year-old to a supermarket and say, I want you to you know, run around and find, no. and find healthy foods. I want to know. I want to know. Shut up. Hey. I found the radishes. <laughs> Good boy. All your friends will love them. Kids would rather get stool samples dropped in their beds. <laughs> radishes. <laughs> radishes. <laughs> Worst vegetable. What do you say? Uh, radish. Terry I love radishes. That's why. <laughs> that's why I brought up the bit. I don't want. <laughs> very good. I, I like the radish. You like a radish? Sure do. I steal radishes all the time when I'm in the supermarket. I like pluck oh. one off and start chomping away while I'm doing oh. my shopping. No. Wipe it on my leg. That's clean enough, and I'm. I get right in there. Ooh. They'll all be going to the Joneses because the Joneses are giving out celery with peanut butter on them. <laughs> People would give that out. 
I go with celery. I go with worst vegetable. I go with squash. Yeah. Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. I don't mind. Do you really like Brussels sprouts? I can't sprouts. get enough of them. Good with God. lemon juice They're on They're good, right? Yeah. I used to love hate them. I used to hate popcorn. I used to hate asparagus, and then I just realized that my mom didn't know how to cook asparagus growing up. Yeah. She'd uh, boil the, the crap out of it to the point it was just this mushy thing on the plate. And now uh, asparagus is one of my favorite vegetables. I'm kind of new to the asparagus thing myself. A little grilled like asparagus, it. amazing. But as a kid, I, I would cry if I saw that coming. Mm -hmm. But Brussels sprouts. Beets. I like a Brussels sprout. You should have grown up in my house and with your, squash. your awful portions. It wouldn't give you time to hate the food. little sliver of meatloaf. Here's your portion. Oh, really? My mother's awful portions. <laughs> oh, she didn't put out a good portion. I didn't know our portions sucked so bad. <laughs> portions. A dollop of little potatoes until somebody came over and goes, that, that's all? Uh, oh, what, you had an honest friend or something? Yeah, my mother's meatloaf with the, the way too red sauce on top. Oh. It was like carrot top after being like just burned. <laughs> after we, had, we had burned carrot top head. <laughs> my meatloaf. Meatloaf is supposed to be like meatloaf, not like I, I I used to hate that red sauce on the top. Oh, poor Jimmy. And what was it, just a little sliver? I never knew how stinky the portions were. <laughs> Rotten little awful portions. <laughs> <laughs> here's a here's a portion. What about your stomach growling? I used to wake up with flies on me. <laughs> what, was, what was the small portions all about? I think? don't know. The Nortons just like the the Nortons are a small portion family. That's funny. I don't know why. <laughs> like, well, your mom looks bird likes like she eats like a bird. So She's maybe very, maybe to her that was a big meal. That was a big meal. Just a little. Speaking of portions, I read uh, I think it was yesterday. You know when you go to a restaurant, what they give you on, on average is the the equivalent of three portions why because they, they you know they want to give you a lot of food because the, the biggest fear if you own a restaurant is having someone walk away hungry so they mm. will overfeed you and on average it's the equivalent of three portions wow that's why so much of it gets uh thrown into the dumpster hey halloween tips uh we're doing this because it just kind of like uh Shows how ridiculous the local news is. We get to point and laugh at them. Every year they do their Halloween stories, and it's just nonsense. It's the same stories, first of all. And well, then second of all, uh, they're just stupid. Although I respect Channel 11 because they did the uh, the chicks uh, wearing really hot costume fashion show thing the other day. That was really good. That was different. Just yeah. the hottest uh, uh, Halloween costumes for really hot chicks. That was something that was enjoyable to watch. Instead of uh, telling... Everybody out there to check their apples for razor, razor blades, blades and pins. Uh, speaking of Channel 11, tomorrow's a big day. E-Rock, you ready? Oh. E-Rock's going to be on um, Channel 11 tomorrow here in New York <laughs> oh, doing Dance right. Friday. And for the rest of uh, the country, don't worry. We'll get the video and we'll get it up on onaradio.com so you can laugh, too. You get nervous, E-Rock? A little, a little butterflies going on? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah? And what's the song flies to on live TV tomorrow? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we get to pick the song. I think they... Oh, oh, oh probably, there's probably somebody that gets paid to pick it. I'm nervous he's getting butter sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, Master Poe going with you? Yes. Oh no! You got to get Poe dancing. Yeah, you have to. And you guys got to wear some Opie and Anthony stuff, dude. Yeah, I, this I, might start the uh, the whole uh, assault on the media. Today. Okay, that's hysterical. Yeah. You and Poe are going po in. Poe is apparently going to teach everyone at Channel Eleven how to dance. <laughs> oh, this I love is it. Fantastic. Oh, God, there's a God. Yeah. <laughs> this, it couldn't be better. It couldn't be. I Poe always that's listens awesome. to this show. And who was, I think Erox said that he looks like, he was dancing the other day and he looks like Thriller. Yeah. Like yeah. Zombie dance yeah. from Thriller. <laughs> hey, uh, what time are you dancing tomorrow? Uh, I think we're on at 7.30. 7.30. Oh, pinpoint listening. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's very <laughs> important. <laughs> <laughs> pinpoint listening. Just do a good show. How about that? <laughs> Which we do, by the way. And by the way, we, we all miss the fact that Eric should have his face slapped for when you said, what time are you dancing? He should have said, I don't know, it's about 7.30. He's like, well, I think we're on at 7.30. As if uh, you've been in many makeup rooms and had many rehearsals and you just know what time show yeah. time is. That's the approximate time they gave us. I understand that, but the way you phrased right. it made me want to dip my hand in warm oil and slap your face. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to start with... <laughs> We're going to simulcast Dance Friday with our own E-Rock and Master Poe tomorrow on the Opie and Anthony show. Hopefully around 7.30. All right, so um, this is the, the latest uh, Halloween tips coming in. I want to thank everybody uh, across America for sending in their local news doing Halloween tips. <laughs> Hot oil. 
like warm oil. <laughs> warm oil. Like what you do is the, the, it bubbles a little bit and you soak your hand, hand in it and you clean shave him first. You dry shave him. Right. So his face is kind of shaven and smooth and you, and you get like, you, you line it up and you gently pat his cheek with oil so there's good friction then you go. <laughs> Ouch. A crispy <laughs> slap. <laughs> uh, all right, ready for Halloween tips? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Listen closely. This is your news. Believe it or not, Halloween just eight days away. If you're counting. <laughs> believe it or not, Halloween eight days away. Why? Wow. Why believe it or not? You have to look at a calendar. <laughs> right. Halloween's been on the same date. Uh, for for as long as I remember, Raise, October thirty first. Let's have a little fun. Raise your hand out there if you were thinking to yourself, "Wow, believe it or not, uh, Halloween eight days away." Hmm. No hands. That's, Anyone? That's and a, no. That's an interesting thing to say if it's like July eleventh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you, my God, I don't believe it. It uh, really snuck up on us this year, did it? I don't even. Did it sneak up? Is it going to be on the thirtieth? I don't even. That would be sneaking up. I don't even <laughs> give Halloween a thought until like all of a sudden you're just going about your life and one day you see a pumpkin somewhere and you're like, oh, Ugh. oh yeah, okay, and then and then that's it, and then you're like, yeah, all right, it's Halloween season, I guess. <laughs> Believe it or not, Halloween just eight days away. If you're counting, that's one mm -hmm. week from tomorrow. No, but there's a lot you need to know when it comes to keeping your little ghosts and goblins safe. Yep. Ew, your little ghosts your and little goblins. Your little ghosts and goblins safe. And once Ooh. again, I forgot my culture of fear book. I didn't really forget. I, I can't find anything in my house right now. I'm living in squalor again. I want real ghosts and goblins safe. They come to the house and just ravage you, right. <laughs> haunt your house like poltergeists. What's well, the way to like children? Not put things on the shelf that they can accidentally knock over while they're going. Ooh, boo! Um, <laughs> to the parents out there, your yeah, kids <laughs> are safe. You can go trick or treating. Nothing is right. going to happen yeah. to your kids this is part of the culture of fear and without this the news has nothing to talk mm -hmm. about whatsoever Ghost and goblins say WSPT's Kelly Cheatham is live in our South Bend newsroom this morning. Kelly, please say it's important to start thinking about Halloween, sa Halloween safety now. Well, Kirk, there are a lot of things parents should be going over by themselves and also with their kids to make sure next Wednesday night goes smoothly for everyone. Now, please say some of the mistakes parents make are buying their kids costumes that are too baggy and they could cause kids to trip. It's important to hem that costume now and get reflective tape on it. Please say you should also give your kids glow sticks or flashlights so they're easy for everyone to see. They also say parents often don't realize that the eye holes might not be big enough for kids to see what's right in front of them. A fist. <laughs> <laughs> why, why does the news have to insist on doing common sense things? And they make it common stuff. sense. Yeah, don't put the masks on upside down right. and have your kids try to look through the mouth hole. <laughs> kids are not being run over by cars during Halloween. They're just not. Are they not, really? No, they're not. Or you would hear about it year after year. Mm -hmm. Maybe one kid every once in a while. It's just a horrible tragedy. But in general, Andy. no, it's not happening. They make it sound like it's an epidemic. Like kids are, you know, in costumes where they can't see and they got... And and they're they're tripping over their own costume and they're mm -hmm. just wandering into traffic. I mean, <laughs> trying to adjust the mask right. as you walk out onto the expressway. Right, nothing but razor blade apples in their bags and <laughs> all all sorts of different poisons in their candy. None of this stuff happens. No. Make sure that you know the route that the kids are going to be taking for the day. Plan a route so if something happens, at least you know where to go looking for them. Uh, make sure that they stick to the route. Also, try and do it during light hours. Um, the trick-or-treat hours now are light, but if it's an overcast night, it might still be dark, so take precautions for that. If you want to welcome trick-or-treaters at your door, you're asked to leave your porch lights on. And for more tips on keeping your trick-or-treaters safe this year, you can go to our website, wsbt.com, and click on news links. Can we go there, please? Now, we know those Halloween pranks, uh, that's an issue a lot of neighborhoods deal with. Police have a warning for the pranks. Oh. Well, that's right. They say that something one person thinks might be a joke could end up going much much further than that. They also say that they won't tolerate anything that puts other people in danger, whether it was meant to be a joke or not. <laughs> what does that even mean? Eric, can you go that to the website? was very vague. I want to go to the website for tips. I want to see what kind of tips they're offering. Tips? From tipsters? <laughs> no, no, but they said go to our website for some additional tips. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe there's some helpful tips.
yeah. additional tips. Yeah. And I'd like to, to help people out. Yeah, let's uh, look at that. Uh, when I went to Geneseo State, there was a there was a point I was at the crossroads as far as uh, should I do radio or TV? Like I was uh, doing. God, I wish I could find the tapes. I don't know if I have them. Oh. Buzzy might though. My friend Buzzy might have uh, me doing newscast. Oh come on! At the college uh, TV station. And I was like, wow, I do my, the radio show, and I could pretty much say and do whatever the hell I want, and it's kind of exciting. Or I could sit here in front of a camera and read. And even back then, I'm like, this is the stupidest thing. Why would anyone want to do this for a living? Those should be on YouTube. <laughs> I know. I, well, no one I'm going to put on YouTube. Uh, I finally got some uh, old boxes back in my uh, abode. Yes. I got all the Real Rock TV uh, shows, every single one. Oh, time. wow. And they'll all be up on YouTube in the coming months. Nice. I just got to get the house in order because it's uh, having some work done on it. So, But I'll, I'll, I'll uh, give those to Steve. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen time. those in a while. There's a couple of them up on YouTube, like a couple of small little clips and snippets. Yeah, they got us. Uh, talking to Gavin Ross. Yeah, it was like, weird just Bush. to see those. I was like, holy jeez. Yeah, we remember that a lifetime ago. Yeah. So, uh, did we get the website up? What are you, Rock? What are we doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to get the site. Why? Just type uh, in a www and then the site name. Oh, boy. E Rock wasn't listening. Oh, E Rock. Where were you? L a little. I had a printer problem. I was going to get something and I came running back. We're in. on the air, Eric. Yeah, I keep telling you, when we're on the air, you might want to sit. He's running out for weird things. What's the matter? <laughs> the decorations are falling off the door. What? I think e -Rock is an attic. Attic. No, attic is more accurate. He's just a vacant space at the top of the home. <laughs> I think he's running out to, like, uh, indulge. He is. He's in something. But he has suppositories. <laughs> can't stop eating them. It's probably some real bizarre thing. He just can't help himself. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. All right. If you need help. Uh, oh, that's right. the sound in his head. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the, the tips, the helpful tips? Do you know which site it was? WSBT? E-Rock? E -Rock? Yeah, it's... Um, E-Rock, you have officially stopped the show. I'm waiting for the link. Yeah, E-Rock, we're... <laughs> He's panicking. I'm, I'm like, the link's coming. He's typing in every website. He started with AAA.com. <laughs> He's just hoping to land on it. <laughs> Up to ABC Carpets. Uh, <laughs> let's go here. No, I wanted the helpful. There you I go. I don't know the website. <laughs> I'm what? trying to find. Why don't you know the website? Because I was running. We just played the I bit. Didn't know the website. I'm sorry, but we needed the bit. That's what the. We needed the thing. Well, someone could tell me the website, and I'd, I'd load it up. I think it was WSPT.com. Why don't you send one of these these youngsters out to do the printer stuff? You don't. You're not on printer duty when you're on the radio. The helpful, the additional hip tips for Halloween. And we could also go to Snoops.com because they'll talk. They talk about all that uh, Halloween candy scare crap. Snoops. Yeah. Did yeah. I, 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 I say Snoops? Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm sorry. It's Snoops. Yeah, that site is great. Snoops I'm dispels sorry. all the rumors. You know what? I'm a uh, Snoops is actually a site my ex girlfriend set up, and she's <laughs> peeking through my hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your computer booby trapped at this point? Yeah, all the files are named differently. Like, oh, are they? Yeah, the ones that are named, like, I, I, I have one file called Girls I'm Cheating With. They'll never open that. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually all my writings. <laughs> nah, this is, what are they going to find? Just porn on my computer? Who cares? You have everything uh, locked up? Do you have, like, uh, locks? Like, y you have no. to put in a code before you open up your um, computer? Uh, I, I have a password protect just when it goes off, just in case I ever leave it somewhere. But no, you mean like File Vault on Mac? No, File Vault is like this weird thing where like you can lock down your computer, but if you if you forget the password, there is no way to get in. Like you will lose everything. Yeah. So I'm like, why? What do I have on there? I don't. I don't. I don't have anything illegal. I have some stupid porn. If you, all right, who doesn't like gag factor stuff? You're right. Go to the <laughs> I like to see a gal tear up. I'm not lying. Right. <laughs> you know, not in pain. She's enjoying it. <laughs> but I mean, nothing. There's nothing. What are they gonna find? There's, the, you know, there's nothing to find. It, my stupid photo with, with, with David Keith. Oh, 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 really? Is that it, really, Eric? Eric lied. Oh my God. E Rock lied. We're uh -oh, getting reports that E Rock lied. Um, about what he was doing. Pat, what's going on, please? Pat? I'm not really sure what happened. What I just uh, was told to put Eric's milk back a minute ago. Oh. 
Uh oh, E Rock, what do you mean? E Rock, fight back. What, what, what happened? Okay. Here? Fight back. See what I did? I'll show you what I did. <laughs> Sam with the camera right yeah. in E Rock's face. All right. Make me proud today. Fight back for a while. Trying to think ahead. You're talking about Halloween stuff. We have a Halloween song. I didn't know if the lyrics were appropriate. So I've been asking the interns through the IM here can someone print these lyrics out so we could give them to Tom to see if it's okay so I'd have it ready ahead of time. Well, nobody was responding, and I knew we were doing the Halloween thing, so I ran in there to check the printer. He was printing this out, and I had the mail. I was like, put this back, give me that, and then take this to Tom. Okay, came running back in here. Jesus Christ, that sounded like the scene from Goodfellas with the helicopters. No kidding, man. I know. <laughs> what are you... <laughs> but someone's saying you... Uh... Yeah, they left the, the one other no. thing that I did with that. Oh, no, that's all he did. The rest of the... Did you the pour yourself stuff some Cocoa Puffs? Cocoa Puffs? I don't have Cocoa What kind of cereal were you having today? Cheerios. Yeah. Oh, Cheerios. Aww. With berries. That's what everyone in this room berries. would do if you died. <laughs> <laughs> that was really mean. I didn't mean it either. I really love Eric. I, 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 Cheerio kind of sounded like cheer. Dude, you picked them... Most unhealthy Cheerios they make. <laughs> really? That's that why it has the American uh, Heart Association, may lower cholesterol and heart disease? It has a heart with like a circle and like a red line through it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a clogged heart. Very good. Hey, here it is. Uh, Let me see the American. This is something, something I've been talking about for, for uh, off and on for a couple of weeks, and we go to Snopes. Uh, Halloween poisonings. Mm -hmm. Oh, the news scares uh, the crap out of you every year. Re read that label. Let me just get through this, Jimmy, and then we'll go back to that. We're all over the place, and that's fine. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy's just laughing. Well, well, go ahead, Jimmy. Go ahead. I'll, 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 wait, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, it's Berry Burst Cheerios. It's like, how badly do you need t good taste? <laughs> What's wrong with it? Nothing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, your berries just burst. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, sorry. E, are you gonna take that? E, E, E to the R, E to the rock. There's nothing I can do to him. Oh, I have a five. Oh well, that's sad. Uh, Halloween poisonings. Uh, police have documented cases of madmen randomly distributing uh, poison goodies to the little tykes who came calling on Halloween. I'm big into this one, okay? Because the news scares the crap out of, out of, uh, out of uh, the parents every single year. Status, according to Snopes, false. Tales of black-hearted madmen doing uh, doling out poison Halloween candy to unsuspecting little tykes have been around forever. They were part of my Halloween experience nearly 40 years ago. And every year sees the same flurry of activity in response to such rumors. Radio, TV, and newspapers issue dark warnings about tampered candy and suggest taking the little ones to parties instead of collecting goodies door to door. And that's what has happened. Now, now the, uh, all the trick or treating is really safe in malls or in the middle of town or yeah. in the lobby of buildings. Even Ann uh, Landers published a column in 1995 warning us against the mad poisoner, saying, In recent years, there have been reports of people with twisted minds putting razor blades and poison in taffy apples and Halloween candy. Uh, uh, E-Rock, I know you love pal talk, but you got to thank you. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> 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 He's right in the middle of reading something. <laughs> and I see a naked girl. Thanks. I love naked women, but, you know, we're trying to actually do a job right this second. Uh, it's a so unbelievable. <laughs> Goddamn, Iraq. Iraq, this is what I tell you. You make it so easy at times. Why at that moment did you have to go to Pal Talk? He can't hear you. He's zoned out. Microphone. Zoned out. That's good. That's what Tom wants to hear down the hall, that he's paying someone to zone out. I just zoned out. It's a sadness that a holiday so <laughs> thoroughly and greedily enjoyed by kids is being sanitized out of existence in the name of safety. Sadder still is there appears to be little reason for it. Though I've yet to find evidence of a genuine Halloween poisoning, I have uncovered a few isolated incidents initially reported as random poisonings that, upon further investigation, turned out to be something else. Mm -hmm. Thank you for scrolling down, Iraq. Let's see. Uh, let's set the criteria for what constitutes a Halloween poisoning. And then, well, do we need to get to all this? Uh, by far, the most famous case of Halloween candy poisoning was the murder of eight-year-old Timothy Mark O'Brien at the hands of his father, Ooh. Ronald Clark O'Brien, in Texas. What was this? Child died at 10 uh, p.m. on October 31st, of course, 1974, as a result of eating cyanide-laced pixie sticks acquired while trick-or-treating. Oh. To make his act appear more like the work of a random madman, O'Brien also gave poisoned pixie sticks to his daughter and three other children. By a kind stroke of fate, none of the other children ate the candy. The what prosecution proved the father had purchased cyanide and had 
uh, along with a neighbor, accompanied the group of children on their door-to-door -door mission. None of the places visited that night were giving out pixie sticks. Young Mark's life was insured for a large sum of money, and collecting on this policy has always been pointed to as the motive behind this murder. Boy, he sure covered his tracks. I this know. It's every single thing to point directly at you. But this is the only, well, not the only, but one of the only cases this guy could find because you hear about it on the news every year that kids are getting poisoned and, and he had to go back to 74 and it was proven that it was the father trying yeah. to collect on insurance money. And the father. So, so why does the news like continue to scare you with this crap every year? It's a non-story. So it never happens. That really was a bad cover-up. He buys the cyanide and the insurance policy on the same credit card. <laughs> right. What a dunce. And then, there's an, then there was another one in uh, Detroit in 1970, and there was another uh, uh, circumstance uh, where they were trying to uh, uh, cover up something. Cover up something. If you want to read further, it's on Snopes.com. <laughs> um, oh, uh, okay. Pat? Yeah, hey, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, told to be the tenth caller. Once E Rock brings nothing to the table. <laughs> See, no, it was a sound effect of E Rock bringing saying, "I bring nothing to the table." Uh, you don't win if he's actually bringing nothing to the table. <laughs> you guys gotta clear that up for me. I didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we probably should have made that. Uh, <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, guys. I, oh, I love our listeners that are ball busters. I I love that more than anything. So if you want to read up more. Read up more on this uh, poisoning of the kids uh, during Halloween. Go to Snopes.com. It goes on and on. But basically, the news is really doing a huge disservice to parents everywhere by scaring the crap out of them with this stuff. It comes down to just common sense, and most parents have that. Let them trick-or-treat like we used to as kids. Yeah. Trying to figure out which house had the big candy bars and which houses would give you stupid pennies and Mary Jane bars. It was like going hunting. It was, right? You know, like find the good spot. And then you would like, uh, you know, mess up your costume a little bit to make it look like you were a different kid because they were giving away the large snicker bars. <laughs> Change masks with your friends. Change masks or whatever, yeah. yeah. Or go without a mask and they go, well, why don't you have a mask on? Well, because I was here before. Damn it! Because I was here five minutes ago, dummy. <laughs> it's funny. I, I used to hate when you'd have like a little plastic mask, like uh, the store bought costume, and you could smell your breath on the inside of the mask. Oh, like yeah. after hours, like you, cause you, you know, how, like when you, your mouth would touch the little thing when you talk, your breath would stick to it. <laughs> when my when my food pocket acts up. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> That's actually Damn like it. a septic tank in your mouth. Sewer. It's just the sewer. I will get a I, I will get a whiff on a coffee cup every once in a while. <laughs> What's worse than whiffing whiffing your dumpster morning breath on a coffee? It's nothing worse than smelling your breath. And on it's a coffee yours. Cup. Like you oh, yeah. usually smell your own smells, and it's not a problem. But that one is that one's like oh my god. Oh uh, wow, Stephen Lynch, the Halloween song, huh? Why don't you go get it approved? You got it approved, D Rock? Yes. Can't hear you. Um, do we have time to play this? <laughs> <laughs> we have a guest? Yeah, we might not have time, so we're going to have to wait till tomorrow because we've got to keep the cop here and we're going to kick off the homeless shopping spree today with, hey, our first, with our first homeless person, right? Absolutely. Who's, who's coming through the door? We like to start off with uh, a favorite from the year before. All right. And uh, we have Papa Rock, who was one of uh, the crowd Papa favorites Rock. last year. And he's going to come in and play a couple songs. No, he's not going to play a couple songs. He's going to spend gonna 10 fiddle. 15 minutes fiddling. <laughs> this is the fiddling homeless guy for, for the people that are in the know out there that linger uh, longer. The fiddling homeless guy is back. He just fiddles with his he's little a, knobs on his amp. He's got a really nice guitar. Well, well, he had one that we gave him. but Well, because I, sm I couldn't take his fiddling anymore, so I smashed his guitar in front of him. Then I gave him a brand new guitar, and I, I've heard that he's lost that since. Yeah, yeah, someone stole that. All right, but the guy, his whole thing is he's a homeless guy that plays music on the street, but he never gets to the song because he spends the whole time fiddling. Is he fiddling out there? He's fiddling. All right, great. We'll have the fiddling homeless guy next on the Opie and Anthony Show. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony Show. We appreciate that. Uh, let's go to Bubba in Boston. Bubba. What's up? Go Sox, by the way. Uh, yes, it's still e October. Of course it is. And I have a what the F. All right, go ahead. What the F? 
Why is E-Rock called Sex Bagel if he's fat like a Boston cream donut? What the F? We got to take a break, but we're all very excited because it's Dance Friday. Oh. And our own E-Rock and Master Pole will be on live TV. We'll be simulcasting it. We'll get the video up on ondayradio.com later today. You know, today. We'll talk more about it after the break because we're really... Oh. It's Opie and Anthony. I... We were just in the ONA lab. We're working on some new bits for the show. And, the uh, lab down at the Institute. We should bring some of these ideas to the people. Because some of them never see the light of day. Yeah, unfortunately. But I do have an idea, and I don't know how it's going to work yet. But I think we can pull it off. Yeah, that sounds totally doable. We want to get a, um, a really good uh, prize. And don't worry, Tracy. It'll be part of Pinpoint Listening. <laughs> Point listening. Um, o and A fart trivia. Now, how exactly does this uh, does this work? I was in the O and A lab and just uh, kind of formulating this, trying to figure it out, and I, I I need a little help. But I'm thinking you get uh, you get like a studio filled with people because you're going to need a lot of people, obviously. Yeah. Maybe let's say ten to twelve hardcore listeners. Okay. And then uh, we do a trivia contest. Mm -hmm. The questions are so easy. Like, how many states in the United States of America? 48. Oh, my God. Of course. Yeah. Everyone knows the answer, but here's the problem. You can't answer until you fart. Oh, so that's like you're qualified. <laughs> that's like the buzzer that's on the Jeopardy. That's the buzzer, right. <laughs> you got it. Now, it could be a really boring show if you got a studio filled with people and they can't fart to answer these simple questions. That'd be sad. But that could be kind of funny. But then I'm thinking, leave it to the listeners. They'll figure out, you know, what they need to do personally to make yeah. sure they're uh, farting a lot. Yeah, yeah, because they could uh, maybe do it, uh, something a few days in advance to make sure that they have a build up. Uh, it would be really funny to watch a couple of people really trying to <laughs> to hit that buzzer right uh, first. But the uh, the prize has to be really good, and the questions have to be so easy that people are like, oh my god, all I have to do is fart, and I'll get a point here. Yeah, yeah. No thinking in this game. No, none. Well, maybe a little, maybe a little bit. It's like Joker's wild questions. Right, right, right. <laughs> those, those are always simple. No kidding. Uh, I think this could work. Because I know personally, like, if I eat a lot of beans, it's going to be a, a nightmare the next day. And I'm thinking uh, our listeners are smart enough where they can figure out their formula the night before or the day before, and they could, like, they could kind of plan it out perfectly. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of farting going on when the contest hits. What do you think? What do you think? I, I like it. Should we bring this one to the people or what? I like it. Does it need to be honed a little bit more in the ONA labs? Uh no I think I think the basic uh, framework is there yeah I think the the contestants are gonna have to do a little work beforehand a little work on their diet mm -hmm. when they come in but that's the beauty of the thing too of course yeah you know uh, the listener that knows how to figure out all that Got the answer but what about a silent but deadly is that where we use maybe the uh, the interns no where a guy it has to make a noise. The Joker's wild. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those questions, if you watched Jeopardy and then you watched The Joker's Wild, you'd be like, they would ask you some kind of a, a, a tough question, or you'd think it was a tough question. It's like, this president uh, crossed the Potomac River. And you're like, okay. His name was George Washing. Ton? <laughs> yes. A ton. George Washington for a point. Like, they give you sometimes a question where you're like, I, I might know that one. But yeah. then they fill in the blanks completely. It was Jeopardy for the Mongoloids. <laughs> oh. oh, whammies. Oh. oh, I landed on a whammy. And then the stupid animation comes out. Yeah. That was retarded, too. Never, never liked that show. When they'd have to sit and look down like the whammy, the dancing whammy things were really in front of them, and go like, uh huh, and dance along with them as they just lost money. Yeah, I'd be like cursing. Would they dance with the whammy? Oh, they would oh, boy, dance would with the whammy. Uh, speaking of dancing, uh, I just cannot wait.
Yeah, we're a little distracted today because our own E-Rock is going to be on Jill TV for Dance Friday. Is Master Poe going to? Master Poe is going to. Now, I, I, I think back to days like... Um, uh, the last episode of MASH. Yeah. When uh, you gathered around the TV to see something that was going to make history. This is how I feel today. <laughs> I hope they both wind up like certain soldiers in the last episode of MASH. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so horrific. Yeah. Our own E Rock, we saw how he was trying to dance. We uh, we gave him dance lessons yesterday. It was a little shakedown dance between him and Master Poe. Master Poe was teaching him some moves, and uh, E Rock, yeah, is he has no sense of rhythm whatsoever, and he's already uncomfortable in his own skin. Yeah. so it's going to make for a, a, a great, great uh, view today. Horrid. Yeah. Can we get back to the fart trivia? Oh, I'm obsessed with it. Stephen S. from Bayshore, he writes, Opie, I'd like to buy a bowel. <laughs> ah, what's that? Uh, e. Hey, what's up? What's Hi, up? Please. You're at uh, Jill TV, Channel 11, here in New York City? Yeah, we're here. We're, uh, we're waiting uh, to go on in about 20 minutes or so. Um, this, this thing is already a disaster. Why? All right, well, we get in the cab to leave, and... Poe spends the entire cab ride trying to explain to the cabbie how the radio works to put on 92.3 because those are friends of ours. Oh, God. <laughs> what an ass. So, yeah. So then we, we get here, and there's a problem because Poe's not on the guest list. So <laughs> they're like, well, we got a phone call up to see if we're, he's allowed up there. I'm used so, to that. Right. So they, they, they get him upstairs and everything. We get into the, uh, they put us in a dressing room here. Poe has a backpack that he opens up, and there's this wrapped up towel, which he then unfurled on the couch, and there's a whole line of products. Oh, oh what, what happened? Uh, did he get a, that was completely my fault. Oh, no. Wow, I'm sorry. 735, says Steve. Okay. Can you get E-Rock back? That was completely my fault. I'm oh, an oh I'm no. A, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. We'll get him back on. Mike in Jersey, what's up? Real fast. Yeah, you, you guys are a couple of dumbasses, and especially Anthony. The, the uh, Fast Times at Richmond High, it's when he's washing the car. That's what American Girl is playing. Oh, okay. I, I, dude, I, I haven't I, seen it in a while. I love how you say especially Anthony, because I would put Anthony up against anyone when it comes to movie and TV trivia. That's right. I, 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 for, I forgot. We, you know, we're doing far trivia. That's as a goof. But we will do uh, movie, TV trivia versus Anthony Ooh. anytime. And put up a huge prize if you could beat them. A but huge you, prize. The pressure's on. And you'd have to come in studio so we know you're not Googling answers. Anthony, no one would beat Anthony. He'd choke like Cindy Brady. Oh, I know. I just stare. That really, I Anthony. Don't, I don't know. Actually, you know what? My brother might be able to beat you. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he might be able to beat you. He hasn't had a job in over 10 years. He's watched a lot of job. TV. Watch TV and watch movies. He, he really might, hasn't had a job mm -hmm. in 10 years? I don't think so. Wow. Yeah. 10 years. No, actually longer. <laughs> wow. Oh, I don't right, know. Get, out, get a gig. <laughs> get a gig. Thanks, Mike, for helping us out. Back to E Rock. I'm sorry. E Rock, so he uh, opens up his bag and there's all sorts of products on the couch? He has a towel wrapped up that he unfurls on the couch and there's all these products. Yeah. So first he starts using the lint brush to clean his outfit. Oh. Then he has shoe polish and he's doing his shoes. Because they show shoes on TV, by the way. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, my feet will be moving. He's gelling his hair, and then he tops it off by um, filling the room with Axe body spray. Oh, no. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and uh, as of right now, they're in the uh, guest room, and uh, Poe and Jill are coordinating our dance moves for the segment. See, is it true we also popped a Cialis? <laughs> <laughs> We have not even, like, uh, scratched the surface with this Master Poe. We've spent a lot of time on E-Rock and some oh, yeah, other yeah. people on this show, but this Master Poe is from another planet. Yeah. He really is from another planet. They don't know him as well on this side either because he's the XM uh, security, so a lot of the... Uh, yeah, we yeah, got uh, uh, to start developing him on this yeah, side. He's a trained show. killer. So, uh, E-Rock, how, how you feeling? 
Um, all right, they, they have uh, another dance guest with us. His name is uh, Dancing Larry. Apparently, he, he's a regular dancer at the Ranger Games at Madison Square Garden. Oh, they're spicing it up for you. Hey, you know, if you're in the same room with the Ranger fan, you know what you have to do, right, E-Rock? I am your hero, after all. you got to punch that guy right in the face, <laughs> live on TV, punch and then go punch. and say, go Islanders, go. And then I'll faint like Marie Osmond. Yeah. I, I feel bad for you, because I think... <laughs> <laughs> well, she Marie Osmond is saying it's because of the fires in California. That's why she passed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she uh, <laughs> she got winded. I think she's pregnant. That's and what I think, uh, the rumor was. And I think she's. Uh, I, I believe she's already had eight kids or something like that. Eight yeah. kids, something like that. Yeah, she's wow. Mormon. Surprised they don't just ask her to like to, to, to hover oh. her over with water. <laughs> uh, do a split. <laughs> Fly her over the fire. And they'll hover her over. I hear, I hear Jill in the uh, background. Erock, what's going on? Um, Bo and uh, Jill are sitting here coordinating um, our dance moves to um, Paul Abdul straight up. Right. See, this is this is Jill. She's part of the news yeah, team, but yeah. this is what she actually does. We get uh, the behind-the-scenes stuff. Jill, would you like to go out back of F.H. Riley's? Yes. <laughs> Hold on here. Take your voice. Oh, wow, Paul can take it. Yeah. You like to touch it, too. Oh, boy. There you go. You know that um, Mr. Poe is going to become a huge TV star today. You know that, right? No, he's, yeah. He's, he's quirky enough where people are going to be like, whoa, well, you got to get this Master Poe back. Okay. You want to talk to Sure. Hello. Oh, I got to Hello. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jill. Hey, guys. I'm very busy here trying to teach the boys a little dance routine. How's it working? Uh, it's going all right. I don't know. Poe's a little uh, upset here. He's in shock that he really has to do these moves. But hey, uh, he does. He has no choice. Hey, Jill. It's my turf now, boys. <laughs> Jill, I, I like you because uh, you're, you're an honest woman. We, we appreciate your honesty. What do you think of Master Poe? And don't hold back. Right now, he's okay. He's got to work on his moves a little bit better, but I think he might get it. He's actually got the whole, you know, beat down. He's got some beef. You know, Erock is a little shy. He won't dance with me yet. Well, so I got to run on TV. So oh, I okay. Yeah, of course, because you got to do traffic it's now. Still TV. <laughs> this is the news. No, she doesn't want to smell that phone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right. Talking into a septic tank. Oh, poor Erock. Are you? Uh, all right, there goes Jill. She'll be on, on TV now. Hey, by the way, if you go to... Is this on YouTube so people can play along at home if they're at their computer? Oh, that is great. Uh, we do have E-Rock learning how to dance for his big TV appearance. You know, we take this stuff very seriously. We give you a little peek into the ONA lab, and it's uh, E-Rock getting dance lessons from Master Poe. And Master Poe will be on TV with E-Rock today. Uh, how did they get this video on um, on YouTube? It's called uh, Retards Dancing on Opie and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that horrible? That, Why'd you call it that? Because <laughs> I figured that way will increase traffic because people will be like, oh, man, Retards Dancing. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and uh, and that video will be up on O&A Radio. Do you want to um, play games? <laughs> well, they did seem to be smiling. On the news, I'm wondering if uh, they were all setting up. Maybe Eric grabbed his chest and fell face first on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. Poor Iraq. Uh, <laughs> poor stupid Iraq. Yeah, poor Iraq. Blubbery mess. <laughs> you know, he's not even going to be the highlight today. Master Poe is going to upstage him on TV. And well, no, and no one really knows Master Poe yet. You know what it is? It's two complete opposites. It's one guy that thinks he rules. And he's going to be, with all the confidence in the world, he's going to be dancing like a complete buffoon. Yeah. And then there's the other one that is yet yeah, nervous in his own skin, has no rhythm. And, oh, well, there's, all right, there's all right, turn this up, turn this up. Let's... surprise to you for this dance Friday. All right, check it in here right oh, now. No. Williamsburg Bridge, some heavy traffic. Oh, oh no. All right, this is a little surprise for dance Thank Friday. You know, it's the same Jill we just heard on the phone. As Getting as the guys ready the for dance Friday. Reverse right now. Yeah. So that's why traffic oh, building. Traffic, blah, 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 traffic, was Iraq wearing a, a green shirt? I hope so. When they put the uh, the chroma key background, he disappears. All sides are in effect today, citywide. I'm going to drop my magic wand. Oh, no, And welcome to Dance Fight all the way from the K Rock Studios and XM Studios. Let's welcome Iraq. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Friday, my friend. Hey, Jill, did you did you notice that Eric started to get comfortable? Towards- yeah, he's starting to 
started getting into it, and he was like bopping his head, and his yeah, he felt very comfortable. Yeah, he was front and center, giving out the plug, kind of feeling good. Yeah, a comfortable look on his dumb face. It really bothered me. Yeah, and officially, E Rock has done more TV than Anthony and I now, so that's uh, <laughs> yep, that's good too. Oh, you guys are next because you know I'm recruiting you all to the show. Now. Oh, jeez. Have... Yeah, the whole morning show. That's right, guys. You will come on and do Dance Friday. That'll one of these be the days. day. Would you have Opie and Anthony do Dance Friday? <laughs> Shut up, I'm Jimmy. I'm just saying, maybe you You're would. You're trying to instigate. I'm... Well, what about Jimmy Norton? Nah, I've already been on his old hat. Yeah, I'm Norton. saying you guys. Oh, she said, of course, Jimmy Norton. Yeah, of I course, Jimmy. Foot. You guys. Yeah. Uh, I got a knee injury coming up. <laughs> I'm not doing Dance <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Feel it. <laughs> we'll bring a camera crew to the station, and we'll um, what we'll do is we'll film you guys, and we'll just broadcast it here. So you guys don't have to get out of the studio; it'll be perfect. Mm, I All think right. we're off that day. Uh, maybe we could dance while we're still sitting, you know, that type of thing. Oh, what we'll, about dance? Sure we'll, put our, we'll put our hands in the air like we just don't care. Air. What'd you ask, Joe? What? Fan, yeah, yeah. We want him in next. Fan? Yes. Oh, fan. What about it? All right. Dance, uh, dance, dance Friday. Friday. They want you in next. No, no. no? Well, why not? Fans looking. Um, uh, the only way I could describe it, uh, horrified. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for January. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Did you guys like the butt shake? They want to know if you like the, your butt shake. A lot. I was proud of the butt shake. Um, I gotta be honest with you. When that part came up, I was not looking at either E Rock. Yeah. Or Poe. <laughs> yeah. We all passed the gay test. Let's just put that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That's the top of it. <laughs> And a nice choreography, by the way. Yeah, I, I you worked you that got, out pretty quickly. I didn't know you actually worked out dance steps for this. Oh, absolutely. I used to be a professional choreographer, so I took a little of my fantastic moves, some of the best moves that you've seen in the 80s, you know, a little <laughs> hip swing, a little booty shake, and a little Egyptian thing we got in there, too, right? Yeah, I yeah. saw that. Hey, like a little bangle thing. Do you think that Poe actually thinks that he's a little bit of a better dancer than he is? Yeah, I think Poe thinks he is. A better dancer than he is. You know what he did? Like during rehearsal, he was like five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Like, he knows how to count. Yeah, he like, knows how to count. Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> was he trying to flirt with you at all? Um, actually, he asked me for my number just a few minutes ago. Did he really? Yes. Yeah, he wants to go out. So, all right. Absolutely. Oh, oh my God! I hope I hope you didn't give it to him. <laughs> hey Jill, how long did it take uh, Poe to actually hit on you? Um, about ten minutes, I say. <laughs> was he, was he yes. trying to be charming, but he came off just like a ghoul? <laughs> no, you know what? We, we bonded over the Long Island thing. Like you know, we all bond over Long Island. It was like uh, oh, Master oh, Poe's Jersey. Oh. Master Poe's not uh, from Long Island. He's 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 banged a few broads from Long Island. <laughs> In parking lots, but he uh, he's a Jersey guy. Did you did he laugh at all? Like, <laughs> that's exactly what he just did. It sounds like the count. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us just C blocking him. I I oh Jill. I just think I just think it's hilarious that she has absolutely nothing to do, but hang out with us in between her. Uh, Traffic reports. <laughs> <laughs> as as long as the traffic gets out there. That's right. And I'll, I'll be back to, to check you in on your New York and New Jersey roadways in just a moment, people. Don't worry. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go do my, my very important job right now. You know what? It's time to get serious. The Jill Nicolini serious face. i got to go back to work. All right, Bye, go ahead. Tell Thank us where you. the traffic is. Thanks, Jill. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Jill from Jill TV, everyone. Uh, but is Iraq here still? Iraq. Yeah, we lost the Iraq. All right. Uh, this is all right. You know what? This is the next one right here. Clutch in Baltimore has uh, the next person that should be doing Dance Friday. Clutch. Big yes. setup with Hello? no payoff. Clutch. Hello, Baltimore. Clutch. Well, all I'll do is line. Roland should do uh, Dance Friday. Yes, that's. Oh, the... Roland. Roland is so uh, uncomfortable that would in his rock. skin. And on TV, that sweaty forehead of his will just uh, be a nice little uh, little uh, extra treat for everybody. Uh, let's go to Dave on Long Island. Dave, what's up? How you doing? Hey. Did, instead of a boa, they should have given him a towel. Did Eric, uh, Eric's, uh, was oh. so wet on Was he, was he all sweaty? See, I gotta see it again now. <laughs> <laughs> I got fucked. Uh, <laughs> I, I think the C came out in that one. I said, I gotta see that again. Oh, oh Like, oh. I gotta watch it 80 times just to get... I'm going to laugh just as hard the last time. It went by way too fast. Way too fast. 
Eric was the biggest thing on television. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. Take care. The old Ralph Cramden oh joke. God. Let's go to Michelle in Jersey. Michelle. Hey. Hey. How are you? Huh? I didn't even, I didn't even see it. I was laughing hysterically driving. Yeah, because... That you guys should do Dance Friday. Uh, I agree. I, oh, my God. Yeah, of course you agree, Jimmy. There is no way. I want to see my friends having fun. Ever. Well, you want to see us having fun? Yeah. It will not be during a Dance Friday segment. Know, you boogie woogie. Uh, you will not. Boogie sure woogie? <laughs> huh? There will be no boogie woogie. I think you would get more listeners that way than this uh, $1,000. I think it would be fun. People would see the fun side of the show. And the fact that uh, the guys are just silly geese. Yeah, there you go. I it was silly geese. <laughs> I went by. I don't think it would be silly geese. I think it would. Be, that is a career ender you right say. there. Ender. Think you play like tools? I, I thought <laughs> XFL pregame was the career ender. Right. Uh, thank you, Michelle. I I longer. See, longer. Great. <laughs> All right. I want to see Steve do it too. Yeah, Steve and Roland. Steve and Roland should be next. next. Roland to just be like, hey, I'm dancing. I, 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 uh, I'm dancing. Is Roland coming in today, or maybe we could uh, have a little dance tryout with Roland today, and we'll add that video up on some of the sites as well. Uh, we we'll do this again. Oh. It's Fart Friday. <laughs> Fart Friday oh. on the Opie and Anthony show. Tim, let's go to Mark in Connecticut. Mark, what's up? Hey, what's going on? I finally got through. Yeah. Uh, Long-time listener, uh, first-time caller. Okay. Quack, quack. Never mind friggin' Dance Friday. It's all about Fart Friday. Yes. Well. Yeah. I get I get about a half-hour commute, and, you know, I drink my coffee on the way, and by the time I get to work, man, it's like beeline straight to the bathroom, you know? Oh, yeah. But uh, if you give me one sec, I, I think I got one. Good for you. All right. H hang on. I'm going to try here. I'm going to try not to grab oh, my pants. Oh, boy. Take care. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Gee, hey, dude. I gotta say, I gotta say, dude. I got a message for Jimmy though. Yeah. Jimmy Norton. Go ahead. I love you, man. Thank and you. we caught we caught your stand up on friggin' HBO the other night, and that was by far the most hilarious, disgustingly vile crap Ooh. I've ever seen. That Thank was you. So funny. Everybody was dying. Even my girlfriend, who doesn't like, you know. Me. Like you know, but <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. A basset, a basset hound wearing a miner's helmet? Come on. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Perfect. All right, very good, Mark. And unfortunately, no one heard your fart because you cursed after it. So yes. you got to. I'm sorry. On this side of the show, you got to kind of keep it clean so we can get some of this uh, stuff out there. But thank you, Mark. Right. Thanks, man. Thank you. I'll, I'll try again tomorrow. All right, Thanks, and man. we're going to attempt to do this fart trivia. We just got to figure out uh, how it's, yes. it's going to work. What do mm -hmm. you got over there, Danny? Uh, well, do you remember back on XM a couple years ago we played something called the Fart Game? What was that? Where you you and Jim seemed to have a competition for quite some time where every time you had one, you would let it go into the mic. So I isolated, well, we all actually isolated them, and then oh. we played a game to oh, see if you could right? identify. Oh, whose who's, was whose? Who's. Right, right, right. right. What do you right. got? Just highlights of that? or? Uh, well, I have some of the actual ones that you guys let go if you want to. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Considering yeah, it is Fart Friday. I mean. All right, let me see. <laughs> all right, well, we got this one. <laughs> all right, listen. I, this is all right. Go ahead. Yeah, let me, let me do that one again. Back up again. That was open. That's me. It's I obvious. remember that one. It yeah. Definitely was. All right, oh. there, here's another you one. Get firm cheeks. <laughs> That's me. No. That's Jimmy. That's Jimmy. Because I, I tend to wow, push a little harder. You're, get, you're forgetting. I push a little harder than Jimmy. <laughs> Let's see. I got another one here. Uh, that's... We're just guessing. No. We are again? probably right. Go ahead. <laughs> I think that was me. Any other guesses? Well, the only other guess was Jimmy going me. Well, from yeah. <laughs> I mean, jeez. <laughs> I guess it was This isn't Kirby. rocket science. <laughs> yeah, that was Jim. All right. Let's see. I got another one. <laughs> uh, that was me. <laughs> oh, I think that might be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely me. It is. Yeah. Here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's amazing. It's like, it's like fingerprints or snowflakes. <laughs> right. That was me with the Ebola virus. <laughs> <laughs> my intestines out. Uh, I got more. All right. I'm sure. 
That's, That's me. you again. I know mine for the most part. Here's That's a, so mine. These are basic. <laughs> right. You could do like if there was voiceover for that. Yeah. You, you got like a, a good tone. Yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure about that one. I would say Jimmy. Was it Jimmy? Yeah, because it's almost cute and up, uplifting. Like, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nope, that was Ope. Wow, okay. So I could have played the game over again with the same. I thing. know, I know. I okay, know. who's this? <laughs> I think I got one more. <laughs> one more? Let's go. Actually, one or two more. All right. <laughs> Do it again? <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'll that's Jimmy. I had to be because you laughed too soon. Go ahead, one more time. <laughs> I thought I could hear your laugh. Yeah. So I, you couldn't be laughing. I, I would have to go with Jimmy on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, that's Ope. Oh, wow. What the hell, that's man? He's laughing during it. Maybe wow. Laugh. <laughs> uh, I think I have one more. <laughs> I have the same one, I think. Jesus. All right, enough. We recognize them now. Yeah, let's... Dennis from Long Island has an observation uh, as far as what he saw on TV a few minutes ago. Uh, Dennis, go ahead. Hey, b -b -b boys. Yep. Uh, I don't know if anybody saw, but when um, Jill had uh, Master Poe roll it one way, and when E Rock was rolling it back, he had his eyes on the prize and uh, was uh, an attempted uh, grab. You think he was trying to grab her, her boob? Uh, or at least a brush against. Uh, you got to look at it pretty close. I watched it about 12 times myself. All right, we'll, uh, we'll yeah, we got to watch that video again. When is it going to be up? We got to get that up immediately. Yeah, I'll do it. Is one of the guys around here uh, able to get that up on onaradio.com? Yeah, I'll just, I got to cut it down and send it to him. All right, It'll cool. be up within an hour. All right, great. Good. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs> hey, we're thinking of boys. we're thinking of doing Poe Vember because Master Poe is, yeah. is a character that uh, a lot of people still don't know about. And he, the beauty of Poe, he he gives us stuff like this. Hey, this is Master Poe. Poe, Poe, Boobo, Banana, Nana, Banana, Fana, Fofo, Fee, Fi, Mo, Mo. Poe! <laughs> Poe! Uh, <laughs> wonderful sound clip, too. Yeah, I don't know if I got it on this side. Damn! Yeah. All right, you well, do have it, I think. Huh? Are you... Yeah, I think that should be a sound of the day. Of course, it's going to be. It absolutely will be. Poe is um, well, how about, a very unique uh, character. I'm watching Poe. He really is trying to dance, and he keeps going out of frame. Damn, you just been pwned. I think, Puss. I, I think we should use a Master Poe clip for Monday's contest. Yeah. All right, I think I got it. All right. I don't want to confuse everybody. Ignore the ones we just played. This is the sound to listen for. On uh, Monday between seven and seven thirty, if you want to win a thousand dollars. When you hear that on Monday, sometime between seven and seven thirty, be the tenth caller, you'll win the the next one thousand dollars. Yes, Danny. Um, well, I'm watch I'm rewatching the video of Poe yeah. and, and Eric dancing, and I just caught something that just infuriated me. We told them to purposely wear Opie and Anthony shirts to try and get the name out there on TV. Yeah. Poe's wearing his friggin' suit jacket over the shirt so that you can't read what it says. You can't read what it says. Because he wanted to look good for his appearance care. on TV. You know what this is about? my big shot. You know what bugs me about the... Uh about the Poe thing too is he's actually like dancing and smiling and there's nothing worse than a guy smiling while he's dancing <laughs> they w looked anything but cool yeah I really have to be honest alright well the video will be up for everybody else in uh, a little while hopefully but once again here's uh, here's the sound for Monday between 7 and 7.30 listen for this this is what it's oh my god no that's wrong here it is sorry <laughs> There you go. And that sound will be up on onaradio.com. The E to the Rock, the big TV star, is back in studio. Is he? Uh, hopefully we'll have the video up on onaradio.com in the next few minutes. There he is. Please, get it up there as quickly was as it, e -Rock? humanly possible. e -Rock, here he is, the, the big star of Dance Friday. It was fun. Was it fun? Yeah. Was Jill cordial? Um, 
at times, but I, if I could get past Master Poe talking to her, then ah, yes. Okay, now, was, was Poe really putting the moves on her and asked for her number? And... She was trying to coordinate our, our dance. Yeah, right there. sure. And Poe was taking upon himself to maybe uh, show some improvements to the routine. Jill, I think I could help you. Maybe Where's a few Poe? combat moves. He's outside. He actually, uh, he's, he's asking if he can plug something. Oh, I'm oh, in the mouth with a shotgun. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Jim. Why do I have a feeling that there's a woman involved in this? Uh, I want to plug something. Oh, take your time. No, no problem. Hi, Paul. We're on your time. Po. You just take your time and just saunter in here. Don't worry that there's a million people waiting for us to do something. Good morning, Oosh. gentlemen. Yeah, good morning. Oosh. Good job. Uh, I. I, it was horrible. No, how did that? Uh, how did that feel? Oh, I, I, um, I, I, it was horrible. I, I, I think I was stepping on my own toes. You tripped over <laughs> your own toes. It happens, though. You're yes. nervous. The cameras are rolling, and it, instead of being graceful, you almost tripped and wrecked everything for everybody. For absolutely. What? what do you think of that Jill Nicolini over there? Huh? She's very nice. Yeah. And her dance steps are are different and difficult, but oh, yeah, real difficult. Yeah. Basic, basic dance moves from the 90s, real difficult. Yeah, but it, it was uh, it was fun. We had a good time. Oh, good. What what do you, what do you have to plug, uh, Poe? Uh, well, I'm hoping that I could redeem myself by having a, a body rock seminar in New York City. Oh. Probably no one will come, but you know, at least I can I can dance. you uh, you w w w what? A body rock seminar. What is a body rock? <laughs> Seminar, <laughs> body rock seminar. It's a dance out. seminar. Oh, Erock's raising his hand. Yes, Erock. Body rock is his uh, workout routine that he thought the hip hop abs guy stole from him. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. It does seem like he actually did that. And how did they steal that from you, Master Poe? Well, the moves that I I, I looked at, I watched the uh, DVD, and and most of those moves, or many of those moves, um, I have used, and I I've been doing body rock for about eight years. So um, I'm not saying he stole it from me. I'm saying that stole he was first. He was uh, the smart guy. So are you doing a body rock seminar? I I, I was told you were doing one um, Friday, November second, and Saturday, November third at Sweet Basil Restaurant in Queensbury, New York. Is that true? <laughs> Next Friday, Saturday. I, I, I heard you were doing a body rock seminar there. Yes. How did, after my shows. How did you find that out? Just a rumor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when did you pick seven hours? I must call him Mr. Poe. <laughs> right Mr. Poe. Mr. Poe. Right now I'm co coordinating the uh, the dates with uh, the Lincoln Jazz Center. So wait, what are you, but you're plugging... The Lincoln Jazz Center? Yes, sir. They're going to have Body Rock with Master Poe, the great no, Lincoln Jazz not. Center? Wait. <laughs> Jimmy, no, they're not. Because you plug, posted I wanted to plug something, which is great, but you're plugging something that hasn't. there's no date, so you can't plug it yet. How are you going to get into the Lincoln Jazz Center with Master Poe's Body Rock? Well, I made contacts there already, and uh, I was given the approval. Now we're just coordinating the dates because they have many events happening there, so I have to make sure that I'm able to, to have my seminar on, on the date I want. You're going to be appearing in the basement of the Lincoln It's Center. Rupert Pupkin with lethal hands. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. my pride and joy. <laughs> <laughs> this is my pride well, and you joy. Well, you know what it is? This is a mo the, the Lincoln Jazz Center is in the Time Warner building, right? Yes. Which is, uh, is a it's big a, it's mall. A, it's a beautiful building. It's a multi-million yes. dollar like, uh, like, uh, performance center. Yes. Just, just a performance center is like a multi-million dollar facility. And they're going to have Master Poe Body Rock. Well, we'll do, do the best I can. Do? When do you want to do it? <laughs> huh? When do you want to do it? Well, I'm hoping to do it uh, next month. Um, I'm going to have it on my website and masterpose.com. Uh, it'll have all the information on there. I'm just again, I'm I'm coordinating the the dates. Yeah. All right, your phone's ringing. Oh, who's calling you? No one important. Is it the Lincoln uh, Center Jazz Center? <laughs> no. He got her number. Did she give you her number? She couldn't have. Well, actually, she gave it to Eric first, and she did say, "Go ahead, give it to Master Poe as well." Oh. She did say that. All right, thanks. That's, that's a voicemail. I invited her to the, the Body Rock seminar, and she said that she would definitely come. So, Did you really invite her to the Body Rock seminar? Yes, sir. Wow. What do you do? Just dance for an hour? Uh, sure. When I went to New, New Orleans, um, oh I was dancing God. on the street. <laughs> I like to dance. I'm sorry. I like to dance. I don't know. I remember you were dancing on the street. I love martial arts, and I love to dance. So were, it, it, they had people in New Orleans actually disliked that more than Katrina. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like? 
<laughs> Master Poe off the radio. Okay. Oh, I hate oh. you on the radio. What? Oh, my skin crawls. I don't know what it is. I love Master Poe. <laughs> he sucks on the radio. Poe. <laughs> I think we just thought he... All right. All Thank right. you, guys. All right. Well, yeah. I think he was... There he goes. O&A Body Rock. Coming soon to the the great facility, the Lincoln Jazz Center. <laughs> hey, I love a dreamer, though. I can't uh, I can't mock that. Well, I've already made some contacts. Uh, uh, the man at the door. Yeah. Yes, it's... All right, listen. You got to get through the door before you could talk to somebody. They're gonna let him dance in the mall. They probably told him like, yeah, downstairs is a big facility. It's multi-leveled. You'll see a Bose store <laughs> and uh, <laughs> a little uh, cafeteria area, and you could dance down there. All right, listen. But I, I want to ask Paul, why would you plug something you don't have a date for? You can't plug it. Because it's Master Paul. That's the whole bit. Jimmy, since when do you know uh, how to plug things? Hey, uh, all right, let's do some E-Rock radio. This part you heard, but then we're going to play uh, some new uh, new stuff from E-Rock's air check. Uh, E-Rock, back in the day, where were you? WGNX in uh, Vero Beach, Florida. All right, and Rob, you could uh, Beach, pile on and oh, okay. beat them up uh, like we're about to do. So uh, you were doing Sunday nights? No, nah, Monday through Friday, 7 to Whoa, oh, night jock. Oh. The nighttime attitude with E-Rock. <laughs> Linger longer. <laughs> all right. Uh, here is E-Rock. Let's get right to it. Hey, Sunday nights, GNX is the place to be. Violent Femmes, Psychedelic Furs, Susie and the Banshees, Haircut 100, B-52s, Michael Penn, Joe Boxers, and plenty, plenty more. Uh, Original MTV DJ Nina Blackwood takes you through three hours of the New Wave Nation every Sunday night from 9 to midnight on 99.7 GNX. Hey, GNX. Yeah, hey there. Uh, can you, like, play Pride by U2? I can, like, do that for you. Thanks. What's your, like, name? This is Brian. Brian, where are you, like, calling from? Uh, in my car. I'm out delivering pizzas. Oh, what pizzas? Papa John's. My favorite. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> uh, a hubcap with sauce on it. My favorite. <laughs> you know where the station is, right? <laughs> Could you come by here, please? He could have said anything and it would have been his favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Creamed corn. Wow. <laughs> My favorite. My favorite. Oh, God. And that too cool for the room. Yeah, like, where are you from? Like, because right. the guy said like. Right. I understand yeah, yeah. that. But then you, like, kept doing it and, like, tried to be, like, too cool for the room. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I understand. Cool DJ. <laughs> Just happy to be there. <laughs> Talking over the music. Did he get food delivered yeah, every course. night? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Every Thursday and Friday. My favorite. What do you get every Thursday and Friday? Um, it was an it was an alternate between pizza, checkers, checkers. and I forgot the third one. But uh, you ate Nixon's dog. Checkers is like a burger, <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty much like eating Nixon's dog. <laughs> yeah. Checkers. All right, let's. I think I we're... want checkers. <laughs> I think we're finally moving on. More uh, e-rocket. For you. Thanks. What's your like name? This is Brian. Brian, where are you like calling from? Uh, in my car. I'm out delivering pizzas. Oh, what pizzas? Papa John. My favorite. I love the garlic butter sauce. Well, next time you're in the area, make sure you stop by. All right. Nice edit. Nice edit too. I love the garlic butter. So next time you're in, like the old tape razor blade edit. On the 360. On the 360. Oh, is it the 360? That is a sloppy ass edit. Yep. Wait, so you wanted him to stop by with some pizza if he was in the area? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice the edit. I didn't notice oh, it. Oh, yeah, it wasn't yeah. closely. You could hear it. I love the garlic butter sauce. Well, next time oh, you're in the so <laughs> Like he must have talked over your S. Yeah, yeah, probably. probably. You know, I, I love the garlic butter sauce. Or maybe you were shoving food in your mouth and couldn't finish the word. No, he had to cut off the rest of what he said, which is, I love the garlic butter sauce and well-endowed men. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you shout for tomorrow's contest. <laughs> I love the garlic butter sauce. <laughs> hey, yeah, we could use that. Uh, Wait, can you, can you clean it up? And then we'll play it as the sound for tomorrow. That's not a bad idea. Oh, what pizzas? Papa John. My favorite. <laughs> I love the garlic butter sauce. Well, next time you're in the area, make sure you stop by, all right? Okay, we will do. Okay, okay, man. Bye. Bye. Baseball season is here. Oh, oh that oh. was a good one. I could see it. <laughs> Baseball season Baseball is here. Baseball season. Is that you doing a commercial? Yeah.
Ooh. Bye. Bye. Baseball season is here, and the Los Angeles Dodgers are back. Back at home and stadium at Vero Beach's own Dodger Town. Better than ever, 14 games for less than... Oh, oh, oh God, boy. listen to you Every rambling through that. radio commercial cliche. Listen to you rambling through that. And I know you didn't write the copy, so you got to give him a little bit of a But pass. it's a no-one-gives-a-crap delivery, too. It's just like... It's, blah, 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 blah. I love that back and better than ever crap. Yeah. Just uh, what do you awful. expect for them to be back and just ah, we're just gonna kind of lose every game. <laughs> See, I thought he was very believable. I, I really felt that he had something for the Dodgers. Just bad summer radio. And by the way, this is a commercial <laughs> for for minor, not minor, uh, 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 spring season, spring training. Uh, 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 spring training, spring sorry. training. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, very yeah, big, yeah. yeah. In that area, the Down Dodgers there. are are the big home team. Yeah, they're, uh, there's spring training campers right there in Vero Beach, so they show up a couple times a year. It's a big deal. The Dodgers are back. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, man. Bye. Bye. Baseball season is here, and the Los Angeles Dodgers are back. Back at home and stadium at Vero Beach's own Dodger Town. Better than ever, 14 games for less than $200. 14 exciting spring training games with our Los Angeles Dodgers, taking on the Florida Marlins, St. Louis Cardinals, Atlanta Braves, Houston Astros, and the New York Mets. Oh. Pearl Jam, I am mine on the Rock Station 99.7 GNX. I'm Sex Bagel. Give me a call. <laughs> I've never, ah! I've never heard it, heard it used. I've never heard oh. you say that you're a sex bagel. <laughs> I would have been a first for the show. I would have respected you more if you said I'm John Mark Carr. Oh my God! <laughs> Scott Muti is rolling in his grave. You got I'm her. not good. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not good. A sex bagel. I'm not good. Haircut 100. Oh, sex bagel. Oh. Right after me, it's sex bagel. Sex bagel. Keep it tuned to the sex bagel. Yeah. Playing your alternative rock right after me. Scott Coming up. Muni. After sex bagel is rape croissant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm damn. sex bagel. Do you think that was going to take off? Sex bagel stinks. A little over in history, when we discovered Sex Bagel and he told us he was Sex Bagel, one of the first things we did was change your name. Remember, there was that whole thing trying to figure out what to name you. We almost named you Hawk. What else? Something cooler. Hump Muffin. Huh? <laughs> I still call him Hawk bagel. sometimes. I don't know why I like that name. Yeah, Sex Hawk is cool. He did, a, he did some fine assaults on the media. Uh, that one famous one, as you, like... Flapping your wings like a hawk. A live <laughs> uh, Something right. cooler than sex bagel, like tampon. Really? I gotta hear, I gotta hear sex bagel with you again. Oh yeah. An exciting spring training game with our Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Florida Marlins, St. Louis Cardinals, Atlanta Braves, Houston Astros, and the New York Mets. Pearl Jam, I am mine on the Rock Station 99.7 GNX. I'm Sex Bagel. Give me a call 877-997-9469. That spells out GNX. In case you didn't know, single wireless users, you have pound GNX. Which, by the way, you know, since we don't run the Metro, tr you're just. Babbling. Oh, wow. And he tripped, too. Like, he's a, he's a little stupid lip. <laughs> well, he works for one of those stations where your delivery had to be... Blah, 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 blah. This park coming up here, um, they were proud of the fact, and they promoted the fact that you could give them local traffic updates. So what, oh, what's come hey. up here is you had to do this twice an hour to promote that they could text you with local traffic updates. Oh. oh wow. His mouth's just not used to moving this much without actual food being in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go to Pauline in Connecticut. Pauline. Hello, how are you doing? Good, what's up, Pauline? Oh, nothing. I'm on my way to work listening to you guys. Okay. Cool. And? And I like you. And? And, 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 hello, 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 hello. Why are you calling the radio show? Just for the heck of saying hello. I know the price. Holy crap, back to you, Ron. No, single the wireless users, you have pound GNX, which, by the way, you know, since we don't run the metro traffic at this hour, it doesn't mean the traffic reports have to stop, you know. <laughs> no, perish the thought. Just be, hey, just because hey. they're not running it doesn't mean the traffic reports have to stop, perish the thought. Just because it's 9 o'clock at night doesn't mean there isn't a pile up somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, God. Yeah. The big rush to go down to the stadium see those Dodgers. <laughs> I actually feel for him, man. I had to do this crap. Oh, he's just being a good soldier. This is just radio crap. Why don't you, you just do. get on and go, this sucks. Half the liners. No. Half the liners that jocks have to read are just crap to fill up space. 
Who would actually anyone listening to you at that hour? Who cares? They they're not listening for dumb traffic. Um, that rock station format lasted three weeks. Oh really? Yeah, they flipped it from an eighty station, turned it into an alternative rock station, which they thought the Grease Man would be a good morning show. <laughs> what a doodle! <laughs> hey, stay tuned for a uh, sex bagel. <laughs> sex bagel. Uh, it was sex muffin, but I shot a hole through it while I was slinging lead, and now it's a bagel. Oh, I might have some of his ideas. Bagel de woodle de do. <laughs> Goes good with a bone dry. Bone dry, snarlins, snarlins, sex snarlins with you. <laughs> well, now people are doing uh, their own traffic reports for Iraq. The drive through traffic at the McDonald's is backed up. <laughs> Thank you, Smokezilla. <laughs> If only we had a truck strong enough to drag E-Rock behind it. <laughs> uh. Yeah, pound GNX, which, by the way, you know, since we don't run the metro traffic at this hour, it doesn't mean the traffic reports have to stop. You know, you're on the roads. You're our eyes and ears. So if uh, you see something going on, oh, you can report it. No. You're our oh, eyes and ears. Oh. So if you see food, tell me. Because <laughs> I'll be the stomach. <laughs> yeah, if you... If you see any coupons in the local paper, please uh, bring it to my attention. You're on the road. You're on our hands and feet. <laughs> you are eyes and ears. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yes, he wrote. This one wasn't scripted, but they had bullet points of, of key phrases. Bullet you should points use. should have been going through your head. <laughs> exactly. Pull guns from Hollow paper points. bags. <laughs> Hollow points. <laughs> Uh, our bud sex dwyer. Was there a big book of cliches that you just kind of flip through? Uh, is, oh, this is so good. Is this the Laszlo from Long Island? He writes, Sex Bagel, the radio nickname for a guy who loves food so much he wants to... Uh, it. <laughs> sex Bagel. Uh, you see something going on, you can report it faster pretty much than they could anyway. So dial up pound GNX on your single wireless phone. Let us know what's going on. You know, helps everyone get home or out and about much easier. Okay? Cool. Gonna hit you up with some more music before she gets really pissed. It's Puddle of Mud. She hates me. On the rock station, 99.7 GNX. Let it go. Oh, hit the pose. Right hit right the right pose. Cha-cha-cha. Everything. Oh, oh, oh. Why did DJs do that? I wish you'd hit the post in a car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and then phone pound GNX so you can tell us about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a fat hack pileup. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's oh, all sex bagel stinks. <laughs> Drunk all... driving with Papa Papa John's grease all over little chubby fingers. <laughs> all like garlic juice. Yeah. I like garlic butter sauce. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he brought us though. You don't have any more, you rock. Oh, you have to. The GNX stuff, that's all I got. Oh, uh, uh, well, what else you got? Um, I have a air check from WBLI in Long Island uh Two days after Christmas, they had nobody, and I was the overnight board op, so they oh, made me do please, a couple hours. B-L-I. Please bring it in tomorrow. Need more of this. Yeah. Bring it in tomorrow. All right. Oh. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Exactly. 17 killed today in a car bombing. <laughs> I, I can't believe you scared us. <laughs> Iraq comment? I love the garlic butter sauce. Yeah, I thought you. Mm-hmm. I thought you did. Saw it. That one, Saw. That one was smooth today, right? I'll say that was really smooth. <laughs> silk. Hey, Eric was like, a hell of a DJ in Florida, though. Oh boy, was he! Yeah. You, were to, you were supposed to bring in other air checks there, uh, Iraq. Yeah. Did you? No. Why? You'll, you'll have it tomorrow morning. <clears throat> what happened today? I had some uh, things happen yesterday, so I. Could, Ooh, what happened? You have happened? Oh boy. I, don't want to get into it right now. Wait a minute. You oh, dump you? No. no. Oh, good. What happened? No, just uh, some health issues. Yesterday. Health issues? Yeah. Be vague. Yeah, wait. Somebody, did you have sex with somebody who entered this country in 1961? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? We got to know. We got to know. <laughs> Is, uh, I'll, as soon as I get some results, I'll let you know. Does it affect, it's, it's you though? Yeah. Maybe. It's not a family member? No. So results, so you've taken tests? Yeah, a lot of them. A battery of tests, would you say? Uh, yeah, I'd say at least and like four or five different tests. Is yeah. is is this um, 
something a uh, potentially serious? Uh, could be. Could be. Could be. Diabetes. Could be. No. It's no. Not, it's not that. Down anymore. syndrome. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. All right. Uh, let's get to some systems here. Okay. Uh, nervous system. That's one of them, yeah. Circulatory system. Uh, that could be the other one. That we don't know about yet. What? But nervous system? Yeah. Does he have gout? <laughs> no. Do you have Parkinson's? Mm -mm. MS? No. What part of your body's rotting? Nothing. Nothing's rotting. Nothing's rotting. All right. He's dying. But 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 nervous system. Let me think. Uh, are there is there any um, um Michael J. Fox action happening? No. Okay. Then it's um. Then no. what else could it be? There was no Michael J. Fox a action. That would imply movement. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. What is it? A battery you attack. Oh oh. Worry. What it, it, does it mean? You're just nervous. No. Oh, okay. So it could be. Is it? Is it? Um, is it uh, affecting any of your senses? Could be. Yeah. Sight, no, uh, hearing, uh, smell, um, taste. No, not those. Maybe touch. Touch. You're having a numbing feeling. Sometimes. Where? Uh. Cause say your left arm. No, that's what <laughs> that's what I thought, but no. Oh Jesus. No. Uh oh. Numbing. Your your third leg. <laughs> Is it in your leg, your calves? No, it's actually uh, like all over. You're having an all over numbing feeling. Is it half your body or the whole body? Uh, about half. Half? Hmm. Oh boy, which half? The uh, upper half. Oh, up. No, that's different. That, it's supposed to be left and right. <laughs> your upper half, from like your waist to your head, is numb. What do you have, a, a, a pinched nerve or something? Um, no, there's, um, ah, damn, I forgot the, the name of it, but it has something to do with, um, your nerves kind of, um, sending the wrong signals to your brain so that it doesn't regulate your body temperature the right way or, um, sometimes like, uh, uh, I get, I, it's just like numbing. Like sometimes you, you go to grab something and you can't feel like, uh, Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> That's what a doctor should say. You can't feel anything when you touch it's, something? It's not all the time. Just, it's very rare when that happens, but it's been happening. Is it tingly while. numb or yeah. just, or, or Novocaine feel fat fingered numb? No, nah, it's a, More than it's usual. a little tingly. 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 Yeah. It's like uh, a bad commercial. Like he started by grabbing a cup of Sanka and it fell off the. <laughs> Captain oh, piano top. Captain Hanson from Stupid Philly writes, uh, let's pray E-Rock has SIDS. Oh, God. Someone's saying it's called numbskull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's horrible. When are you going to find out? Um, I think the beginning of next week I find out some of the results. And what, what are they going to say? Yeah, what, it, did what are he, they looking for? Did he give you some options that it might be? Um, it's a combination of things. Um, they took a lot of blood yesterday. Oh. Um, had to do a, um, a EKG and a stress test. You did a stress test. Mm hmm. Mm, how'd and, that come out? Um. Don't know yet. For the, they, they do the EKG for like, uh, I think for like a minute to two minutes and that came out okay. So that was fine. Uh, the stress the stress test seems that says nothing doesn't tell you about it. Yeah, yeah the, the stress test seems nothing. to be okay for now. Um, it was a little high, but they said it wasn't anything. You might have a, a, a clogged artery or something, oh, my friend. Oh boy, how's your cholesterol? Um, that's what we're gonna find out. Oh, oh boy. So the, there's that. There's um, the nervous system problem, and um, now I, I I just was <laughs> informed I have to go for a sleep study. So now there might be app. They should just all. come here and watch the work. <laughs> <laughs> I, my mind was racing. Someone is suggesting. And Jimmy crossed the finish line with a doozy. Yeah. Someone is suggesting uh, that his arteries are clogged with the garlic butter saw. <laughs> butter saw. His favorite. It might be. Uh, they think you have sleep apnea. That came up yesterday. They think I might have it. So, so I guess they're doing a lot of tests. They're still trying to figure it out. So maybe that's kind of good news. No. Mm -hmm. Well. We'll see how. What do they the think show. it might be? Uh, 
it was like three different things. One was the apnea. The second one, I, I forgot the name. I think I have it at home. But uh, oh, there's a name for it. Yeah, Lou Gehrig's one. Yeah, it's no, not it's, named after a ball player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's never uh, good. Actually, yeah, let me call Doctor Steve because he knows the name of it. Oh, All right. okay. All right. Well, that, that'll be uh, you know. Your impending death uh, could, could be a really good radio tease here, so Jesus. we'll find out what... <laughs> if you're still around. We we'll got a new back. Friday segment. <laughs> right. <laughs> you going to be all right, E-Rock? Yeah. Uh, all you you Friday? okay? Yeah. Is, and, and, and more yeah. importantly, is any of this crap potentially contagious? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Nothing, so that's the important thing. Nothing contagious, but uh, there seems to be a lot of, of uh, pills you got to be taking. Oh, boy. Really? Some of this stuff, I think, is... Uh, Narcotic? Uh, some of the same stuff that Fez takes. Uh, s s uh, it starts with a C, I think. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it does. C O. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. God, take it over, will you, right? Take I've never seen that word pop up so quickly <laughs> wow. on the computer here. What do you mean I have to sit on my pills? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Godspeed, E Rock. Thank you. Well, Those, um, Steve from Bayshore are saying pills, or are they milk duds? <laughs> uh, oh, E Rock. Yeah. Wow. Well, talk to Steve when we go to break. Do yeah. your pills have little M's on them? <laughs> <laughs> they said I have to take the green one, and the brown one, and the blue one. <laughs> oh, well, um, a lot of people also saying, uh, wishing you well. Uh, hey, E Rock, good luck, bro. Oh, it's don't from Kevin from Connecticut. Never say that. What's the nervous system one? I don't know. That's. Uh, <laughs> I think you're a nervous Nelly. I think you're a nervous Nelly, and that's what's causing all this. You're under a lot of stress for some reason. The upper half of your body. Yes. You smell burning hair anytime? No. No, no. no metallic taste. No What's that mean? None of that What's means all? he's having a stroke. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> burning hair? Yeah, I learned that from The Sopranos. <laughs> it's nice when you leave the uh, office and they said, oh, yeah, you make sure you take Bayer every, uh, like, twice a day. Want to thin your blood out? Oh, they think you got some heart thing happening, bro. Mm, yeah, they're... they're if they're, they got they you on the must, Bayer. Must be... Uh, your cholesterol is probably... Ridiculous. You've been yelling at your eating habits for three years. How old are you? 27? 29. Did they All put right. you on Lipitor or anything? No. No, right now it's just... Uh, Numbing could be like poor circulation, which means right, right. could be clogged. I'm exactly. no doctor, but my dad had poor a lot circulation. of heart, heart things in his right. life, and I know a little bit about this stuff. Jesus. You got uh, numb fingertips? Um, No, not usually. So just where? Overall chest? Um, chest, arms. Oh boy! Uh, that means it's a small clock. You don't exercise, <laughs> right? You don't exercise, right? That's not true. Do you? Yeah, he, tr he. Okay. He tried. All right, we got to take lot, a break. I, do. <laughs> I know uh, E Rock's health is important, but uh, let's be honest: commercials are more important. Absolutely. Yeah, we really don't have to get the spots in. Sorry, E Rock. That that commercials trump your. Uh... By the way, we're continuing to make believe that uh, we weren't kicked off in Chicago, West Palm Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Make him believe that didn't happen because that's what you do with a radio show, even though all the phones are lit with people wanting to talk about that. But we'll make believe that uh, didn't go down today. Yeah. One reason why we can't take a lot of phone calls because we, uh, we're in the business of make believe now. It's also Rock Scream Tuesday, 80s New Wave Tuesday, Far Away Phone Call Tuesday, Hummer Tuesday, hmm. Makeup Stuff Tuesday. And guess what? Tim uh, is suggesting a new one for today. All right? A new one. Is E Rock Alive Tuesday? Oh. oh no, he could be dying. Maybe it's the big C. Is E Rock Alive? Diabetes? Narcolepsy? Maybe a sleep apnea? Is E Rock dying? It's his nervous system. Could he be dying? I think he just forgets to breathe. That's crazy, don't you know? It's E Rock Alive Tuesday. <laughs> oh my God, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, wow. Wow. Rock, uh, comment? Right. No comment? comment? No comment on that one? None at all. No comment. Right about, that now, you, right about now, he's like, why did I share with you guys? Right? Nah. Well, it is October. Wow, like, what a way to friggin' uh, end October with this big cliffhanger. Are you okay? I'm imagining the first and only. <laughs> oh. How much iced tea do you drink a day? Next uh, year will be posthumous. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, at least a gallon and a half. A gallon and a half of iced tea. A, a gallon day. and a half of iced tea. Do you know how much caffeine that is? Maybe that's why your nervous system's shutting down. It can't shake anymore. Yeah. <laughs> why don't you stop it already? Why don't you stop treating yourself? Why don't you have a little gumption? Yeah. <laughs> you think you want to eat a turkey wrap? No. Yes, that's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's why you ordered it. Silly. <laughs> Mm. Who wouldn't like a big piece of chocolate cake? Wouldn't that be wonderful? It sure would. It would, Iraq. Don't shake your head no. Oh, is that part of the disease? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want to apologize to Iraq. <laughs> oh. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. All right. It's all new outlook on life, isn't it? You probably just got to like start living healthy for real now. Yeah, you can't fake gonna, it anymore. That's what's gonna come. It's gonna come down to no sneaking up snacks or anything. Yeah, and telling us that you ate a salad last night. You yeah. know, <laughs> high cholesterol is not only what you eat, but it's your family. Family doesn't have that. All right, then it's all what you eat. Then you, <laughs> then you were just, adopted. <laughs> you're that's just right. eating horrifically. <laughs> I think mom and dad have something to tell you finally. Oh, boy. A gallon and a half of iced tea a day. Why? A gallon and a half? How many treats does one boy need? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. How much You sweetness. need little treats and sweets and things. He's a boy who needs a lot of love. Mm -hmm. And a lot of a lot of care, <laughs> and yeah. he's a boy who likes a sweet beverage. He's got a sweet tooth. Mother, I don't like milk. I don't like All water. All right, you have soda then. Thanks, mom. <laughs> have some iced tea. You know, As a matter of fact, have a couple of gallons of it, right. like you're fueling a car. Here's a funnel. I'll pour iced tea in your mouth like Peter O'Toole and Caligula, and then we'll stab your stomach, and all the iced tea will go all over you. <laughs> Iraq's mom's a lovely lady. Of course she is. Like that Roman guard, they're going to tie it off with a string. You, <laughs> you uh, yeah, you got to get off that iced tea. Yeah, uh, that's what I was told. Are, are the uh, are the Nagels bummed that we're not on in West Palm Beach, Florida anymore, or are they um, or are they relieved? Like, you know, I heard them talking about your son again today. <laughs> I would imagine they're relieved in some way. I, they don't know unless they uh, just woke up now and, and found out. I didn't tell them, so... Yeah, all right. People are uh, wondering if you're seeing a neurologist or just a family doctor. Uh, an, in an internist right now. Internist? There's not even a guy with a medical license? Oh, yeah, <laughs> just an intern. Oh, he's no. seeing an intern is what Wait, he's saying. He's seeing a guy that gets coffee from yeah. the doctor? <laughs> Rene, Rene gave him a, and Pat a Duffy. checkup. Pat right. Duffy. <laughs> Pat Duffy and Rene gave him a four-handed massage. <laughs> He answered MW4M on Craigslist, and they showed up and massaged his little chubby body. Uh, all right, what do you guys want to do now? Uh, talk about Ewok's bad health. I know. Yeah, I, I, I know. I want to do that until 11. Exactly. That's all I want to talk about. I want to find out. I want to know now. A lot of distractions today. Right? We're worried Ewok? about you. Yeah. I mean, we're teasing you like we just think you're a lump, but we really do love you. We're worried about you. Yeah, it it some days. All right, we're really done with that. What, what's going on? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to be about you? Exactly. What, what, what do you want to lose more stations? Go ahead. It's all about your health. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Why not? No, you say, I'm, I'm teasing, man. I'm teasing, Why not right? make it the so, show? What, well, yeah. What, what do you got? Uh, you gotta finish the sentence. People listening. No, I don't. Please do. E Rock, just finish the sentence, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Sometimes it was. Uh, Ride. Right, why would you fall for that? <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> How many people out there are like, oh, God, you're like, don't go for the base, please. For once, just swim away.